she's appreciative. I say give credit where credit's due. Oh. I got to turn on my light. Okay. But if, like I said, might be make it an hour, and then I'm going to go lay down for an hour. Okay, wait. I got to I got to hit my. Oh. There we go. Got it. <clears throat> okay, where's my uh, where's my chat? No chat. Come on. Okay, where's my chat? I don't have a chat, Sandra. I don't know. Who took it? It's it's taken a while. That's all it is. My washer's off balance. Am I gonna go hold it? Heck no. I don't need okay. to shake guts out anymore. <laughs> it says I'm live on YouTube, so yep. if that's so, where's the chat? I'm over there with one thumbs up. Do you have the chat? Yep. Oh, come on. Gisela's on. Beverly's on. Beverly has her wrench back. Gisella good morning, has... Okay, good. So Terry's good morning, here. ladies. Kathy's lost with no chat. I know. Well, I have to say good morning. I know. I'm waiting. I don't know what's going on. Now I don't even have um, the picture. There we go. GIP 76. Is that Gladys? Yeah, Kansas says, hi, Cassie and Sandra. Just all of my diamond girls. One of the diamond girls is in the rough. This must be hi. Gladys Paul. Are you Gladys? Hi, guys. Hi. I'm over here trying to find my chat. Okay, I can sign into YouTube. That's the only way I can get it. If not, then I'm in trouble. Oh, I can't go all day without it. Let me see. Um, oh, it shows over here. I'm not even signed in. Okay. Oh, wow, that's good. Yeah, I know. Uh, what's my password? I'll be with you guys, I promise. Um, so I hope this is right. It's been so long since I've had to sign in on my account. I just usually just go and that's that. <sighs> anyway, welcome, Gladys. Welcome, welcome. I'm glad you're here. It's been so long since I've had to sign in on my account. <laughs> okay, hold on. Wrong password. Oh, man. Okay, let me try another one. Let me try another one. Okay. It's like you're on the Zoom. You just... Yes. And YouTube's open, but where? Because we wouldn't be able to see it. Right. And it's Facebook mon mon moderator, not YouTube, she says. I don't remember. Um... And so Terry says, Kathy, put YouTube on your phone and leave Zoom right where it's at. <laughs> That's what so Terry's saying. 
Yeah, but then it wears down my battery real quick. But that might be what I have to do. Darn it. Okay. Yeah, that's why my tablet has to be plugged in all the time. Oh, wait a minute. Is YouTube make sure I have it? All right, I got it. Okay, we'll do it that way. All right, let me go back to the Zoom. In a way, that'll work better because you know why? Because you'll see things faster. Well, yeah. And the people, they'll, um, you know, because we're supposedly having a bunch of people on. So, so welcome, Gladys. Welcome. Um, this is Gladys on here, you guys. Uh, Beverly Kathy, it was not YouTube. It's Facebook. Welcome, Gladys. Oh, okay. I got to go and do that when I get off of here. Okay, Beverly? I'm so sorry. Okay, I, I understand. I just have to go find it and then do it. But I can't do it right now. But I'll do it when we get off. Okay. So good morning, everybody. Boy, did I miss everybody coming in. Gee whiz. It's all the all the wrenches. <laughs> the blue squad. Yeah. Way to go, guys. The blue squad. Um, we don't know how long. Sandra is going to be with us. She, she's pretty sick. So she's going to hang in there as long as she can. But, you know, we will have. I have a pillow now. <laughs> you have a what, a pillow? I have, I have my, my cheeky pillow. <laughs> hey, so long as reading the chat and stuff doesn't affect you. <laughs> oh, look at Sandra. She's going to go to sleep. <laughs> That's okay. Go to sleep. <laughs> I thought about sending everybody text messages all night long. <laughs> well, that wouldn't have been fun. But you know what? They do it to you, right? <laughs> but just, it was just one of those things. I said, nobody's awake. So I said, I'm not doing it. Okay. It's not how I like spending my night. Okay. It's, it's glad. Are you on, Gladys? Yep. I'm still here. You're still there. Okay, good. She just needs a little bit more light on her face. Yeah, we see you in the dark. Kind of. It's like, like you're I, sitting under a really heavy shade tree. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I got a dark room. <laughs> oh, is that yeah. what it is? Okay, no problem. See, my, I mean, my window is what lights me up. Well, we can see her. It's not like she... I need more than a hang in there quilt, Terry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody, really quick, make Sandra hang in there quilt. It's like, well, the hang in there is for anybody that doesn't feel good. That's yeah, the and ironically, that's what you said yesterday, and then here you are. Yeah, I jinxed myself, guys. I mean, uh -huh. Think of it that way, right? <laughs> so I what are you working on, Gladys? No, I just got back from Walmart, so I haven't really... <laughs> Gotten the computer started yet? Our sewing machine. We're going to be doing our Irish chain. Are you working on the Irish chain with us or no? No. No. Okay, that's fine. Whatever you want to work on, it's it's fine with me. I'm not here to shall they say judge, and I will not get caught up with Sandra today. I already know that. I can foresee the future. <laughs> <laughs> the amazing thing is, is I got all my scrap, all my strips cut for the most part. Yeah. So I'm shocked. I'm drinking just water today to try to make sure I don't get the dry heaves. No, no, no. We don't want that. If the water stays down, though, that's good. That's real good. Is that it's your like, phone, Sandra? Yeah, I forgot to turn it down. No, I'm just wondering. Okay, so I have a zillion strips over here. And if I do need to make more, I will. But for now, I'm actually ready to go. I can't believe it. Okay, what's going on in chat? Uh, it's okay, Kathy. Thank you. Thank you, Beverly. Sandra, praying that you feel better really soon. 
Sandra, do you need to hang in there quilt today? That's what I'm saying, Terry. Um, Gisela, oh, now I understand. Hi, Gladys. You look fine here, Gladys. You gave yourself the whammy. Where is Vicky? Vicky hasn't been doing good either. She's been getting her um, bad headaches back. So whatever it is that she puts on that thing that she wears, she had to order it so she'll get more. So we got to hang in there for Vicky. Um, has Facebook been hacked? No. Well, not that I know. A couple of people have been, but just watched a video from Missouri Star and what lovely quotes from Crumb says, Gisela. And Max Lindley says, yo. Hello, yo. Max. Yo, right back to you, Max. <laughs> yo. <laughs> okay. Um, so this I don't need right now. Every time I said something in a different spot, I forget why. <clears throat> Foundation paper piecing pineapple block, mini flannel, and cotton. Colleen. Okay. Um. Gisela says, hi, Vicky, take care. And just, hi, Max, do you so? Is there anybody else on here, like Vicky Lemire or? I don't know. I, you know I told Vicky that I didn't feel good already. Yeah, Kathleen's here, Kathleen Champ. Good morning, ladies and Hello, everyone. Hello, Kathleen. Good morning, Kathleen. We have a visitor. We have Gladys on with us today. She's been on, you know, in our chat forever. June. Hi, June. So to those of you that I didn't say hi to, hello. Hi, Lucy. Lucy Scott's here. Welcome, Lucy. Welcome. Welcome to the whole group. Kathleen, I'm sitting in doctor's office crocheting, quoting, or, oh, wait, crocheting, yeah, quoting for my return. I thought I was reading that wrong. Kathleen, hi, Junie. Hi, Beverly. Hello, Lucy. Terry, I put mom and pop on in the background. Any news, Terry? I'm just wondering if there's any news on mom. I've been so worried about her. Hi, Pamela. Welcome. Like when she was worried about me when I was so going through my tough times. <clears throat> Beverly's on it. She says hi to everybody. That's what she's here for. She's my she's my little greeter. Okay. I'm gonna read these. Um H I J. Where's the rest of them? Where's A B C? I have them labeled. Here we go. Oops, this. A, B, C, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. My, my rough voice. It, it goes to J. Okay. This is the other side that, um, you know. Okay, Terry. Keep those I'm over on there. it. On what? That's what my phone's for. I don't really know where they came from, so I'm just going to stick them in any spot I see. Oh. Sandra, I'm going to send you a private new message. Okay, not that you know of. All right. Thank you so much for that information, Terry. I appreciate it. Okay, uh, so hello, we're... Pamela. I'm not spot on it, but. Okay, I'm going to take group A and group group A over here. Let me find it. Yeah, I'll take the 
tablet to the bed with when I go there. I know how to sign in back and forth in. Wondering if I should take. Okay, work on group A here, but not, um, but get different colors from over here. Because I don't have a big enough place to spread them all out. I don't want them all to be the same color. Although it wouldn't hurt if it was, but. Need to do that. All right, so let's um, do it this way. It's going to be a lot harder on me, but in the long run, it'll be a lot prettier on that. On the uh, actual box itself. So I'm going to do it this way. Oh, there goes a tumbleweed down the road. Again? They go flying down a lot. Right. It's not a sore throat, Terry, as much as I think I made my throat raw throwing up. It was a rough night. Not a good night. I'm here to say. So, oh. And I'm even in my jammas. I just have the girls contained. <laughs> yeah. well, I mean, that's how good I feel. You didn't Hello, Lori Clark. Sit. Hi, Lori. Welcome. And then Beverly wants to know, Gladys, can you tell us a little bit about yourself and how you got started, please? <coughs> I got started um, back in 2009 when I moved in with my sister in Watertown and I had a McCall's pattern that's a table runner or table runner and a placemats. And she helped me put that together and, and she taught me everything I know about so, uh, quilting. So. That's how I got started. And were you um, overwhelmed with it, or or you just you were okay? With it? It okay. No, I always ran to ask her to for questions. <laughs> she answered my questions. So. Well, you know, it can be really overwhelming when you first start. At least it was for me. I don't know. So that's, so you've been quilting ever since? Yeah. It's been a long time. Okay. Can, can you guys hear my washing machine vibrating? No. Uh, okay. Like I said, I'm too lazy to go balance it. <laughs> as long as it still goes, right? Yeah. Um, going up. so how many um quilts would you say you've made over the years? Um I can't come up with a number in my head at the moment, <laughs> but quite a few. Uh, um, do you own a long arm? No. Huh? Do you hand quilt, a uh, long arm quilt? Send it yeah, out for hire? I don't have a high. long arm, so I, I usually send it out to somebody to quilt. Oh. I could probably do small ones on my machine, but. 
and three motion quilts. Um, I don't have one on either. Even if I did, I don't have any place to put it. I'd have to put it in storage. So, so it's good I don't. Just put Jen on the balcony and put it in her room. <laughs> Something tells me she might argue. Make it tall enough she can sleep under it. Uh, her room, you can't even hardly walk. I can't even go in there. That's how bad Jen's room is. She supposedly downsized, which she did. I saw her throw a bunch of stuff away when we moved, but it's like she's got it. Still has a ton of stuff in there. So. Oh, this is going to look cute. Yeah, the iron, iron, iron. Right now, I'm doing the nine patches for the uh, the uh, Irish chain or chain link, whatever you guys want to call it. That's, it's still part of the Irish chain. Yeah. And just sitting there today, which is what she better be doing. Are you working, Sandra? Am I working? Yes. Leaning on my pillow or? Okay. <laughs> no working for you. It's today off. Oh, it's like there's nothing I could do except for the three block sets that are left in the summer moon. Oh, uh, you look. <laughs> This is what I call dedication. If, if I was like you feel right now, Sandra, I would not be on. <laughs> I'd be laying down, I'm telling you. This is called dedication. I don't want to sleep all day. Because if I sleep all day, I'll be awake all night. Who's going to stay up with me all night long? Well, you got people that talk to you all night. Valerie says, oh, Valerie's here. Hi, Valerie. How are you? She's saying hi to everybody. Body. Yeah. Um, girls, I will celebrate with being live if Kathy approves. Does that mean, do you want to come on, Giselle? Sometimes I don't understand. Marshall is still ignoring no sometimes, but he's cute. He's doing well. Losing baby Keith now. Oh. I follow Fra Frasian Horses on YouTube. Do you have any horse stables near you? Who, who are you talking to, Valerie? Me? I don't. To Gisella? I think. I don't. Gisella. I'm not concentrating. Oh, yeah, they're they're in the Netherlands. Okay. Fr Frisian or Frisian? I don't know how you yeah. say that. It's like, it. it's something like that. Frisian. Frisian. They're a very pretty horse. Are they as pretty as the Clyde Jill? Prettier. Prettier. Oh, the, their oh. mane and tail and the way they, yeah. I think they're prettier. Uh, the Clydesdales, they're awesome when they're out working them and they're hauling in logs and stuff. That yeah. is beautiful yeah. to watch beautiful. that. Them work their job. The Budweiser commercial Budweiser. Yeah, the last thing I seen of Budweiser is when well, the horses went down and they had to get out and get them back up and it took quite a while. Sorry, but she's not too loud, is it? I don't hear it. Okay. I heard my washing machine, but that's about it. Yeah, I don't. I, I hear the guys' construction outside my window here, and I hope you guys don't hear. I, I like I said, I don't hear it.
Vicki Lemire is on here now. <laughs> Hi, Vicki. How are you doing? I'm putting these borders on a foundation paper piece quilt. Yeah. What kind of foundation paper piecing? Wow. What pattern was you using, or is it? It was a Mister quilt on a, a cruise that I went on. Ah. Uh -huh. <laughs> Sandra knows. Back in back in 2015. <laughs> <laughs> One of those UFOs. Yeah. I see nothing wrong with UFOs. Nothing. Yeah, I collect them. <laughs> um, <laughs> just tell a Valerie no, but on my bucket list is riding a tour of at least three hours. And I know I will hardly be able to walk after that since I'm not used to riding. And everybody's saying hi to Vicky, and then just tell uh, Kathy, yes, I want to come on live if it's okay with you when you're done moving. Oh, absolutely. Just let me know. Valerie, people say that Frisian horses are comfortable and easy to ride to sell. Vicky said, same crap every day, just sell it. Valerie, I will look into that. Thank you, says Gisela. And Brenda. I left my phone home yesterday. You did? Oh, no. Lori's big, uh, has booked a haircut. How much do I want off is the question. Maybe to my waist. Maybe to your waist. How long is it? It goes beyond her waist. She sits on it. That sounds comfortable, Lori. Still long enough to do what you want. and Just enough to start the new growth again. That's what I try to do. Pick a length I would like. And then take it from there? I like mine right here where it's at. And I trim it back there all the time, trying to get it thicker. It's like Vicky on here. Sometimes we hit that certain age and it just doesn't get thick anymore. Yep. That's take me. it from me. <laughs> So Diane should be coming on soon. Um, Vicky says, Sandra, how are you feeling? With my fingers. I, I can always be the smart aleck, right? Uh, doesn't matter how you feel. You. That's your job. <laughs> so to speak, to be the smart aleck. Yeah. And Valerie ag agrees to me that the Frisian horses are beautiful. Clydesdales are nice, but too big for me. I saw the video about the accident, Sandra. They knew how to handle those big horses and keep everyone safe. Because yeah, they have to get right over to them and calm them down. Because you don't want panic with a however many thousands of pounds of horse. Uh oh. Yeah, they've been known to accidentally kill someone. And it was an accident. By pounding on it, they don't know better. But my uncle's got three horses. He's always been a horse fanatic. Yeah, it's like uh, Wilkes Country is here. But Lori, when I went and had my my hair that was below my waist cut off to my shoulder. Those gals kept saying, are you sure? Are you sure? Are you sure? I wouldn't have made the appointment and said what I wanted done right. if I wasn't sure. I right. says, ask me one more time. I'm out of there. <laughs> and then my hair was so straight. I wanted just a little bit of a perm. Uh -huh. I'll never get another perm again. Go I look like little orphan Annie. Uh, um. that some of those terms, I had a term once and I vowed never to get one again either. I didn't like it. Yeah. 
I went home and I immediately washed it. I did everything everybody said to try to get that curl relaxed. And I said, note to self, never perm again. And it, yes. it and it was a soft wave. It was supposed to be, but I looked like little orphan Annie. Hello, Wilkes Country boy. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. I got, I'm going to try and make 15 more minutes and then go take a lay on the bed and listen break. So I'll still be available, Cassie, if you need help, but okay. just like last time. I'm going to try my best. I'm going to grab an ice pack to make me colder yet for my head, my water, my bucket. <laughs> you have a bad do you have a bad headache? It's starting to get there. From reading chat. It's like Wilk says, y'all ladies are so sweet. Not me, but they are. <laughs> Thank you. We try. I, I try not to be too sweet. You wouldn't want me to wreck my reputation. <laughs> 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 even though I feel like I can still be funny, right? Even, yeah, that's what I was going to say. Even though you're sick, you still got it. <laughs> oh, and goodness. guess who Nancy's here? Hi, Nancy. Welcome. How are you doing today? Carrie, she cut her six inches off hers. The jury's still out. You know, I can see the chat moving under me. Yep. See, Valerie and I watched the same YouTube because they covered the horses' heads immediately. I couldn't believe how many people went running out, coats off, and over the horses' heads. Why? To calm them so they won't panic. Oh, if they can't see what's going on? Uh, yeah. I was going to see where Austin was, if he'd go get a Sprite. She will be, June. June said go lay down for a while. Yeah. She I'm going to locate where Austin is right now. Because if he's at work, this water is not doing it. I remember what the heck my brain's supposed to be doing. Checking on Austin. It's a yeah, I shouldn't have went to that care facility. They said it was free. It was open, clean. And then I come back and it's like, is that or food poisoning? One of the two. My grandson's in town, but it's like he can't. Melinda's phone's off. Austin's phone's off. Dang it, family. <laughs> Turn your phones off so I can't locate you. Well, wait till I do that someday. I know. They're going to get all mad at you. Hey, Grandma, why are you turning off the phone? Okay. Lois is here. Hi, Lois. How are you? Oh, Melinda's probably at a meeting of some sort and had to turn her phone off. Hi, Will. She must have joined us while I was away. Welcome, says Lori. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. He's, uh, Hello, he's Lois. been on here a few times. Yeah, Douglas is at the grocery store unloading pop. He's the only one in town and he can't drive over here because he has a semi. Is he what? Yeah, he's in a semi. Oh. So nobody. Nobody what can about bring Ronnie? Me a, nobody can bring me a pop. No Ronnie either? No, she's in Moses Lake. Uh -huh. Thank you. 
Oh, as we stopped working? No, Terry, my doctor always said that food poisoning and virus are the same thing. It's a bug no matter where it came from. Okay. I just know I'm not eating today. Good point. But my throat is so raw. Thank you, Wilkes Country Boy. I should never have went out. I should have stayed in my cocoon. My cocoon. Uh, that's what I call it. <laughs> uh, uh. All right, look at this. First block done. Out of how many? Yeah, out of how many? I got tons of them to do, but here's my first one. Done, over and done. All right, I'll put them up here as I finish them. I'll be right back. Okay. See, I have one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. I have thirty-one of those squares in mine. It's a, uh, oh, your um. Of everything. those nine patches. Yeah. The thing you use the most is the light background. Mm -hmm. I made sure to do a lot of those. Because that's something that. Okay, now I need the background. Something to set it off. That'll be cool. so This pen got bent big time. That'll work. Okay, since I have my my um, uh, chat on, I'm going to lower this so you guys can see what I'm doing, okay? Let me know when you can see it. Like the machine and all that. Okay, is that good? We need to go up, Kathy. Go up. <coughs> How's that? More? Because I want to try to get it towards the table so you guys can see my big mess here and the machine at the same time. Let me see if I can do it. Jerry, how's that? Is yeah, that good? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I'll leave it like that. <laughs> June said stop. Uh, just tell it, Gladys, what are you working on today? To the right, to the right. Go to the right. Okay, so is that good, you guys? To the right. I went to the right. Because I'm working on a foundation paper piece quilt, I'm putting the borders on. Uh, 2015. It's called a paper here. Blue Diamond Mystery Quilt. Who's it? Who's it by? Carol Doak. 
it, Carrie says up a little to the right. Because oh, we can okay. just see your one little strips. All right, hold on. Hold on, I'll put this pin in and go up. I'm just little. reading what they say. I know. Up a little <laughs> to the right. There. You That's got it? Your machine, your table, everything. There you All go. Right. Thank you so much for everybody's help. Thank you, thank you. It's not a camera, but you know, it's the best I can do right now. Yeah. Well, when you're broke, you're broke. And Bill first, right, ladies? I ordered me a stand for my tablet that's repositionable so I can get better angles. Oh, yeah, I got one of those. I got it on Amazon. It says Dave hey. liked it so much I had to get him one. No it's supposed to do both my phone and my tablet. Geek line. Yeah, I suppose I could put my phone on there if I wanted to. I used to have a case for my phone that um, allowed me to do that, but when I got the new case, I don't have it anymore. You know, where you can reposition it and how you, where you want it? Yeah. I can't do that anymore. They say the gooseneck, or, you know, the flexible short ones, I can use them to up to my handlebar of the long arm. I haven't ordered that one. I figured I'd start with the tablet first. <laughs> Just sell them. <laughs> Kathy looks like candy. What you think? Looks like candy, but think it's Cliff's. Gosh, wish it was candy. <laughs> yeah, no, it's wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> Darn, I lost my sock. We're going to be playing this game today. <laughs> Going back and forth that I lose my sock. I'm going to set, set my alarm so I don't sleep over an hour if I fall asleep. Because I want to sleep tonight. Yeah, but you don't get near enough sleep, Santa. I know, but if, if I sleep all day, it's like I won't sleep tonight at all. Gisela went to the store today but forgot about the candy. <laughs> That's why she's got candy on the brain. <laughs> yeah. I don't think that'd be a good thing for me to do right now. No. No, I don't think so either in your current condition and the way you feel. Some of you guys can just zip on down this and get it done like real quick, but I have to pin things so that I know they stay in place. Oh, Wilkes has got to get back to work. Everyone have a wonderful day. And remember, Jesus loves us all. Yes, he does. Yes, have he a nice does. Day at work, Wilkes. You do have a good day also. All work and no play, right? <laughs> okay. Got to bring in the paycheck. Oh, yeah. Or whatever has to be done around the house, in my case. Nobody else comes in and does it. Nothing right now for you, Sandra. <laughs> Me, myself, oh, I had to vacuum up my floors and whatnot. Uh, 
Okay, it's 10.30. I'll come back on later. Okay. You go take and, care of yourself. Like I said, I'll be listening. And if I don't respond, you know how to get a hold of me through Messenger. Hey, I have your phone number, too. Yeah. We'll see you guys after a bit. There you go. Sandra needs her rest. It's not that she's deserving us because she's not. She'll be back. Although she sleeps, I hope she sleeps a little bit longer than an hour. I'm going to have to put some um, stuff on that when I'm completely finished because this white does not want to cooperate. So here's uh, number two. I can see. Number two. Oh. Time to get the machine going and laptop back soon. Oh, okay, Pam. Um, take care. Prayers for Brenda. Okay. Yes, Sandra, get some rest and you'll feel better soon. Exactly, says Beverly. Is anybody working on... Um, oh, I forgot to give my thumbs up. Is anybody working on uh, the Irish chain right now? Or chain link, whatever you want to call it. Or am I the only one? Lori, I went away for two weeks and nobody vacuumed. It took them three days to realize I was not doing it, lazy guys. Yep, that's what you got that right, Lori. Yep. No argument from the peanut gallery. Okay, so let me do this. Thing. I only want one from the back. Where I'm stealing them from. I'm stealing them from the back. I'm trying to get as much done today as I can because um, I don't really come in here on Fridays. Friday's my day off. So. The. Okay, I'll do an E. And then do uh, middle white. I'll alternate over here is what I'm doing. I'm alternating. Because I have a ton of them, so. A lot of cutting one in these, I'm telling you. Okay, so which one do I want? To like kind of like offset it, these two. Um, maybe and I don't have to go in order here either. Um, oh, I like that one. Okay, you guys will like this one. Yes. Okay, let me see the top. How long have you been um, foundation paper piecing, Gladys? Um, I don't know. <laughs> you don't know? Okay, I ripped this whole row out. I sold the wrong, wrong quarter on. Oh, no. Um, as you know, I just started with that butterfly. That was my just first. a set. You gotta start over. <laughs> I know. I really want to do this elephant, so that's my goal. Okay. 
I'll be back in just one second. I'm grabbing a. Come on. I realize I haven't taken my medicine yet. And I'm wondering why I'm hurting over here. Okay. Um just so just so not me, I am so behind on all sewing, but will eventually. Beverly, I'm still trying to organize my sewing space. That's a job. Lori, Gladys, where are you from? I'm from Brownwood, Texas. Oh, you're in Texas. Yeah. <clears throat> She's working on a foundation paper piecing. And then do you do you do other crafts as well? I crochet and kind of cross stitch. Do you like the stamp cross stitch or would you rather do it yourself? Count it, cross stitch. Yeah, but don't they have that in the stamp also? Yeah, I don't like the stamp ones. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Um, Lois says, I'll be back later. Y'all be good. Okay, Lois and Gisela. Lori, have, you have to make a schedule for them. I do for hubby. He says hi to all of you. Tell Michael we said hello. Hi, Patty. Welcome, welcome. Uh, what are you up to today? Lori, I'm not the maid in my new saying. I'm not the maid. Good one. Hello, Patty. Sandra, hope you feel better soon. I'm doing great, Patty. Um, and Lori likes counted better as well. Vicki, you're cutting. Am I cutting in and out? Well, it could be because I have my speaker down. I don't know. I don't know. Is anybody else having problems hearing me? Lori, that's what I say, too, and it's not a hotel here, says Gisela. Yep. They can do it. They can take care of themselves. I'm hearing echo on your end, Kathy. Am I in? Yeah. Is it my machine? Up your phone. My phone's not on. I, I have it turned down. As far as it can go. Is it a bad echo? Yeah. Can you hear it now? No. No, oh, okay. <clears throat> Um, the schedule would not have my name on it for two weeks. Doesn't take a rocket scientist. Uh, Beverly says, Lori, and then Beverly says, Gisela, tell your husband. Hello. June, it's higher and lower. And Gisela. Bev, I will thank you. And Terry. Oh, volume seems, seems it's getting louder and lower, but can hear you enough. I think it's the way the computer is. I, I don't know. Um, Patty, my day started shaky. Great granddaughter and her dad was hit by a car. <gasps> the lady was going 45 and hit front passenger side. No one was hurt, but the cars are total. Oh my God. <clears throat> I'm glad everybody's okay, Patty. Vicky, hi, Gladys. And uh, Gisela, Lori, my husband doesn't even feed the dogs when I'm away. Oh, no, Patty. Glad they're okay. I know. That's what I'm saying. Hit by a car. <clears throat> I'm going to just talk louder so y'all can hear me, okay? Hope so you all can hear me. Okay. 
even sorry to hear that patty oh no prayers and hugs terry says thank god they are all right terrifying oh yeah patty i'm glad everyone is okay everybody's saying it is it is terrifying Very, very terrifying. Kind of open this up and finger press it open a little bit. My goodness. Um, <clears throat> uh, Lori. Hugs, Patty. Breeze, shop will be with you for a short bit. And Terry, they were pedestrians. And I think they hit the, the passenger side of the car or something like that. That is very, very, very scary. Vicki, hope that other car had insurance, Patty. <laughs> Hopefully, huh? Unknown caller. What is this? Phone call day. They forgot about me for two weeks and now they're back at it. No, Terry, they weren't pedestrians, says Jim. And Patty, great granddaughter thought it was cool that her dad called an ambulance just for her to sit in. She was so excited to be in the back. Kids, they see the good and everything. Don't they, though? That's cute. Admit that you would think the same thing if you were a kid. Let's get that high. Carrie, I scrolled up. I'm glad they were in a vehicle. Mm -hmm. Could have been a lot worse, huh? I agree. Um, what is your favorite quilting notion to use, Gladys? Um, I know there's a lot. <laughs> that's a million dollar question, you know that? <laughs> yeah, I know. Hello, Peggy. Welcome. Hello, all. Gladys, lower her camera. Can Gladys lower her camera a little? 
No, I can't. N nope. Some people that's how it is. It's sitting on the table beside my beside me on the. Okay, that's fine. Peggy's eating pizza. Sounds good, Ricky Patty. We have no fault insurance up here, and it sucks. Oh man. Um, pizza June says that sounds good, Peggy. Peggy, uh, that does suck. And just so uh, Peggy sounds very good. Wish I had pizza, and then she put a slice of pizza. <laughs> oh my goodness, guys! All right, now let's got to do the other way. If I stay on track here, I'm hoping that. I won't mess up too bad. This is reminds me of the Bargello and the um, trip around the world. You have to pay attention to your, your strips. Make sure they're all in the way that you want them to be. G. G. G and uh, I gotta go let my dog out, he's whining. <laughs> okay, I'll be right here. G and I, okay, and this one, I think, will be fine. Trying to do the strip differently. Peggy, I, w I was starving. Wish I could share with you all. She can't, Gisela. It's where it's at. Like, remember me way back when, when I couldn't? I completely understand. Okay, see this. Wait, I got two of the same. Hold on. No, I got to need to get that one. That's fine. Um, I need this and this. And then another one of those. Two of them. Okay. So let's do an N. And what Patty say? Uh, she says she can't. Sorry, just uh, great news, Peggy. Says Beverly and Patty. Everyone was legal. The lady will be ticketed and may be charged because she's going 45 in a school zone. Oh, she should be charged. If she's not charged, something's wrong with the system over there. I hate to say. Ricky, Patty, yep, and fine too. Okay, welcome back, Pamela. I'm just saying, if she's not charged, there's something drastically wrong with your guys' system. Uh oh, uh oh, I dropped it. K M N O. Yeah. Okay, let's work on this side a little bit. That side wasn't touched. But it had to have been because there. Right. Whoa. Gosh, they're all coming out right here. Why? Why, 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 why? I'm back, by the way. 
Oh, welcome back. What kind of dog do you have? There we go. There's one sticking out, but because um, I miss my beagle. He was a good dog. For the most part, sometimes he was a pain, but. So what kind of dog do you have, Gladys? I have a long hair chihuahua. Oh, ooh. Hardy. Okay, I think those three. Um, Hello, Vicki McFarland. How are you? Um, okay, see, Jocelle said, Patty, that's good. She should take more notice of the speed. Welcome back, Pam, says Beverly and Peggy. It is, especially since the sight of me crawling over the console could not have been pretty. <laughs> Welcome back. Pamela, what did I miss? Beverly, Peggy, I understand I would be struggling to cross over. And Vicky with hello everyone and Diamond Ladies. And Vicky to Vicky, hi. Peggy, the struggle was real. Terry, I was hit by a drunk and drugged guy who had a suspended license with no insurance. Oh no. How did that turn out, Terry? Vicky, my new meds have me knocked out. I'm alive now. <laughs> Good. Terry, are you okay? Gisela, hi, Vicky, one diamond lady. Vicky, hope they help you. Yes. You know, um, I was in that car accident, and that's what started my migraines. So I know how it is. Believe me when I say I know how it is. But I'm just glad to be alive. There were so many ways that one could have gone. Okay, Terry. I was injured so badly, my neck, my kids were in the car, I was such a bad injury, a tumor developed, and I live with neck and spine pain every day. It can't be removed. Oh, Terry. Hugs and prayers, huh? Patty, Terry, that's scary. Just tell it, please, everyone, thumbs up. He needs to be in jail. Yeah, yeah. I'm so sorry. People out here driving. Oh, they think this is what they think. Oh, it's not going to happen to me. Oh. Well, yes. Hugs and prayers, says Jim. Terry, living with pain is terrible, says Beverly. Mm hmm. You are so right, Beverly. It's it's awful. There are times I try to ignore it, but it's there. It's there every day for me. But I'm alive. Thank thank you. Thank you, Jesus, for me being alive.
The one little stripper is giving me a hard time over here. <clears throat> okay, um, Harry says, let's just say guns were drawn at the scene. He went to jail for two nights, and then when he got out, they handed him the keys to his car and let him drive away. Oh, man. Are you serious? Vicky, so sorry, Terry. Have you been to a neck doctor or even an orthopedic doctor? Terry, no license, no insurance now. Let me get to my Zen place. Mm. Um. <laughs> Beverly, really, Terry, that's crazy. Wow. And Pamela, no, there needs to be accountability. Absolutely. And Peggy, WTF, Terry. Vicky, prayers always, Terry. Hi, Tracy. How are you? Good Good afternoon. How are you doing? Hi, Kathy. Hi, everyone. Terry, Vicky, I have a great neurosurgeon. He said we can go in only when he, the symptoms are so bad that chancing the surgery would be the better option. I hope that makes sense in chat. Yes, it does. Um, everybody saying hi to Tracy and Vicky. Are you all doing the hang in there quote blocks? Not right. At this moment, I'm working on my Irish chain. Thursday's Irish chain day. Tracy, awesome. Nice to meet our new guest. Yes, that's Gladys Paul. Tracy said, nice to meet you, Gladys. Hi, um, everybody in chat. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. That, that's an easy way to do it, huh? Um, Peggy, I finished mine last night. Oh, you did? Terry, the accident was in 1991. <laughs> My neck was never the same. Migraines, etc. No, I have to let it go. Migraines. Oh. Beverly said, Tracy, that's Gladys. And Tracy, I'm working on it, Vicky. That's about it. Gladys, wonderful. So. It's going to take me a while to sew all these strips together. Terry. Then someone hit me in 2008 and almost killed me. That was a big accident. Many surgeries. Can I have a drink now? <laughs> yes, you can. Vicki, so Terry, my pain doctor wants to try me with muscle relaxers and something else. My TST test take was last night, or my first take was last night, sorry. Pamela, it's nice to put her face with a name. Yes, I love it. Gisela, Kathy and friends, leaving now. Have fun and enjoy every moment. Okay, good night, Gisela. You have a good evening, okay? And I'll see you on Monday. Unless I come on on Saturday, but I'll see you on Monday, okay? Pamela Gladys, can you show us a picture of what you are working on? It's going to be, black. It's going to be in black and white, but... Oh, I like it. It's pretty. Very, very pretty. Um, goodbye, Giselle. Take care. Terry says, Beverly, Terry says, Vicki, how do you feel? June, hot. bye, Gisela. Vicki McFarland. Ladies, my physical therapy session yesterday was so good. I didn't know they had therapy for my imbalance issue, but we found out the problem, my ears, yes. Terry, you are a loud big hug, says Gisela. Laura, hi, Laura. Just got out of meetings. Hop on. I see a new face. Yes, that is Gladys Paul. You see her in our chat all the time. Tracy to Terry, wow, it sounds like you have the life of a very active person. It has its ups and downs. Uh, Beverly, hello, Laura. 
Uh, wow, that that is beautiful. Gladys said Tracy. Uh, Terry, so today I am making mini FPP churn dashes and friendship stars, keeping busy. There you go. Pam, oh, how was your how was your outing yesterday, Terry? How'd it go? Pamela, pretty even in the black and white. Beautiful Gladys said Beverly. June, that that looks very pretty, Gladys. Um, Gisela, Vicky, hope it works for you. June, hi, Laura. Terry, to Vicky. Muscle relaxers help, but you will be sleepy. I wish I could get sleepy. LOL. And everybody's saying hi to Laura. So that catches me up. A lot of people said it was beautiful, Gladys. And it is. I like the way that it turned out. It's really pretty. Have you been working on this particular project very long? Gladys? Have I been working on this for very long? Yeah. <laughs> I only got a, when I only got a picture to go to buy, it's hard to get the right borders on, right? Mm -hmm. Some quilt projects take a long time, others not so much. But and I gotta go iron. Um, Terry says to Tracy, I have my own black cloud. Let's just say, L LOL, got to laugh. Oh, you've got such a good attitude towards it, Terry. Tracy, to Terry, yes, I think we all do. Laughing keeps us from crying. Laura says, hello, Terry. And Vicki, am I on time out? No, you're here. Did you say something that we didn't see? And Terry, to, for me, I am exhausted from going out. I am staying in for a few. My body is aching all over in places I didn't know I had, except my pretty haircut, LOL. Oh, Yeah, I see her. Laura, hello, Gladys. Nice to put a face with a name. What are you guys working on? I'm working on the Irish chain. Vicky, okay, thank you. And Laura, hello, where are you? Sandra doesn't feel good today. She spent all night throwing up, so... She's laying down for about an hour, then she'll be back. June, no, we can see you chatting. I see you, Vicky. Laura got the flu bug, Sandra says. And hi, Vicky. Sandra, you're supposed to be resting. I can answer questions. Oh, no, Sandra, feel better soon, says Laura. Okay, guys, I'll be right back. Gotta go iron this. <clears throat> <clears throat> One, two, three, purple. Put my hand on the on the block. And Sandra hand. says, "Yes, Master." Yeah, <laughs> you got it, chickadee. Okay, here's another block. They're going to be really pretty when they're all put together. And thank you for that, Gladys. You can read it anytime you want. Okay, um, June. Tracy says she hopes you feel better soon. Sandra and June, you got sick after I talked to you last night. Sandra, Ricky, oh, Sandra, please take care of yourself. Tracy, my husband was feeling like okay. he was coming down with a cold this morning. I hope it isn't the flu. Oh, you know, guys are big babies and they get sick. You ever notice? Thank you, June. She said those are nice, Kathy. Yeah, tiny but nice. I think this is my is it my fourth or my fifth day. Mm 
working on it. Thank you, Tracy. Nice walk, Kathy. Nice, says Beverly. Oh, you guys are so sweet. Thank you. A zillion more to go, right? Okay, it's time for me to get my... Oh, yes, they are. They, they agree. They are big babies. Um, let me go to my... Find Dave. My stomach's over here growling. Um, Vicki McFarland, really funny here. I am so loopy with one of my new meds. I can hear and respond, but to walk is another thing. You be careful, Vicki. And Tracy, yes, I've noticed that, Kathy. I wish he would help me the way I am to work to help him when he is feels bad. I know. And he never will. That's the way it is. That's why we call it the man flu, says Terry. <laughs> Just don't fall, Ricky. I know. You be very careful out there walking, young lady. I mean, seriously. You don't want to fall down, go boom. I love all this room I have on my table here thanks to Tracy and the ruler in inches and in centimeters I don't know centimeters at all but it's right here in front of me anybody know centimeters here everything I do is inches okay Vicky <laughs> take a peanut break um yeah totally inches all the way like, let's see, www.sosteady.com. I haven't really checked this out in a long time. So, centimeter. <clears throat> Tracy, he is a wonderful about helping me when I feel bad, but I have to tell him what to do, which seems so needy. Yep. June inches for you, too. Yep. Inches for me, too. You give me the, the centimeters and I'm totally off. Or the like when Laura Lynn says a meter of this or a liter of that or, you know, whatever, I get lost. Hi, Maureen. How are you doing? How are you? I hope all's well. Everybody said hello, Maureen. Um, I do. Hi, I, huh? I said hi, Maureen. Oh, okay. Everybody else is saying hi, Maureen. We have Gladys Cole here today. Um, Diane should be coming on soon. And hopefully, Teresa Louise again. It was so fun with her yesterday. I had a blast. A blast. Um, okay, they're just saying hi to each other. Try this trip. Sorry. Mm -hmm. And by really sick, I mean really sick. Okay, I'm going to talk in chat and eat. Maureen says, hi, Gladys. Nice to see you. It's nice to put her name to the face, huh? And Laura says, hello, Kathy. What are you and Gladys working on? I'm working on the um, Irish chain or the chain link one, whatever you guys want to call it. That's what I'm working on. Okay. 
or I might just stick with the Irish chain and not, because um, I don't know if I have enough fabric for the blocks. The six and a half blocks that go in there, I don't know. Mm. Okay, Tracy. She has to go put some antibiotic on one of her cat's eyes. It seems to be a little swollen. Oh, no. Okay. I hope one of the other kitties didn't get them. Hmm. When you type in Kathy's quilts and crafts, Laura, it didn't highlight it. I don't know why. Thank you, Beverly. She said, don't forget thumbs up. Um, let me see. The only way to refresh this is to go out, come back. It was on me, wait a minute. Okay. Let me come back. Awesome. We have 27 watching and um, 17 thumbs up and uh, 441 subscribers. We're getting there, guys. <coughs> We are getting there. Um, Vicki McFarland, what are the ladies working on? Am I in the right life? Of course you are. We're working on the um, Irish. Some of them are working on Irish chain. Some, I guess, are working on the block for Laura Lynn. Yes, you are in the right life. Um, Tracy. I can't believe I've already misplaced the antibiotic. It just came in the mail yesterday. Oh, no. I'll be right back. Okay. Lori, thanks, Beverly. <clears throat> I forgot. Don't block me, LOL. <laughs> Laura, um, I bet some of our European or Canadian friends know centimeters. Yes, they do. I bet you Lori does. Larry, no problem. I'm an inch person. Inches. Inches is only for me. Oh, you, you, you didn't see it? Um, Lori wants to see what you're working on, Gladys. She's curious. And Ricky, are the ladies there? Are in the Zoom live, Kathy Sandberg just so somebody let me know so I can tell where I am, please. No, it's just me and Gladys right now, Ricky. In the Zoom. Laura, one meter equals 1.09361 yards. Wow. I would never remember that. Lori, I'm Canadian, eight centimeters metric for me. They were supposed to teach us in high school. Beverly, Vicky's live, Vicky live today's chat is Kathy and Gladys. Thank you, Beverly. Vicky McFarland, sorry, I just noticed it's Gladys and not just Al. Sorry, it's okay. And Terry, centimeters are on the back of my ruler. Check yours out. Laura, Vicki, I think you are in the wrong Zoom. Today is Kathy's and Gladys Hall. Vicki Lemire, okay, got to go. Be back later. Okay, Vicki. Have a great day, okay, hon? Feel better. Hmm. 
Lori is here again. Hi, Lori. How'd you like it over there in your chat yesterday? Wasn't that fun? Hi, friends. Listening while prepping dinner. Nice. Yeah, that was, I had fun doing that. What you making for dinner? Terry, hi, quilting in the country, Lori, four hand waves. <laughs> June, hi, Lori. Yeah, everybody saying hi. Terry, um, quilting in the country, are you still in Eastern time zone? Maureen, hi, Lori. Homemade mac and cheese, pork loin, and broccoli. Oh, that sounds so good. Mm -mm -mm. Everything I love. So have you um, decided if you're going to um, go on at certain times or you're going to go back to your old time, which is what, Wednesdays, I think it was? I know, me too. Mm-mm-mm. -mm -mm. Yes, Eastern Time, she said. Is your daughter still with you? Maureen. Is Lori the lady that... Yes, that's her. That we went to her site yesterday. Yes, that's her. Where we were having fun with her, yes. You did you subscribe to her, Maureen? Uh, this is Maya. Oh, hi, Maya. How old is, it, is she? Uh, three years. Three. She's so cute. She so got a dog and a cat? Yep. They get along okay? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I want a dog. No, not yet, Kathy. Still thinking about time. And yes, you're done. Okay. Okay. Well, just keep in mind that we all love you. And we're glad to see you back. Okay, Lori? And Beverly says, hey, kitty, kitty, kitty. June says, cute kitty. And Terry says, my Maya. <laughs> my Maya. <laughs> Well, I got it from the shelter, and she was named Peggy Soon. I didn't like that name. <laughs> well, no, I don't either. <laughs> but that made me think of um, the Grinch. <laughs> yes. Did um, did you get her when she was a kitten, or 
right down. Over there and left. Okay. Um, Valerie, your kitty is beautiful, Gladys. I had a sweet gray tabby named Misha. <clears throat> Her cat's name is Maya, Valerie. Quote, well, Lori, love all of you too. Yeah. Maureen, I subscribed to Lori yesterday. I could not talk in the chat because I had to wait 20 minutes after subscribing. When I went back, she was gone. Well, hopefully by next time we'll be able to chat. Because you should be in there now. Lori, okay, okay, with two Lori's here. I'm now Larry. <laughs> You're funny. Okay, hold on. What's going on? There we go. Hi, Maya, says Valerie. And then Terry, we have Lori, Lori, and Laura. And then the three biggies. That's how it's spelled. I know. I put the correct spelling in there for Maya. <laughs> My M A Y A. Now, after her name being Peggy Sue, did she have a hard time adjusting to her new name? You know, some animals catch on right away and others take a long time. <laughs> Lori, I keep hearing my name, LOL, Terry. Wait, we have Laura, Lori, Lori, and Lorraine, and Lana. Wow. Terry said, my friend's cat is Aya, A-Y-A, LOL. And June, on some channels, we have three Junes as well. But we only have two Kathys, me and Kathleen. And that's a pretty popular name, I thought. We have to distinguish the lorries. How are we going to do that? Yes, yeah, she's okay. Okay, you're gonna like her. Guarantee you'll like her. Well, you might have to do like you did for the Vickies. <laughs> no. <clears throat> it's just unusual to have so many of the same names. Lori says lots of L's. Mm -hmm. And lots of B's also. <laughs> Lori Clark, Larry here. <laughs> Too funny. Don't faint, Lori, quilting in the country, but I remember this. How is your dog Todd doing? I even remember his name. Oh, are you talking to me? Mm -mm. Um, Lori. She has a bad dog. I thought you were talking to Todd, me. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I didn't want to repaint it. I remembered his name. I thought his name was Marshall. That's Lori Clark. She has that. Um, her sister, German Shepherd, Lori. Cool thing in the country. Her dog is Todd and he's a bastard now. 
many dogs on this channel. <laughs> I know. There I'll, are. A I'll guard also. <laughs> and um, Terry's dog is Sebastian. I don't remember what kind, a terrier of some kind, I think. We're trying to remember everybody, but. Okay, I'm done. I've been hooked on pudding lately, I don't know why. Okay. <laughs> Terry, well, their names come up Clark Austin Country, LOL. <laughs> yep. And Lori Clark. Oh, Kraken. Call me what you want. <laughs> Just don't call you late for dinner, right? Morning. Tracy, I'm so sorry to hear you're going through so much. Hang in there. Things will get better. He is good. Todd is not as usual. Well, good, good. Tracy, who, me? What do you mean, Maureen? I'm doing okay, other than doing some of my regular complaining. Terry, cool thing in the country, bad boy, Todd. <laughs> Terry, Lori, Lori, Lori Country, Lori Clark Kent, and Laura Onstar. I like that. Uh, ha ha, Terry, he is. <laughs> And Terry, so sorry, Lori, Clark Kent. You can call me Terry Bobber. <laughs> Lori Clark. Oh, I took a picture of Marshall standing beside the cupboard, like the very first picture I posted. Now you can see how much he has gone. Oh, okay. Be right back. Can't wait. Tracy, I had used some over the counter eye wash on her yesterday. And it looks like I may not have needed the RX. Well, you never know. Better safe than sorry, right? Terry, Sebastian is brown shit too. He looks like Chewbacca. At least I remember the names and kind of the, the breed. I'm, I'm trying. I really am. Okay, so now I do this one. Okay, A, B, C, D, 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 D. Let's do, oh, this is pretty. Oh, which one did I put the pen back on? Pick the clip. Well, I'll find out. <clears throat> when I have an extra clip over here. That one. That one and trying to go to the ones I haven't done yet. This one. Yeah. Um Terry, Terry, Bowberry, Banana, Fanna, Bowberry, <laughs> Bee, Bye, Bowberry. Terry. Let's do an H here. <clears throat> and too, if you guys, you guys spell the lorries, you know, I always knew any lorry I ever knew was L A U R I E. And you guys are L, L, O, or, you know. I don't know. I can't see who that is. Now, I may have to cut some more of this, these out. I don't know. Mm. 
Hope not, but you never know, right? Okay. Okay, let me see. Maureen says, I meant so, Terry, I have to get new glasses or maybe a new brain. <laughs> Melissa, hi, Melissa. Melissa Sewing Creations. Hi, everyone. Terry to Tracy, cha-ching, right? The pets are a fortune. Boy, ain't that the truth. Okay, everybody's saying hi. And then Tracy says, <clears throat> oh, Mona's here too. Hi, Mona. Mona did what? How are you today? Tracy. Oh, yes, I agree, Kathy. I went ahead and used it in her eye just to be on the safe side. Very rarely does something like this happen, so it seems worse than it actually is. Yes. Vicki McFarland. Thank you, Jim. It's just taking some time for me to see the comments to see where I'm at. It's all right. No worries. Mona, hi, everyone else that I missed. Tracy. Oh, you know it, Terry. But my fur babies are worth it, or rather, my peace of mind is worth it. LOL. I know, huh? Exactly. What I wouldn't do with my little chasers. But we're lucky he's pretty healthy. So I'm, I'm grateful for that. Wait, I can't use this. It's the same as the other one. Darn. Well, that is not any good. Okay, why don't I just <coughs> do it this way and find another one? How about this one, J? Okay. okay. <clears throat> so let me see. Putting the three together. There we go. I got an extra wonder clip. I don't know where it came from. Boy, this is really, really. I think that's, I have to cut a little bit of that off. That's okay. After I sew everything together, I will. Okay, where else am I at here? Um, um, Terry. Terry says to Tracy, every penny, now that he is my last pup, I need him to stay with me forever. Oh. Well, and I wish we could keep forever. Mine is 14. Mm -hmm. Melissa is so ingratiating. Hi, June. I'm just going to call her Melissa because she's the only one that's in here. It's named Melissa. If that's okay. And Tracy, my cat sometimes gets into arguments, so I was afraid she may have scratched her eye. It looks like there must have been just something in it because it looks better after the eye wash yesterday. And Mona, oh, no, Tracy, I hope okay. Okay, I'm glad she's doing good for you, Tracy. That's, that's what's important. <clears throat> Okay, so this one here, be right back.
Okay. And then Mona says, my daughter is pet sitting. Our cat would not stay off me. My hips are killing me. Oh, no. No. Tracy, my arm is doing so much better today. It is looking like I dodged any infection from the teeth and claws of my other cat that got startled by the pups. Good, good. I'm so glad to hear that, Tracy. Mona, hi to lady in upper right of screen. I can't read name. Her, it's on Gladys Paul. She's on here today. Working with us. She wanted to come on. So, Beverly, oh no, Mona, take care. And Tracy, okay, I'll stop rambling on about me, me, me. Oh, you're not rambling. Never rambling, Tracy. Never, Stop never, never. Company, Kathy. Huh? I said somebody's got to keep you company. I know. Don't want to be like I was on Tuesday, right? Yeah. <clears throat> well, my chatters who are film shy or camera shy or whatever you want to call it. Now remember, ladies, mark this down in your calendar, okay? I won't be on next Thursday at all. A week from today, I'll, I won't be on. Okay? That's the only day guaranteed right now. When I was trying to go to sleep last night, I was thinking, when was the last time that I was not on? That I missed a day? And I don't remember. Thank you, Dave. Okay. Um, Mona said, hi, Gladys. And Tracy, I'm glad your arm is. And Jim, keep an eye on it. Mine looked good, too, but when I went to ER, I was very sick. I had pneumonia and blood infection. Uh, Tracy, thank you, Kathy and Mona. You're welcome, Tracy. Just watch it, like, like Jim said, okay? Terry, she posted her beautiful voice. Okay, I'm going to go look. Ooh, I got to go see. I know. Be right back. Me too. Be right back, guys. Well, on Facebook. Let me see. Um, oh, they're so cute. Okay, here's Sebastian. Can you get? Yeah, there's Sebastian. Isn't he cute? And then... Here's her other her other pups she had. They're babies. They're so cute. They're they're absolutely adorable. And Sebastian, he's the cutest. Aww. Okay. Is Jen up there? No. Can you wake her up, please? almost noon. Okay. Yes. Valerie says, Hi, Mona. Just finished my vacuuming trying to catch up with the chat. And Mona, hi, Valerie. And Jim, you're going to be on Friday or you're gone for all four days. I'm not sure yet. I only know Thursday for sure. Okay. That's all I know so far. And Tracy, oh, I love them. I know they're so cute. They're adorable. Mar Marshall's pictures are up as well. Okay, I'll go look in just one sec. Mona, I just got home from groom. Henry went to the groom. I went to the dress store. 
There was nothing good there but a candy bar. Cute puppies, cute puppies, Terry, cute, says Lori Beverly June. And Terry, those are the litter Sebastian is in. It's that photo I will post the girl. And Lori's quilting in the country. Aw, and Valerie. Oh, Sebastian is so stinking cute. Lucky you. And Tracy, trust me, Kathy, I'm not proud. I run to a doctor for the tiniest things. I'm allergic to pain. Okay, good to know. Pam, Sebastian is a great name. Our oldest grandson is Sebastian. Ah, see? Okay, now, um, Marshall. Okay, let me go find Marshall. Wow, what a difference. Okay, here's Marshall when she got him, okay? Little puppy German Shepherd, right? And then, here's Marshall now, a few months later. Yeah, he's growing. Uh, yeah, he's beautiful from what I can see. <laughs> A <laughs> little bud, but look how much he's grown. Yes. Wow. He really has. So he's what? Um, I want to say six, seven months now. Something. Am I right? Okay, back to the Y. Okay. Um, Mona says, hi, Pamela. Tracy says, oh, in June, oh, that's our Marshall. Yep. And Tracy, someone is taking good care of their fur baby. And Vicky, oh, June, you should have been in my therapy session yesterday when therapist was testing me. For my imbalance issue, so much fun. She did tell me I wasn't thinking about my symptoms. So glad. Beverly Marshall is really getting big. Yes, he is. Uh, Lori, five months and 60 pounds. He's going to be a big boy. Yeah, there's just something about them stealing our hearts, isn't there? Did you wake up, Jen, Dave? Can you wake her up, please? I don't want her awake all night. Okay. Yeah. Where is he? Valerie, they grow so fast, Lori. He will be a big boy who keeps you safe. Yep. Tracy, now back to working on my hanging in there block. <laughs> and Pamela, hi, Mona. And Terry posted the four of them under Sebastian's yeah. picture. Oh, under. So there's more up there? Okay. Let me go check. Under Sebastian. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> okay, <laughs> what happened? Where'd they go? Okay, Lori. Lori. 
Well, I saw the first four that you put up. Are those the four that you're talking about? Those I saw. Okay. Um, Ricky, I have my grandkids till tomorrow. Then I will be able to sit on the couch and work on Christmas. Week after next will be quilt blocks class. Nice. Terry, Lori, Marshall is going to be a great watchdog. Yes, he is. June. Ricky, you aren't to be drinking before you go to physical therapy. It's afterwards you can drink. LOL. Mona's laughing. And Laura, Lori, <clears throat> LOL. We had a delivery today. He didn't bark once. Hmm. Ricky says, Gladys, I love that pattern. Uh, Tracy, I'm not getting anywhere fast, but I'm hanging in there. <laughs> cute, Tracy, cute. Uh, Mona, mine doesn't bark as much. He's losing his hearing. Oh. And to, to, what kind of dog do you have again, Mona? And June, LOL, Tracy. All right, let me see here. Pull it out. Yes, I, I know, I, I know. I I made the mistake, Terry. Thank you. I'm sorry. <clears throat> yeah, I need to. Cut some of this off because it's too big. Then I okay. No, stay flat. He's got caught. Uh oh, I got a piece I gotta cut off. Okay, let me see. This one. Finish with this. All right. And Mona Shih Tzu Collie Mix. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. How cute. Tracy, how did that powdered donut sugar get on my black pants? Shame, shame. <laughs> Mona, I got him from the dog pound when he was a baby. Aw. Sandra, way to quiet in there. Yeah. Mona, oh no, Tracy, you dropped your donut. Yep. Tracy, shame it didn't make it to my mouth. And Mona, are you talking about Henry? Yes. I I don't know. I find that in the um, cats, this is my own personal belief here, in the cats that... Um, the the males are the better ones and the dogs the females. But that's just me. That's just my own. Okay, so let's see. Now we have uh, two of these. 
So let's do one I haven't done yet. How about a Q? Q, Q, Q. Q for queen. Well, oh, our queen is, is, is sleeping in the other room. Okay, and I got to get another one. Um, what's down here? L. Hmm, hmm. Well, maybe, let's see, H. Yeah, H. I know the ones I haven't done yet because I'm pulling the um, pens out as we're doing, as I'm doing it. Okay, these two, and then what one for the big one? Um, e, e, F, J. Just do an F. It's completely off the wall, but you know. All right. And you know, by doing it this way too, you know, taking a jelly roll and slicing it all up in a million pieces, you get more, you get more of the jelly roll to use, right? If that makes sense. More than, you know, easier to do it this way because they're two and a half inches, so. Okay, um, uh, Mona did what said hi to Sandra, Laurie said hi to Sandra, Sandra took a nap, Mona, I need a nap, uh, Tracy, wonderful, Sandra, sleep as a body, good, Mona, I will give you the flu bug, no flu, Sandra, says Mona, yes, Tracy, it does, Sandra, but Mona, I like to share, if I will. Vicky, Kathy, your nine patches are really pretty. Love your calming colors. Well, thank you, Vicky. Thank you. Sandra, you coming back on? Or are you still laying in bed? I need ice and water back in a minute, says Pamela. Uh, ice is making me cold. It's very cold here today. You know, you go from nice almost 70 to back down to the 40s. But it's okay. I have my trusty little heater. Okay. 
It does have a thread. We just cut off the threads. My thread cutter is not working for some reason. I don't know. <clears throat> I got to do it all by hand. Wait. Yeah, those are both the same. Yep. Uh, let's see here. Glad I noticed that. They're both the same. <laughs> I would not have wanted to rip that out again. Okay. <clears throat> two on one side, two on one side. Two prints on one side, two solids in the middle. My aunt says she woke up with a bad toothache. Mm. Okay, no, I'm not better. I woke up. Okay, so you won't be coming on, Diane? Um, Tracy says, Sandra, you should only stay on for a few minutes at a time so you don't start feeling bad again. Just saying. And... Uh, Uh, Vicki McFarland says, I can't fall in my apartment. I have so much all around that if I fall, it's into something I can get up off of. Thank you, everyone. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Hi, everyone. Inches for me, too. I have a hard enough time trying to figure out inches. I know, huh? Valerie, Sandra, share your quilting skills, but keep the flu to yourself. I did get my flu shot, so I feel safe. Hello, Diane. Hope you're feeling better. Uh, hi, Diane. Hi, Diane. Tracy. <clears throat> Sandra, you should only stay on for a few minutes. Oh, yeah. That's what I just read. Okay. Back down. Diane, no, I'm not better. I woke up with a bad Tuesday. Uh, Vicki. Hi, Maureen, Jim, Terry, Jeremy, Tracy, Beverly, and everyone else. My chat won't let me go back to some of the chat. So I can't see who I might have missed, but here's a hi to you too. Aw. Tracy. Oh no, Diane. I had a toothache not long ago. I feel for you, sweetheart. Yep, feel better soon. Terry, I'll be back later. Okay, Terry. Valerie, toothaches are awful, Diane. I hope you feel better soon. I do too. <clears throat> I had the toothache from hell when I was pregnant with my son. And I, I I even went to the dentist as far as to try to get him to pull it without any kind of um, anesthetic or anesthesia or whatever you call it. And, uh, you know, just pull the darn thing for me. And <clears throat> we couldn't get it. So he uh, told me that I would have to wait till after my son was born. And exactly three days after he was born, I went and had that sucker pulled. I mean, it was so bad, I was pounding the walls. <clears throat> so, okay. Um, Valerie says, two things are awful. Diane, hope you'll better soon. And Beverly, Terry, goodbye. Okay. What do you need, Chase? Did everybody desert you? Huh? He's being very needy today. This box. Mm -hmm. 
There's just a lot of threads here. I need to get all. Okay, that's good. Better than it was. Um, Diane, I don't think I can come on. I wanted to so badly, but it's worse when I sit up. It's okay, Diane. Don't worry. I need to feel better. I get it. <clears throat> Lori, iron won't work if not plugged in. <laughs> oh, no, I've been waiting, LOL. Vicki, I don't like meters or centimeters either. Yeah, it's not that I don't like them, Vicki. It's I don't understand them. I understand the inches. Um, Beverly, Diane, get some rest and take care of your toothache. And uh, I have a big old thread right here. Glad I saw it. Over. <clears throat> okay. And hi, who is on with you today? This is Gladys Paul with me today, Diane. Uh, Beverly, Lori, no, it won't work. And Tracy to Diane, call your dentist before they close tomorrow. I had to go all weekend before I could see my dentist. Oh man, that tooth ache kicked my butt. Oh. Vicki, hi, Lori. Sorry I missed noticing you if you were on earlier. <clears throat> okay, let me go iron this. As they say, let me go to my ironing station. <laughs> hi, Diane. <laughs> <coughs> Vicki McFarland said, hi, Laura Clark. Sorry if I missed noticing you if you were on earlier. Tracy says, our very own Gladys. Pamela is back. Welcome back, Pamela. Diane says, oh, hi, Gladys. Vicki McFarland says, quilting in the country. Hi, we're having mac and cheese and with tuna with one kid and the other is having dinosaur chicken with Arby's curly fries. Sounds good. Um, Beverly says, welcome back, Pam. Pam says, hi, Diane. Maureen says, hi, Vicki McFarland. Lori Clark, no problem, Vicki. I'm never insulted if somebody doesn't say hi. We're all friends. June says, welcome back, Pam. And Diane says, I'm happy to see you, Gladys. And Maureen says, hi, Pam. Thank you for reading that. Here's my other block. Isn't that one pretty? I like that one. This is, I think this is going to be a very pretty Irish chain when I get done with it. If and when. <laughs> um, 
Lori says, ha ha, Vicky, dinosaur chicken, yum. <laughs> you like that, Lori? <clears throat> All right, now that one's two. So now one of each of these. So this one. And that's fine. I like the purples, but I'm trying to not make them on the same. But I can't tell you how many strips I cut. I haven't a clue. Tons. Hi, Sandra. Hello again. Hi, Sandra. You're feeling a little bit better? Yeah. Good. Yep. Good, good, I, good. Yeah, when I get yelled at. Yes, master. <laughs> <laughs> now, who's going to yell at you? It's like, uh... Hello, hello, Lori. Yes, Lori is here. And hi, Tracy. Yeah, my stomach's not feeling so flip-floppy. Well, that's a good thing. thing. Maybe, maybe yeah. it's just a 24 hour or whatever. I could only hope. <laughs> <laughs> you never know, right? Okay, hold on. I got to take a phone call. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Well, just me. Okay. It's like I'm not gonna get near you with the flu. <laughs> okay. I'll watch for you. My. The diapers are being dropped off. Ah. So I have to find a pair of shoes and a coat. Because I am not going outside. In, it's, this wind is really bad blowing. Well, it's cold out there. I know. Yeah. I'll take my bucket closer to the front door just in case. I'm, <laughs> I'm very grateful to, in the fact that these new windows they put in are very, um, you know, keep the cold air out. Well, I have 82 degrees outside here in Texas, so. Oh, wow. No, it's 42 here. Texas is always hotter, though, although you guys have had some pretty cool weather this year. <clears throat> Okay, um, back to chat before I show this. Oh, thank you so much, Lori. She said, pretty Kathy. Diane said, very pretty Kathy. Thank you, Diane. And Tracy, to Lori, I agree. Love you guys. And Beverly said, cute Kathy. And um, Vicki McFarland and Gladys, look at your pretty little Mia. Oh, it's Maya, but... I'm sorry, what? It's Maya, but that's so <laughs> Maya, that's right, Maya. Maya. M A Y A. Okay, Tracy, there she is. Hi, Sandra. Welcome back, Sandra. Hi, Sandra. Um, I love all you guys, says Diane. Tracy, you can hear it in your voice, Sandra. Take it slowly. And Diane, yep, in the 80s here. 33 here in Iowa, says June. Tracy, Gladys. I was born and raised in Texas. I've lived in Ohio since 2012. Wow, has it been that long? I do not miss that Houston heat. <laughs> Lori says, Lori likes it too, Kathy, LOL. Thank you. Vicki McFarland. All these cats and dogs should have their own channel, LOL. <laughs> um, yeah, the Texas heat, the California heat, the Florida heat is all too much. Better. Oh, and Arizona heat in Nevada. But Arizona and Nevada is different in the fact that they have to the dry heat. That doesn't bother 
It's the humidity that bothers me. Well, I moved to Colorado in 2016. Down here. Where in Texas are you? I am southwest of Dallas. Southwest. Do you like the Texas heat? That's not too bad. You must have a pool, huh? Mm -hmm. What was that? You must have a pool, huh? Jump I in. I can't stand the, uh, the winters in South Dakota, so <laughs> <laughs> I get cold, too cold. Dave. Stop it. I didn't know. What did I do? Oh, hello, Maureen. Oh, Sandra's back. Hi, Sandra. Hi, Sandra. Yeah, it's, it's not very warm out there. It didn't take very long to get the diapers. <laughs> and where do you put them by your front door? I had to go outside and get them. But because it's by the fence, and we're supposed to have a chance of rain today. Oh, it's been raining here. You keep it over there. <laughs> uh, you you sound a little bit better. Still congested, but better. Like great news, your Walmart order is out for delivery. Yay! Yeah, my I'm getting a delivery today too. Oh, or my stomach is growling. I don't know if it's growling or mumbling. <laughs> it's, like, well, it's hard to say, but I'm not feeding it. Drink a lot of water. That'll help. Yeah, I am not, not feeding the evil monster. Not today. Not today. Um, let's see where are you are. Hello, Laura. Sandra, so happy to see you. Yes, that's where I left off. How did you know? I don't, it just popped up on my side. Uh oh, I was going to say, who told you? Yeah. Who's been spilling the beans? Sometimes they pop up fast, sometimes they don't. Oh, it's raining in New York, too. Coast to coast, raining. Well, I guess that's better than snowing. But people in between are probably getting the snow. That could be a definite possibility. You wasn't bad. He wanted some loving. I gave it to him. He started purring. Waking me up twice in an hour, tapping me at the door for no reason. He wanted some attention. That seemed pretty bad. Okay, but he wanted some attention. That's the only way he knows how to let us know. You have a broken sleep and scary too. I have that. June had an inch of snow this morning when she got up. Who? Who, Sandra? Um, June. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You did it the other night, too. You know what's back in the store? This one's different. <laughs> I have it but I just want to make it cute. So we can't do it? Mm-hmm. 
Okay, now. All right, let me check on the chat. I don't want Sandra reading. Uh, how does the saying go? Feed a fever, starve a cold. Uh huh. Lori's doing a, a Walmart run tonight. What? Okay. Um, Lori, hi, Sandra. It's raining in New York. And Tracy, hi, Lori. Yeah, does that one take you to quilting in the country two different ways? I'm practicing. Yep. Mine took her there. And so she's double posted. Okay. And um, Laura says, Gladys, it is 81 degrees and sunny here in Florida. And Lori says, hi, hi, Tracy. And Tracy, quilting in the country, could you post your link to your channel so I could add it to my list? There it is. They posted. Uh, Vicky, LOL, Terry. Rainy here says, June, or Lori, June. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, I did it. Lori says, oh, I did it. Yay. Patty. Quilting four 19 inch sides, four two inch sashings at 19 inches each. What's wrong with this? Yep, I did that. <laughs> wait, wait a minute. 19 inches on the sides, 19 inches each. Two inch sashings. Is there something wrong with it? Yeah, that's like, because four sides, four two-inch sashings at 19 inches. Right. And but What are you going to do, inch and a half? I don't know. She says, what's wrong with this? Don't get my math brain trying to function. <laughs> Vicki McFarland. Hi, Melissa. Sewing Creations. Glad to have you in chat. Vicki, hi, Mona. Did what? I don't know. I, I don't see where there's anything wrong with that. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Okay, now. It's like Sandra K. Tell her Sandra K. It's like did you it's like did we save our links and our our clipboard <laughs> it's like what a, i forgot to save mine in the clipboard dang oh it God. i know i didn't save mine either i'm gonna go back uh, it's like go back to kathy's go up to Lori's because hers at least has her name on it Yeah, I need to go and add um, Beverly. Are you are you by the computer right now, Sandra? Yeah. Because we need to add Beverly back onto the um, moderator chat up, up at the top there. I'll see if I can figure it out with my brain. We, <laughs> you have to find her and then add her. I don't know what happened there, but okay. So, and then over here, make it a really pretty light block. I, I think that looks cute. Like I said, I'm not sure how my brain's functioning. Or maybe do a member. What's Beverly's last name? Akins. She's moderator already. Um, uh, but is she up there for like what you are in that area? The admin group? Yes. So I don't want to forget the... Uh... Okay. Uh, I'm looking. 
Okay. Maureen, 56 and Drury here in New York. Tracy, thank you. Patty, sashing goes on the sides and adds inches to the top and bottom. Tracy, I save links to channels so I can just copy and paste. And Maureen, yes, Kathy, you don't have to shovel rain. Exactly. And the rain also melts the snow. That's also a blessing, right? Uh, cool thing in the country. Dank is what I call it, Maureen. Western New York here. And Vicky, oh, so journey, Tracy. When I was little, I would bring home everything stray I saw while walking home. I once brought home a cat with one of his eyes hanging out, was taken and out and adopted out. Oh. I don't want, I would not take a cat home like that. Well, they need loving too, Sandra. Well, they need loving, but they also need a vet bill, and I can't afford it. And well, pick up the cat and take him to the vet. Said you found him, and they would take it from there. Yeah, they would put him to sleep. Maybe that's what they've did to everyone that's been taken up there. Terry with all of her puppy pictures. Yeah, I know the next year. Okay, I think what you have to do is go in there and find Beverly and her people and then just add her as uh, if I remember correctly. Yeah, because it didn't go, I can't just go change her. <laughs> right. So I gotta find where she made a comment now. Well, no, just go go where the people are in the in the yeah. um, Facebook. All it brought up was the moderator one. Okay. Okay. Let me do this. There's no member request. Uh, her Facebook was hacked. Why? Has anybody ever noticed how sewing makes you real thirsty? It's the the lint. Lint. It's the lint. Well, I could suspend everybody for a day. <laughs> it's am it's amazing what you can do. I know, isn't it though? Yeah. It's like only a day though. <laughs> and that pops a picture of my daughter. Now I get pictures of everybody, but they're not alphabetical, so. Okay, so well, my phone's lasting a little ways. I like it. I wish it would always put new stuff up top. Oh no, you have to go searching for new. Uh oh. Yeah.
I think I jinxed my sewing machine, guys. What I said yesterday. Okay, I'm going to take this out. Is someone with three kids or three yeah. people in the picture, Beverly? Yeah. Um, you should be able to add her as a administrator. We got to take out the old one. Mm -hmm. So you don't get mixed up. Like they say, I was the old and in with the new. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> hey, invitation is sent to this bell. Okay. Does the other one have a different picture? I don't know her pictures. Yeah, it's like I'm looking. She says yes, Bell Aikens on Facebook. That means I'm not over here. Yes, Bell Aikens on Facebook. Yes, it's Bell. Mm -hmm. But there's a picture of three people. That must be the one. Is that the one, Beverly, with three people? Okay, where am I at? Um, Lori, I collect insects, fish, and snakes at the cottage as a kid. Mm -hmm. Tracy to Vicki McFarland. I can see you doing that. You are the best. Lori, I still raise monarch butterflies every year. I started when I was 10. Nice. And Vicky, so journey Tracy. I was a sucker for anything with four legs, so long as it wasn't a reptile or wild animal. LOL. And Tracy, now, now, Sandra, don't let the power go to your head. <laughs> <laughs> Vicky to Lori, Quilton in the Country, what a cute name, Dank. And Tracy to Vicky McFarland, I am the same way animal lovers we are. Yes. And Terry, Sandra K, any better? And Lori says, feel free to use it, Vicki, says, um, cool thing in the country. Beverly, yes, Belly things on Facebook and <laughs> cool thing in the country, Lori. And talking makes me thirsty, too. Okay, got to run my daughter to work. Have a great day, everyone. You, too, Lori. Thank you so, so much for coming, okay? Thank you, thank you. Don't forget the thumbs up. If you haven't already on your way out, okay? Thank you so much for coming. Um, Terry, to Lori, I collect bugs of all sorts as a kid. I'm not, I am not the same person now, LOL. Oh, are those caterpillars? Yuck. <laughs> Terry. Yucky growth. So the, Belle, the one that has the sign around it, Black Lives Matter, that's your old one. Like, Close it and see if it'll stay on. Because I'll close the other one out if that's the one with the Black Lives Matter around the frame. That's the old one. Let's see if she answers. Hold on. Yes. Okay. Because there's no sense of having two of them in here. If one's not the right one. Right. 
And if it takes you out, just let me know. Okay, you're also in Courtney's as a member, so you'll have to get Courtney to take out the old. Um, hi, Larry. Yes, that's the old one. Beverly says, and Patty, quote yeah. the terminology. Yes, the quote border. Says, border is not sashing. So back to my previous post. Take out the word sashing and put in border. I cut four borders the same length. Two fit and the last two do not. Yeah, I just figured you were going for extra like I do. My last two, I always sew on with extra. And then trim them off. Because sometimes how I come out too short. Patty, how much different in, in the size is it? Yeah, it's two inches to two inches because it's like I never know what I'm really gonna sew and my brain's on vacation Patty <laughs> no I don't think so when I got mine done I threw out all the scraps and said it's over Okay, Beverly says it worked. Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, thank you, Sandra. You're welcome. Okay. It's like, if we know when people get hacked. Another block? That one's awful pale, isn't it? Yeah, but I like it like that. I want yeah. to I want to be different, not have them all the same. Okay, now. How many of those do you have done? All together? Um, I don't know. I've just been throwing them up here. <laughs> Patty, One, two, I'm doing it, doing it, doing that now. Thanks. You have my permission to go on sick leave. <laughs> <laughs> Six, yeah. Seven, eight. Eight. Eight of them so far. Long to go. I don't think I'm going to put in the um, the six inch box or whatever they are, the solids. You're not going to put them in when? When, you know, the other ones, when I put it together, because I don't have enough fabric to do that with. Okay. So. Whatever you get, you get. Right. Okay, so let me do these two sides. See, I I just did mine until I run out of the white. And then I ended up putting one, two, three, four, five with two and a half inch strips. Oh, Tacey says, unfortunately, you don't get paid for six days. Nope. Darn. It's like my grandson that could have come got the diapers, but he has the semi. He can't. Is now oh. leaving town, heading back to the big city. Which big city is that? I spoke can. Oh. Mona did what says, I'm back. Had to pop over to so yeah. Mona, did you purchase anything, says Beverly? I'm sure she did. Okay, so what would be cute here? I think an A might work, huh? Ooh. And then did did you purchase anything? 
was like, come on, Mona, tell us. Mm-hmm. Farmer <laughs> packs and a fat quarter bundle? What the heck's a farmer's pack? Oh, I said that. Did you read Vicky? All the misfit lumbers. Did you read Vicky McFarland's? Uh, um, well, I, I can drink before and after my physical therapy. I don't take my meds till I'm done. Oh, I had to take my meds before I went to physical therapy. I did too. At least my pain medication, if nothing else. Yeah, it's like fabric with farm stuff on it. Okay, because we have makes, we have that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, we have farmer packs. It's all different size lumbers that are left over from the piles. They bundle them, put it down like one hundred and fifty bucks, and then you just buy it. And what you get, you get. Who does like a giant grab bag. <laughs> We'd always buy them because it was like half price of the normal lumber. Okay, wait. That's true. I need one of those quilts out of the cupboard to put on my lap. <laughs> Sandra's cold? Oh my. Yeah. What's your thermostat set at? It says this room is 69. Oh, that's cold. I got my hands in my pocket. I got my farmer. I have my farmer coat on. Uh, I gotta wear overalls. I never wear them. I should wear them. That's like I never wear overalls. They're, they're very comfortable. It wouldn't be a good thing to have right now with uh, no. the flu. No. Mm. Oh, she, after she purchased those things, <clears throat> she left so she wouldn't spend more, any more. I'm with you on that one. I can't buy anything. No, me either. Even if I wanted to, I can't. Right. It's my rule. I got to stick with it. No. Mine is Jade will kill me. I'm just looking out for my best interest here. <laughs> yeah. Well, we don't have any money anyways. But. Okay, let's see. Let me keep. June, we didn't do anything in my chat but work on an assessment so she could evaluate and now what physical therapy I need for right now until it's time to see the doctor. Thanks. Okay. Uh, Mona said, I bought 10 inch squares, charm pack, and jelly roll. I forget what the fat quarter pack was, something with kids that and flowers. Sense. I left right okay. after that. Okay, you read that. June says, Vicki, your physical therapy will go if you take your meds before you go to, to <laughs> physical therapy. Beverly, Mona, when I purchase from them, I always buy enough for free shipping. There you go. Mona said, me either, me either. No spending, says June. Terry, I was over there looking, but I don't like farm fabric. Oh, come on, Terry. You need a good old cow and a pig in your thing. Yeah, I got some farm fabric over here. Um, Mona, I need more fabric like I need a third leg. <laughs> Tracy, I have so many projects to do already. I don't actually need to buy more for a while. I think you're set pretty much for years to come, Tracy. Terry, I like modern stuff. I like yep. vintage. And Vicky, quilting in the country, those dinosaur chickens are in pack from Tyson's, but they are hard to find. Well, it could be where you're at, you know, I mean, I don't know. No, nobody's making, they can't get enough employees, so they can't keep up with every product. 
with the supply. Mason has a lot of chicken. Yeah. Yeah, they do. And, you know, they need to keep their customers. Yeah. So I don't know what's going on. Hmm. But if they don't have it, what can you do? You just go without. Oh, the pandemic's why, over, Sandy. No matter how much, if I have two packages of chicken in my freezer, that's enough to get me a couple months. That's but if they you. have it available, I will buy two more. Because you just never know when it's going to be there. Right. So you want to be safe, not sorry. Yeah. I wanted hamburger patties last time. Not a hamburger patty in the red bag. They had all the ones full of fat. But I want a lean. Yeah, I did get those. I want lean. lean, not full of fat. Yeah. Farm Fabrics will make cute bowl cozies and market bags to sell this fall. Yeah. Says right. Yeah. And then Terry says, Sandra, I could barely make one chicken, LOL. Yes. But those chickens are so cute. I've only made one or two or three, four, five, six, a <laughs> couple dozen, two maybe thousand. three. Uh, um. But this was the first one with batiks. When I was goofing off. Lattice has been so busy over there. I'm at a standstill because I need to cut my last border. Okay. Where's your cutting table? Is it close to you? That's on the other side of the sewing machine. <laughs> yep. Uh, well, you can go cut your border. Yeah. It's like you just do you what can you have cut. to do. You don't have to leave. You can cut. Let's go to the other side and cut. Yep. Go to the other side. <laughs> <laughs> and we don't mean the dark side. <laughs> yeah. You do what you need to do, Gladys. Yes. Doesn't New York have chickens somewhere, Terry? They got to have chickens because you guys need eggs to make the pasta. Darn, I got to rip it out. Oh, man. I was doing so good. Oh, what's wrong with this picture? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't see a picture. I sewed it, the two together that should not be. Because you're completely off of camera where you're tearing things apart. Okay. You see what's wrong with the picture? Oh, yeah, I do now. Wrong side, <laughs> Kathy. I know. <laughs> Yep, yep. Yo, Patty, I thought about it. I thought about putting my little tiny chicken as the one hanging in there. Hey, that would have been cute. But Why didn't you? Because my brain didn't think faster enough. Faster enough. <laughs> yeah, there's a new <laughs> word. Faster enough. <laughs> <laughs> It's, it's a word, but it's just not used in that phrase. Right. Because like I said, I could have taken all little five-inch ones from Summer Moon if I wanted to remake them. But you don't want to do that. And she says, of course, there are chickens next door with the Danes. But this is as much country as I can bear. LOL. I love cement and bricks. Uh, well. I want neighbors that don't talk to me sometimes. Well, that's what I have. My neighbors don't talk to me. I have a bunny rabbit out here that if I ever catch him again, I'm going to sit some carrots out for it. Why, well, are you going to keep him as a pet or kill it? No, I just want to feed him. Okay, don't hurt him. 
No, no. He survived all winter out here. Rabbits are so cute. But I was going to go buy some rabbit food, see how much it costs. Uh, I advise you to go on Chewy. My son can get it for cost. Okay. I'm eating boom chick pop. What the heck is a boom chick pop? I have peeps. Ooh, butterflies would be very pretty in that one. I thought about that one too, but mine have a destination. Yes. M Mona, what is that? Boom chick pop. I guess we live in the wrong side of the world. We get, we get normal things. Flew the cocoons. I can hear Jen's music again. Kettle corn. Oh. I had some of that the other night. Yeah, same. Um, Last night I had um, chicken pot pies with uh, broccoli and cheese. <laughs> Yummy. I really wish I wouldn't have ate. <laughs> and Vicki McFarlane saying, I had a toothache and one of my back molars the pain was so bad I pulled it myself. It was around 12, 12 or 12. Hey, Vicki. Uh, hope you feel better, Diane. They yep. give you such a small amount in those bags. Flutterflies? Right. Yes. Diane was going to come on and then she, I guess, fell asleep and woke up with a toothache. Yeah. So here we are. As long as I feel okay, I'm not doing anything. I'm not going to concentrate. Okay, <laughs> off. I'm not going to concentrate. Luckily, you're already uh -huh. way ahead of us, huh? Yeah. Well, it is lucky, Sandra. Yeah. But that kettle corn that's made actually in the hot kettle is altogether different than that microwave kettle corn. Altogether different. Mm -hmm. Uh, see. Laurie Clark, I've done the same thing, says Vicki McFarland. Uh, Mona did what? That's why I don't buy cheese doodles. I wouldn't buy them if we do. <laughs> I will eat the whole bag. And so Terry Sandra is not using any gray matter today. Yes. He's on a break. Yes. <laughs> Um, and then Tracy says, Vicki McFarland, I can't imagine, but I guess I could do it if I were in enough pain. Aches are merciless. My brother-in-law, he pulls his own teeth. He just gets stoned and then pulls it. <laughs> no. Yeah. He just keeps token on that marijuana and then he pulls his tooth. So Terry, that's why I only buy donuts once a month. Now, who got donut powder on their black slacks? Was that Tracy? Tracy. Early? It was Tracy, yeah. Yeah. Well, Connie bought the raspberry filled ones oh, for us to have here as breakfast. Uh -huh. I cannot stand them. I hate them donuts with a passion. Oh, they're good. No. And my husband won't eat brownies with powdered sugar on top, but he'll eat those donuts. What's the difference? They're good. It's like brownies with a little bit of powdered sugar on top is excellent. See, everybody likes their own. Brownies is the chocolate and the donuts aren't. 
he either wanted milk chocolate frosting or coconut pecan frosting on his brownies. Or naked, as he said. If I can't have them with the other stuff. Did you say coconut? What? Did you say coconut? That coconut pecan frosting that you put on a German chocolate cake? Yeah. Yeah, he'd eat them that way. What a mess. I'd eat the frosting, but I wouldn't eat the brownie with it on it. <laughs> brownies are awesome. They are good. Like the brownies by themselves. Okay, now I did it right. <laughs> uh, Lori Clark. Or, the, Vicki McFarland, Lori Clark. I just like to acknowledge that they are all watching and try to comment so they don't feel left out. Okay. Uh, Tracy, what? Who? I didn't eat a powder donut. What are you talking about? That isn't sugar on my pants. It's bath powder. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And Terry says, I like Duncan's chocolate glazed donut. I like Krispy Kreme's plain one. Uh, <laughs> Mona says, I like Boston cream and yo Patty with her poop emoji says, I don't use gray matter on a daily basis. So Terry, not the chocolate frosted donuts. Okay, I'll be right back. It's a glazed donut. I like glazed. I like no little stuff. It's okay, Dave. It's okay, please. Yeah, yeah. We've got to get a wheelchair in here. Oh, move that it's just fine. Move that over here. Uh, there's nowhere to put this. Mona did what? I, I lose gray matter on a daily basis. So, so Terry has her poop emojis all around Yo Patty's name. Okay, Sandra, can you handle it without me? Yeah, I think I can <coughs> try. It. Yes. And, and then after Kathy gets back, I'll go take another nap. Are you getting tired? No, it's just my throat's getting garbly. Okay, uh, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna. No, you're mm -hmm. fine, you're fine. Just go. Oh, I did it. Okay. Yo, Patty G says, same here, Mona did what? <laughs> we got the yo, the Mona did. Tracy's laughing. Okay. Mickey McFarland, well, look at who just popped back in. How are you feeling? Glad you have to have you back with us. Is that me? I've been here since uh, at least 30 some minutes. Yo, Patty, I'm watching Lost Ollie on Netflix. I want to make an Ollie doll. Anyone else seen that movie? No, I don't think I have. So Terry says, I sleep with my earplugs so my gray matter doesn't leak out when I'm sleeping. <laughs> Laughing emojis. Uh, Vicki McFarland, Sandra, you don't have to feel flip floppy. Just let me give you some of my meds. <laughs> Mona did what? Hello, Elsa, Terry. I almost choked. <laughs> yeah. We're just a, a good group of people here. And Tracy says, Vicki McFarland, click your live button on your video screen. Yeah, I try to keep my settings at a higher speed. And so Terry says, Mona did what? What? Mona did what? What? Well, that's how it, that's not how it works. Yo, Patty, I haven't had a doll in a couple of years. 
this just might be the next one I make. I'll Google it and see what Ollie is. O L L I E. No. Oh, which one? Ollie, the puppy? Oh, that's a rabbit? Okay. Let's see if I can get this up there. It's like, stay right side up. That's an Ollie. That is cute. Oh, that empty hole? That's what baffled me yesterday. Because it's like, it's just the block that jumped off. That's why I went ahead and put the backing on it. Uh, can you put a little stabilizer if you want the whole hole? Because that was the other thing I was thinking about. Stabilizing that one little sashing up. <coughs> Not sashing. Borders. Those two borders right there. I was thinking about a little stabilizer. Pamela, if you're that tired, go take a nap. But at least the freezer paper, you could uh, rip it back out when you're all done. But she said on her video that she hand sewed that back. But I was trying to figure out how to make it stiff enough because I everybody you see hanging there, they're really swooping. And Tracy says, Vicky, your video stream is lagging behind us. You should refresh your screen. And Terry, I was thinking about putting a wire inside that border where the little block was hanging from. Yeah, I was thinking of all different things. The only thing I could think of that would really work, being we're not going to wash it, we could even put a little cardboard in that those two places. So Terry, I have that pattern, but haven't made it. So Terry's made it, I've made it. Who else has made it? Um, We got so Terry and Tracy and I listen on the other end when I go lay down. And then I get yelled at from Kathy. Mm -hmm. huh. I'm back. Yeah. And you're supposed to be resting, not listening. Yeah. Well, okay. You can listen, but not comment. How's that? Well, Nothing in the mail yet, Mona. Well, it's right here. Right in front of you. I don't know if my mail's even got here yet. As soon as Cassie gets back on the screen, I'll go check. Because they might have delivered when I was at my hour break. But I was going to show Kathy what Patty G wants to make. 
I have it. I saved the picture. Okay, I'll be right there, Sandra. Yeah, you're fine. I'm not going anywhere. I will be right there. As soon as I... That's it. Now, I got... I'm supposed to have other mail dropped off. So I have to check because if we get rain, then it, if it's fabric or something, I don't want the moisture to get in it in my mailbox. And so, Tracy, I would refresh my screen, but if I do, I lose everything. A few minutes ago, I was knocked out, so I just have to leave it since it's on. That's where I go to the settings and I just speed up the Okay, play. Here's, the, here's the other one. Is that better for you, Sandra? Yes. Well, no, no, <laughs> there's something bit. wrong there. What? You're supposed no. to have dark in the four corners. No, not necessarily. I have too light, too dark. Yeah, it's like, are all of yours that way? Yeah, I'm not being that picky. Yes. Okay. If they're all that way, don't worry. I'm just grabbing. So what did you want to show me? Oh. Patty G wants to make an Ollie doll. It's a rabbit. Patchwork rabbit. Oh, that is so cute. Can we do it on the line? It, it'd huh? be a make, made up pattern. Can we? Uh huh. I like it. Marine. Oh crap. I thought thought I was done. Chain stitching. The last seven blocks. There was no bobbin left. Oh no. <laughs> That's Sandra, not good, Marine. Did you get your book? What book are you getting, Sandra? Off of her giveaway the other day. <gasps> that oh. book. You haven't gotten it yet? I gotta go check my mail. I'll be right back. <laughs> That was like me. Remember, it took a while for me too. Yeah, I have my jacket on. I have gloves in my pocket, sunglasses, hat. <laughs> Gotta make sure all these pins are out. I'm tired of getting jabbed. <clears throat> As I go through. Mm -hmm. All right, this one wasn't. I have so far I found four, five. So these are ones I haven't used yet. Okay. See, that's another way to tell I haven't used them. So okay, we're gonna leave this one and this one and this one and that one. And that one. Okay, I have all these different ones right here that I haven't used. Okay. So let me put these away. There was a time when I would have been so organized that I would have had all these nice and neatly in their little heart thing here where they're supposed to go. But you know what? I don't care. I don't have time for all this anymore. I don't, I don't. The mailman hasn't got here yet. Oh no. Okay, let's try these and see. The neighbors have a flag still up. Well, at least you didn't have to walk all the way down before you realize that, huh? Right. I just went out the door, looked at the neighbors, and said done. <laughs> I'm going through looking for any pins I might still have that I won't get jabbed on. And there are no more. Okay, so put this away. Which still gives me Mona did what? I posted the zip and grip. What's a zip and grip? I gotta go look. Okay, so these I need to work on. Um, 
what these pens are right now. I'm sure it's not the dog pictures. So one. Oh, there's a zip and grip. What is it? It's a bag. Oh, okay. And then there's an hour ago. Excuse this cute little butt. Look how much he has grown. Yes. I know. That's Marshall. Isn't he cute? Yep. Okay, so one, two, those go over there. This one can go get center. I think that'll be okay. All right. So now, one, two. How many more things can I have open? <laughs> When I sit on this side of my room, I think to myself, how can there be such a big mess over here? Yeah. You know? We all get that. I mean, it is really and a big mess. Mona says, let me go look. Okay. And Tracy, uh, from Vicky to Tracy, thank you for the compliment about animals. And they sucker you in and you spoil them rotten. Yep. Even if they piddle on your carpet. Yep. Jen says, what about Chase? Yep. But you know, it's just her excited pee. She gets the shaking so bad because she wants to be petted by me. And then it's like, okay. But she does that at home to the roommate that she's been with her entire life. But they have hardwood floors there. I don't. Some animals are like that. Um, is there a medication they can get her to help her with that? Or uh, there's so she is so picky on everything that that dog does. This is her third dachshund. And it, it's going to the dentist next week. Wow, poor baby. <laughs> yeah, even with her insurance, her copay is going to be like $500. Wow. It costs just as much to take the dog to the dentist as it does a human being. Well. My friend's dog, by the time... They got to be nine years old like mine. They had four teeth left in their mouth. Every time they'd go to the dentist, the vet, they'd pull out two more teeth, two more teeth, two more teeth. Why? It's like, you're going to have to give them puree. I know. Why? That's just what the did. Okay. Um... Mona did what? Says they all piddle usually. Yes, but we I did not let her up on my bed this time because I wasn't washing two loads of clothes. <laughs> Good thing the way you feel, huh? Okay. But I still have to disinfect the bathroom floor. I still have to shampoo this carpet, the other carpet, the other carpet. And then with me getting sick last night, I need to disinfect more carpet. You didn't wipe out your bed, did you? No. Nope. Nope. No quilt was harmed. I usually <laughs> do when I get sick like that. I, I, was, I was running pretty fast to get to that bathroom. I go, why isn't my bathroom right to join by at the foot of my bed? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Because it's something you don't think about until you're sick. Yeah. And then you but, say why. Yep. Or at least that's me. That's how I do it. Anyways. I said I should take part of my closet out and put me a door into my bathroom. Shortcut. <laughs> Would it work? Would it work? Yeah, it would work. 
It'd be a narrow door, but it'd be, it'd work. I could hide it behind, you know, like one of those mystery doors. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. She won't put a diaper on her, Mona. She should. Or a car. Border time, two inch finish, border or smaller. Hmm, decisions. Wish my quilt was this easy. <laughs> <laughs> Well, if it were up to Sandra, it would be smaller. Yeah. The way she is lately. But I sure started a lot of people making minis. You did. But I think there was six, six or seven posted on Mona's one, isn't it? Um, or on maybe. Mona's, on LL's. Yeah. Yes. I should go check and see if anybody else. How's Patty G working on hers? Besides her borders was too different. So did you get Beverly taken care of? Yes, I did. Okay. Took out the old one and put in the new one. Okay. So she's now back up there as a one yes. of the big big yes. keys bosses. Okay. Yeah. She can accept people. Okay. I accepted one last night when I was in there. And I even put on the thing, welcome. I go, what the heck was her name now? <laughs> Luckily, as I'm typing it, it brings it up. In other words, it's like, oh, what was her name? She's been quilting a year. Annette. Annette, yeah. yeah. Hey. What's I thought my question's reasonable. I'll take it off the wall because I'm on a write on it anyway. Temporary write on. Oh, it says my back room is 65.7. Here, Mona, is my mini. Hang in there. It measures nine and a half for the big square. And my little guy down there with his purple shoes. Uh Yes, I thought it was adorable. Thank you, Mona. Thank you, Beverly. Are they saying how cute it is? Yeah. Okay, there's another block. Oh, okay. Looks. Okay, so that one had the two. Oh. There. I just, with my friction pin, I wrote, hang in there in the empty space. I did it, I did it wrong again. I wasn't going to say anything. I just wanted you to notice. You should have. Kathy is wrong. I don't like to be the bearer of glad tidings all the time and say, Kathy. Well, when it's just you and me and Gladys here, who else is going to tell me? Well, I'm looking at it going, what's wrong? 
Yeah. Yeah, she's moving right along as long as she quits making that. Oops. <laughs> well, yesterday in the blocks, I didn't make not one. Now, I'm back to my oops mistakes. Yeah. It happens. I know. Unfortunately. Yep. <laughs> Laura's heading home. Okay. And then, ter so Terry says, Sandra, you are the cool team police. Tell her, LOL. <laughs> yes, tell me so I know. It's like that. But I don't like to be the bearer of bad tidings all the time. I would tell you. Okay. I mean, I, know, I, I can't tell you because you don't make mistakes. But if you do. Oh, I make mistakes. Jack and I are good friends. <laughs> when I ironed it, I didn't notice it. I'm like, until I looked at it real close, I turned it every which direction and I'm going, no, that's not right. And then, um, let's see, Laura, Laura, be safe, of course. Yo, Patty, I have the Lorelei Lorelei done on the door. The blue and white one is almost done. Ellie messaged me this morning. She is very happy to see everyone's posts. The ones that are posted are so pretty and creative. And Vicki McFarlane, Sandra, I know what you mean about your chat comments showing up at the top instead of at the bottom. I go to make a comment and then lose where it was. I ask all the time, where am I? Laurie Clark, Mer Larry made a mistake to Kathy. And that's, that's, so Lori. that's Lori. And so Terry, I'm going to make a churn dash that will finish at three and a half inches. Here goes, or I will go vegetate on the couch. Beverly says, Terry, that's tiny. Yes. Huh? Working yeah. with my two and three quarters was not fun. So how big is that quilt all together? My wall hanging? Uh -huh. Nine and a half inches for the main part. Then the guy hanging down off the bottom is two and three quarter inches square. Wow. Yep. I thought about smaller and then I go, no, I'm not that crazy. <laughs> but you're willing to give anything a try, so. Yeah. You know, And then I didn't quilt through that empty square because I just wanted it to say, hang in there. And his mouth is one of those just with the friction pin. Mm -hmm. The friction, I think is how friction. I don't know how it's pronounced. One of those pens. Yeah. If it stays there, then I go back and I use a permanent marker to write hang in there. It's, a, it's awfully cute. Because it's just, it's just my thing. But I didn't have a wall space for something 20, 23, 24 by 24. 
I have too much stuff on my walls. I know, that's everybody's problem. I don't have enough wall space. Yeah. Not really. Okay, let me try this again. Okay, so it goes here. I'm just hoping my flu is just a 24 hour flu. My mm -hmm. grandson, the family in Spokane, theirs was four days. Oh my goodness. Just the way I want to spend my weekend, right? But they're all doing okay, right? Yeah. Okay. They had to go back to work the fourth day because they couldn't afford to miss any more work. You're talking Coda and Aspen's mom and dad? The, the dad and the uncle. The dad and the uncle. Yeah. And Coda and Aspen. The mom didn't yeah. get it? No, they all got it. And with her, um, what does she have? Um, so far, they're treating her for... Um, 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 um. Ulcerative colitis. That's what they're treating her for right now. Ulcerative colitis. Ultra. Mm. Ulcerative colitis. Not sure it's something to do with her colon. I know that. Is it? She's almost constant diarrhea all the time. That'll get you dehydrated. And she has to drink fluids, take injections, take medication. She doesn't want to. Be. She doesn't want a bag, so she's trying to air all this medicine because she doesn't want a colonoscopy or uh, colost <laughs> coloss. Yeah. I just went over my head what that bag's called. A coloscopy is when they just check it. Because my friend has that bag and it's like, no, that's gross. Okay. But there are times that they put that bag on you to help clear up your colon or your bowel. No, it's right. Oh. Nobody talks. Sandra? Nope. I see all four corners being dark. Okay. <laughs> uh, right now, put this one in the middle. Yeah, colostomy. Yes. Colonoscopy. That's what I thought it was, but it just wasn't sounding right. Col colonoscopy. No, colonoscopy. The colonoscopy is when they go check your colon. Oh, okay. Colost colostomy. Yeah. See, I went that right in the it's like. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me see. Um, where are you at? Down there with the dirty colon. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, that's where we left off. Everything else has been red. Okay, so you so everything's been red. Yes, it has. Wow. Great job, Sandra. Thank you. I'm going to let you make a few more blocks, and then I'm going to go lay down again. Okay. My friend had it. They bypassed her colon. How are they able to do that? They just bypass it so it can mend and heal. And it goes out to that bag, and that bag is gross. I bet it is. Did it work? Yes, hers did. Uh, Terry says, I was in such bad shape for such a long time. I lost 16 pounds in 14 days at one point. Couldn't eat or drink. 
Wow, Terry, that sounds like me losing all that weight rather quickly. I'd like to lose 16 pounds, but not that way. Yeah, I know. It was too quick. You figure in four months, I lost 62 pounds. And they were starting to get worried about me. Well, first off, I'd never eat that hospital food. I didn't find anything I liked in the day I was there. I was there a day when Melinda was born, a day when Ronnie was born, a day when Casey was born, a day when I got run over by the car, a day when I, a night and a day when I had the gallbladder attack. Oh, I thought I was having a heart attack. Yeah. And then when I had the gallbladder removed, it was just day surgery. But there was none of those days. After two years of Casey's hospital food, oh my gosh, hmm. that's disgusting. Well, not all of this bad. Yeah. Well, they do the same 30 day rotation on their menu. And every time we went we had the vegetarian lasagna with oh, I, I, I didn't have that with great big huge chunks of zucchini with the skin on it that was the most disgusting stuff there was no meat there was no pasta and I says lasagna can't be made without pasta And it wasn't lasagna. Vegetarian lasagna can, but the vegetarian lasagna that I had had um, they took the zucchini and they shaved it in long skinny things. Strip. Yeah, they made these. They looked like lasagna. The way they did the wavy. Mm -hmm cut on them but not these inch cubes with the rinds on them well the food i had was really good i even had salads uh, mm -hmm. chemo kids can't have salads a lot and uh so so terry says hospital zucchini has to be blah I would imagine so, yes. Yeah. Lasagna with no pasta is not lasagna as far as I'm concerned. Right. Doesn't and sound like it to me either. So we stayed, went in early or late, one of the two. We went in and sat a weekend in there to get off that rotation. Because <laughs> <laughs> I said, I am not going to eat two years of that yucky lasagna so what came after the lasagna we had hungarian goulash yeah with pasta at least it had pasta i don't like hungarian goulash well it's like i didn't like the sour cream or whatever they put on it but i washed it off in the sink <laughs> <laughs> That's Sandra. <laughs> so I had the little meat chunks and then the noodle. And, and, see, the, and the sauce. Uh, I was down to eating baby food just to sustain myself nightmare. Vicki McFarland, I went for weeks before I could find the dinosaur chicken. And when they got Kids, you got to get something else. I get the honey, honey glazed chicken nuggets. And Vicky says, Mona did what? I love the bowl cozy idea with the farm fabric. And Mona did what? As thank you. Mona did what? Our one hospital has frozen food. The other one, it, food isn't bad. Vicky to so Terry, churn dash is, I believe, my favorite pattern. 
but I also love the double churn dash pattern. We're, we're going to make Lover's Knot on Monday that is a form of a churn dash, just a little different. Yes. Oh, the mailman's getting closer, or the mail lady. Laura's down here today. She's from London and she always calls me mum. She hated it when Larry passed away because she would bug him all the time. And she switched off this route because she couldn't take it. Aww. Yeah. It happens. Good. Let's see. What size package am I getting? Oh, I don't know what she's doing. Oh, she's scanning something. There's a book of some sort. Two, two packages of some sort. I'll be right back. She's trying to cram it in the hole. <laughs> Hello, oh, Becky. I'm so sorry. She says she's crying because her legs are in so much pain. Did you get all your cutting done yet, Mon um, Gladys? No. No? Frustrated. Uh-oh. Um. Oh, no, Vicky says, Beverly? Vicky had to get my meds and stop for a sub. Yum, not cooking. June, oh, Vicky, I'm so sorry for you. Hugs and prayers, sweetie. Yep. Same here, Vicky. Got the book, Mona. That's a fat book. Are you going to share with the lie, Sandra? <laughs> I can get it ripped open. <laughs> At home with Thimble Berries quilts. A collection of twenty five country quilts and decorative accessories. Oh, there's some kittens and dogs to applique on. Um, Mona says, I 
had people bring me stuff to eat? Diane says, oh, no, Sandra, I hope you're feeling better soon. Yeah, I have the weekend to get better. It's like, there's a very simple quilt. Sticks and stones. And what's this one? Is it um, hardcover? No. Soft. Brown-eyed Susan. Um, a lot differently made than our brown-eyed Susan that you didn't like. <laughs> And tulip stand, cherries. I'm just going through it real fast. It's like log cabin, pine tree log cabin. Um, Gladys, Ricky Lemire says she's glad you came on live. And the other thing was my replacement Fisker cutter. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Like, mm -hmm. Let's see if they get, get if they dug in the archive and found one like my old one or if they give me the newer one. <laughs> newer. In an envelope that's padded, inside another envelope that's padded. Okay, now I'm going to turn it over. And this Identical to the one I just, <laughs> except for the buttons different. It's gray. Really? They yeah. They've replaced it with one just like this one. Mm -hmm. They're similar, but the buttons are different. It's called the classic loop. That's through material, multiple layers of fabric, felt, paper. They don't put insulation on here. I cut through insulation with mine. It looks like the one you have in the middle. Yeah. But this one here, this button, when you put pressure on the blade to cut, it pops back and scares you to death. So I'll wait for a while and then I'll turn in this one is not working. <laughs> well, I don't want to overwhelm them. No, yeah, I know. Um, Vicki McFarland says, Terry, when I was about seven years old, my mom took me to the dentist to have a tooth pulled. I screamed because he wanted to pull it without deadening my mouth. She threatened to get daddy. <laughs> you better deaden her mouth. <clears throat> that struck me funny. Now I have other packages coming today, but they'll wait. Which one? The, Did you buy something? My Walmart bags. Well, are bags. they there? Are they there right now? No. Okay. They're normally here by now, but it's like, you never know. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to go grab my ice pack and my blanket and go lay down again. Okay. I'll return like a bad penny. 
Unless you're getting off. Mm-hmm. You're not getting off early, right? Mm-mm. Okay. I will return. We'll be here. It's a, I like the book, Mona. I just got have a better head to look through it. I found a couple that I like. Because I like simple because I'm making donation quotes. It's just not a good day for doing things. Right. Okay. I will see see you guys back here if I take an hour nap or what I take. I don't know. Okay. Okay. See you then. Okay. I'm not saying I'm going to get a lot of these done today, but I'll do what I can. So the offset. All right. Um, so if you don't like the book, you can donate. Beverly, Sandra, take care and rest. Feel better, Sandra, take a nap, says Terry. Ricky, yes, Sandra, I mean you. It takes a minute for chat to catch up with what has already happened. June, go take a nap. Mona, I hope you feel better. Exactly. Exactly, exactly. We need our Sandra to feel better, don't we? And yes, I mean our Sandra. I'll share her with you guys. Let's open this one up. Because I can. I don't know what's happening on Saturday, but if... um. If they still aren't on, um, I mean, I know Lord Len won't be, but if Pop doesn't come on, then I'll go ahead and go on. If that's okay with you guys. I just love trying to make everybody happy in the group, so. Let me know. Ow, my finger's staying. It won't move. Ow, ow, ow. There we go. Mm. That is cute, Ollie, says Vicky. Ow. It hurts when your finger stays in the one position and doesn't move, you know? been a long time since something like that happened. Sometimes I have to crack it to get it to... There we go. Okay. Then it's okay. I'm not sure I did of these right here I did 16 of each set and of these I did nine so 
I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to go and uh, do more of the ones I did only nine. Would you up here? Huh? Talk to my cat. Oh, okay. Maya? Maya? Yeah. Maya. I'll remember, I hope. <laughs> Well, you gotta think, think Egyptian. Oh yeah, huh? The Maya. Yeah, Maya. Maya. I was right, Maya. More happy mail tomorrow for Sandra. But you guys, you don't love me anymore. I haven't gotten any in a long, long time. I feel so unloved. So, so unloved. You know, I think these colors look really good together on this one particular block. I like it. Okay. Oops. I might have to bring out my stiletto. Oh, hard to keep these in line with each other. Okay. Oh, it is looking good. All right. All right, let me see what's up. Um, more. Nobody said anything. I'm going to go over here and iron over here. You can always tell when I lost my sock. Mm. Oh, wait. A little bit more room here. Okay. There's a couple of pieces. Oh, well, not a couple, but. A little bit I want to cut off here. It doesn't look very smooth on it. Okay, now I can iron it. <clears throat> Always have a, a rotary cutter and a ruler right here just in case. Oops. 
Now, I just knock over my scissors. Wonderful. Okay. So here's my next one, my next block. Here we go for that one. Okay. And Ricky, even though I can't work on my Christmas since it's my Christmas week, I am enjoying listening. Just want to get a key. I had to swim back. <laughs> that good, huh? Yep. Yep, yep. All right. Man, my foot is kind of chilly when this comes out. Okay. Does anybody have any questions or anything they want to ask? Anything so I can take a break? <laughs> no? Oh, you guys. <clears throat> okay. Uh. Say excuse me. <clears throat> All right, let me get a drink, and I'll continue on. Uh, nope. No questions. No, no, no. God. Um. There's Marie. Okay, no, no, all right. Then I guess I'll continue on. Okay, these need to get out of my way. I have been using them too much. Okay, this one, maybe, and do I want another light one? Let me see. Maybe I do. I have white ones, so okay. And then which one for the doubled? See what I'm trying not to do is doing the same ones that I did before. Which, <laughs> the, the, um, the wonder clip picked up my needle minder. <laughs> that was funny. Okay, so. Okay, that has a dark. Do this one. I think I've done D before, but that's all right. I'll do it again. This will be one of those all all light blocks. That. Okay. 
And I took off my sweatshirt for just a second. I will be putting it back on. In fact, right now I'm starting to get cold again, so let me put it back on. Hot, cold, hot, cold. Mm. Is Jim going to get the mail or are you? I don't know. Because I got something in there. So. Okay. Yep, more shit. Let's see, I want it to go like this in the middle, but I'm thinking, why is that so much? Bless you. I think if I iron this. It'll help. Okay, so. Okay. okay, Sandra, Kathy, just take a break. Yeah. Uh, you have a lot of mind catches to make, I know. Vicky, sorry, Vicky, I didn't say hi to you. Glad to have you in the chat. Thank you very much, Vicky McFarland. Thank you, thank you. I do have a lot of these to make, don't I? I think what I'm going to do is just finish this one and possibly take another break. Talk to you all. <clears throat> if I have them all laid out, it doesn't take long to put them together. And that's something I discovered. But what else can I do? Okay, this one. Oh, they're trying to open up back here. That's wonderful. Like so. Mm -hmm. Uh 
most noise car alarm and at the same time the rain's pouring. Oh, it's really coming down. And Dave just left, so I think it's in it. I mean, it's coming down. Let me go over here and iron this. Okay. That one's pretty. Right. Oh, yeah. I, that. I think that's pretty. Okay, I'll count how many in just a second. I forgot to tell Dave I need some more um, pudding. What? I'm all over what? Your couch, on the couch. Was it? Yeah. Wonderful. Did you wipe it? I don't know, but that's disgusting. No, it is. And I have to sit on it. I know. Mm. Oh, you're messed with things right there. You probably blasted that too. All of your CD medicine. Okay, I'm going to have to um, charge my phone a little bit, so I have to put the uh, the computer up so I can watch you guys and watch chat while I charge my phone. Okay. Okay, now bear with me because I'm going to move you guys back over on the other side. Okay. All right. Oh, Jen, will you come throw my water bottle away, please? Okay, let me turn this off. You blasted the medicine thing, too. Hopefully not. When I looked, he was looking at the, at the closet. Well, I, I saw him. I, I mean, I closed the door open, but he seemed in that direction. Yeah, when I saw him, he was at the closet. He was not at the closet. He was trying to trash that place. Right? Okay, let's see. Let's see. Okay, let's see. 
Okay, sorry guys. Let me move you up. Here I am. Did you miss me? You guys all missed me, didn't you? You can admit it. I can live with it. <clears throat> okay, so now let me put everything that goes back over here back. <clears throat> what should two, two. All right. <clears throat> this lap. Give me my big old binder full of my paper patterns. Oh, there's a lot in there. That's heavy. I'm going to tell you guys. <clears throat> okay, then my. Okay, crayons. So. Here we go. Here, I'm going to turn around here in a minute. Huh? Yeah. Okay. Thank you, everybody. I still don't have the um, chat, so I can bring the phone over here. It's weird not having it to look at on the computer. <clears throat> weird, weird, weird. Okay, come here, Basie. Hi. Well, at least you can see real time out there. Yeah. Here's my Chase. Haven't seen him since earlier this morning. My little baby. I love you. The things we do for our fur babies, huh? Yeah, I know. Oh, look at this. We got a couple treats. Here, girl. You see it? Get it. Get it. Get, uh oh, now you dropped it, Chase. Where'd it go? Hmm? Here, where'd it go? Okay, you found it. You the other one. Yeah, he knew where it was. Okay. All right, let's see here. Um, Beverly, yes, I can hear the car horn. We'll have storms tomorrow into Saturday. Uh, you going to be staying home? June, I went over to see what Melissa had or was working. Very, when she gets it all done, her teaching tech was good. Good. Melissa's creative. Create that one. June, nice. Vicky, that is terrible, Vicky. Beverly, June, I will finish watching her do a spider quilt. Ooh, a spider quilt. June, thank you. I couldn't remember the name of the block. My mind went blank. She is doing free motion quilting. Good job. June, you're welcome. And Valerie, hi, Chase. Enjoy your treat. I know, huh? All right, Chase, are you still there? No, I'm going to stay. I don't want him here where he can get hurt. You know, anytime I put my foot on the cord or anything, it just kills the bottom of my foot lately. Right? Do you want to ask No, I don't. Yeah. I took home, but it still hurts. <laughs> but thank you. I know, I don't want to OD on ibuprofen. Well, yeah, especially as strong as these, I don't want it to be sore. I do have, um, um, what do you call it, a uh, package coming today. Okay, I'm going to bring all this back so I can sort it out and bring my Blocks that I've already done, which is I don't know how many. 
How many blocks? Let me see. Okay, here's my blocks. Yeah, yep, uh, Gladys. Yeah, she's busy. Okay, one, two, three. Unusual, huh? Hi, Jen. Uh, she said hi, Jen. She heard you. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I got thirteen blocks done. Yep. Strip by strip. Piece by piece and strip by strip. And then I made a mess out of my strips that I already did. Um, da, 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 da. Melissa, that was in the chat earlier. Okay, yeah, that's her. Uh, Vicky. Uh -huh. Yeah. I refreshed my screen and it went back to long before Kathy made her boo-boos. <laughs> so I don't know where I am now. Just listening so I can figure. Oh, it's okay. Thank you. And yes, Melissa, that was in the chat before. Yes, it's her. You're okay, Vicky. And good job, Kathy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good thing I know my ABCs, huh? A, B. Yes, I need to go back to Sesame Street <laughs> and learn my ABCs. Gladys, Gladys laughed at that one. <laughs> With Elmo, yes. A, B, C. Yes, yes, yes. See, the one group I have blue and the other group I have pink as far as the letters go. So, okay, here's C for the pink, A, B, C. Apple pie is on. D, apple pie. E, oh, now they're, now they're starting to fall in place. Okay. E, well, I spoke to Apple pie hello. <laughs> hello, how are you, Apple Pie? I'm just sorting out my mess I got going over here. This one has nothing. What happened to my... Vicki Farland says, I'm going to go. Can't sit up much longer and need to clean dishes. I ate out of. Hope to see you later if I can. Bye. Okay, Vicki. Care and Sandra, hope you get the feeling much better. Yes, yes. That's very sweet of you, Vicki. Okay, E, F, F, F. There's G. Now, where's F? I was hoping it was under it. No such luck. Okay. I don't have to worry about getting jabbed because I took all the pins out of everything. Yeah. So, yeah, no jabbing like I did before. What is this? E, J. That's J. F. Come on. I, H, I, J. H I J A B C G E F. There's G. Where's F? Come on. There's always one in every crowd. I'm telling you. Um, everybody's saying hi to Apple Pie and bye, Vicky. Okay, so. Say well. Goodbye. I'll see you in a few. So remember, we just had a downpour, so it's going to be slippery. Okay. Okay, B, C. Oh, there's the F. Okay. F, G, H, I, J. Okay. I knew there was a lot. Come on, she was okay. A B C 
Anybody want to come do this for me? <laughs> Sorry, I can't reach you the computer to help you. <laughs> I know, shucks. I'm taking a short break. <laughs> I could just I know. On. I just need to figure out the title. You've been working hard all, all this whole time, too. Yeah. Okay, where's my D? Who took it? Now it's D, not F. M O H Q K J D. Come on, people. S. There it is. Okay. A, B, C, D, E. And I had the F, but now I can't find it. Oh, man. Mm, hi. Hello, June, Beverly, and all. Hello, Apple pie, how are you and what are you up to today? Anything exciting? I was working on my Irish chain, but now I'm kind of taking a break. Going through my strips because I made a mess. G, G, H, I, a little bit, here we go, I, Jen says, apple pie, did you make an elephant like some of the people? J, yeah. I got to do that little project. What a what a job that's going to be! But it's going to be a lot of fun. So I'm I'm looking forward to it. Okay. L. M. N. M N O P Q R S and T. So I did the alphabet all the way to T in this group. So here they all are. See, they're all sorted out now. Not too bad. Um, no, what elephant? I am doing Hexi now. Did you all make one? And where did I get that? It is fun. Hexi, how big are you going to make it? Says June. And Tracy, there is a popular FPP elephant pattern that a lot of people made. Um, it's this one right here. Mm. Let me this one. It's all foundation paper piecing. And yep, yeah, I'm going to make it. I got everything ready to go. Only thing I have to do is learn how to make or how to do foundation paper piecing. But this is it. And when finished, it's 54 by 60. That's Sandra's pattern. I'm going to send her. Okay, so. What I'm going to do now, I think, after my break, is cut out some of that um, elephant. That's something that has to be done also. So, Okay, so now I'm going to put them all in here where they'll be all nice and neat and looking good. Providing I don't drop them all. Jeez. Back here. Okay. 
put my squares in. You know, the thing with these food freezer bags is they're kind of slippery, right? Okay, so if you do it right, you can get everything in a food freezer bag that you're working on for your Irish tea. And I'll show you mine as soon as I fix it and close it. There, there's all my Irish chain. And that. And look at me. But I need a break. Drop my Betty Boob. I need to do that. <laughs> Come in. Okay, now let me unplug the iron. Don't do the top part, your dad won't be able to get in. I know. You know how mad he gets. Yeah. Oh, no, Did my soul sample of Watson? Mm -hmm. I know. I'm just asking. Is it really? Is it raining right now? Sprinkling. Okay. Um. That is pretty, Kathy. I will look. June FPP Tracy. You have to ask Ying with Donna. She can help. No. Um. No. Ask. Uh, ask Sandra. She made it already. The ones that did it like and had fun making it. Uh huh. That is pretty. Thank you. Apple pie. I will watch Kathy and learn if that's okay. Thank you for telling me. You're welcome. Yes, you may watch. You're welcome. And uh, I have to go. It's 9.23 p.m. here. Night, ladies. Good night, apple pie. Have a great one. We shall see you later. Later, Gator, they say. See you later, alligator. Okay, I'm going to put this back down. I knew it was looking kind of fair over here. Huh? Yes, the bare necessities. This back and this one back. Boy, that makes for a bright light, doesn't it? Okay, give me my pens. But yet it doesn't shine that well on the on the uh, sewing machine like I want it to. Okay. Um, good night. Bye, apple pie. I got a uh, night apple pie, says June and Beverly. And then good night, apple pie. Nice to see you again, says Susan. June. Hi, Shady Susan. Hi, Susan, says Tracy. Hello. Yes. Hello, Susan. Same. Next question Okay. We have to set it up here. Okay. Hi, June. Hope you are well. Hello, Susan. Good night, apple pie. Hi, Susan. Everybody saying hi to Susan. That's fine. That's a ways away. Oh, this is Huh? Well, your bed, right? It's a Step up there. Room, so okay. Stuff up there. Mm 
from your window? You're sleeping under that? That's not good. I did not know that. Okay. Yeah, I know. Okay, it goes over here. So what is Melissa's channel again? The Melissa that we were here. Melissa's um no 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 Melissa's sewing creations or Melissa's create oh what is it? You guys come on, you know. Melissa's don't tell dad about it. I won't. I think it's Melissa's sewing creations. I think. I could be wrong. But that sounds right. With creations being spelled with a C, okay. So I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Yeah, I know the feeling. I know the feeling. Did you did you wipe that? Okay. Well, you can wipe it and then bring it over here so it's safe and you won't hit it or anything. Oh my eyes. Sometimes these glasses they they get to my eyes. But unfortunately, I can read the computer without them, but I can't read my phone without them. So I have to have them to read. Okay. Melissa's Sewing Creations. Okay, thank you, Beverly. That's what I thought it was. Okay, I checked. I'm subs subscribed already. And Beverly says, right, Kathy, I need to download something for Netflix. Any ideas? Well, what, what in particular, shows, movies? June, I just went in, clicked in the left-hand corner, and then she came up for me. Yeah, I don't. I only know one Melissa. And that would be her. Sure you don't want to give it to me, Jen? Mm -hmm. So I don't bother you in 10 minutes? Okay. Okay, it's 2.30, so 2.29. Oh, there it is. Carrie put it up for us. Oh, what a sweetheart. Yes, that's right. That is a sweetheart. Thanks, Beverly. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <clears throat> Goddess, take a break. <laughs> Be like me. Take, take five. You're yeah. taking a break. <laughs> Sometimes when you take a break, you don't want to go shoulder, back. My shoulders are aching. <laughs> <laughs> She probably will around eight, right, Susan? Eight, 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 five, my time. <clears throat> Every once in a while, when you're go when you're on a roll, you don't want to stop. But then by the time you stop, your body hurts <laughs> and you're aching all over because you should have stopped earlier, right? But that's okay. Huh. Yes. What's that from? Send shivers down my spine. Body's aching all the time. I don't know. That sounds familiar. Send shivers down my spine. I don't know. 
Oh, it's okay, Diane. No worries. Are you feeling any better? I mean, it's good that you fall asleep. That's no problem. We can live with that. We can, we can, we can. Welcome back, Diane. Welcome back. On my phone, okay, this is, the, this is weird. On my phone, I'm on the left. On, on the computer, Gladys is on the left. On my, so my computer, I'm on the top. <laughs> it's weird. But it's okay. Okay, I'm going to move my iron over here because I have a thing I'm going to open here and share with y'all. Well, that gets hot. Yesterday, I put it over there and I totally forgot about it. So I have to remember it that it is over here. Okay, here's part of my, my foundation paper piecing, Bell. I don't really need this in the way. Okay, and I don't need these because I'm going to do some cutting, but not this kind of cutting. Cutting with scissors. You know, cutting the old-fashioned way. Remember all those when we used to cut with scissors? <laughs> not rotary cutters. Remember that? Surely. Okay. Huh? Shirley is on. She says, hello, everyone. Hi, Shirley. How are you? <laughs> it's just me and Gladys here right now. Um, you go? Yeah, I do. Bohemian Rhapsody, yes, body ache and all the time. How could I forget that? I've heard it a zillion times. I know. I was around when Queen was a baby. They just started. Come with me. <laughs> I know. Okay, my pencils are getting buried under the book thing here. Okay, so now these are for my my uh, what you call it? But my uh, block I'm making for Laura Lynn. I can't remember what it's called. Like no, it's some. It's called something. Oh, hanging in there. Yes, thank you, Jen. God, where would I be without Jen? Don't go anywhere. You owe me the the, the package. Because if I ask your dad, he's gonna get all mad. You owe me your life. Okay, everybody saying hi to Shirley. Um, Diane, you okay? You're okay. You need your rest. Uh, Susan didn't answer. I'll ask her. Susan, Mona wants to know if you're going live tonight. Maybe, baby. Hello, Lois. How are you? Welcome back again. Huh? I'm taking a little break here. Love chase. Yes, Mona. Uh, what I am going live at eight tonight. Hope to see you then. Okay. Sounds like a plan. That's five my time, right? Yes. Okay. Okay. Okie dokie. Sounds good. I will watch you then. I will take a nap. Oh, you're going to go take a nap on me to watch Susan. I see how you are, Mona. I get it. <laughs> oh, Shirley says, Mona, when is your Zoom again? I would like to join again. Just can't remember the dates. 
Lois is waving to everybody and nope, not yet, says Diane. Shady Susan. Mona, tomorrow at one. Is that Eastern, Central, Pacific? Tracy. What UK? What are you working on tonight, Susan? That's a good question. You're on the left here too. Well, on the left, yeah, on my phone, but on the computer, um, Gladys is on the left when she's in charge, and I'm just hanging out. See, I'm the guest. She's the main person in charge. Whoever is on the left on the top is the one in charge. I feel this. The way this works. Oh, poor baby. You guys like Chaser's new toy? He loves it. It's like a pillow for cats. But yet he can chew on the strings right here. I got it for him for his birthday, and it's really, really soft. And I think, yeah, there's catnip in here. Yeah, this is full of catnip. That's why it weighs so much. Yeah. I found it at a pet shop. I had a choice between blue, light blue, pink, and purple. And I chose the purple. We got to cut that off. He can get hurt. Yeah, I just Okay, let's, let me see it. Not good. Make sure it's pulled all the way out. I know. Hold on. I know how it works. He's going to put his mouth on it. Um, I'm not sure it's coming out the other end. Yeah, that, that, no. Hmm, that's weird. Let's see. It's stuck right there. I can't. I'm unable to get it. Maybe if I push it in, that's better. Yep, out of sight, out of mind. Yeah. No, he'll be fine. Okay, it's time for my... All right. Mona. Oh, Eastern time. Okay, so that's 5 o'clock my time. Uh, Lois, my poor little fingers got a workout today. Woohoo! For me, I got my taxes finished. Hey, Lois, you getting the millions back? Um, Shirley, Mona, do you still have my email or do I need to email you again? And June says, that's good, Lois. And Tracy, I don't know why it is, but every time I have an injury, the later in the evening it gets, the more the injury bothers me. Maybe it's the uh, coldness of, I don't know. Mine usually bothers me when I lay down, if I have an injury, if I lay down. But other than that, I'm okay. Because uh, I can remember one time, oh, God, I got bit by this rat. And my finger, it was on the top right here, and it, and it throbbed. I mean, it throbbed. And so when I laid down, I tried to hold my, my hand over the bed so it wouldn't hurt so bad. But, oh, it, it, I was in pain for a week. Um, I wish I did. I wish, but I don't owe anything. So that makes me happy. And says Lois and Mona, Shirley, I think I emailed you. Oh, no. Okay, guys. Yes. My happy mail. Oh, sorry. Soul Sampler. Okay. From the fat quarter shop that Tracy said I was going to be in love with. So let's see if I am. Huh? Okay, I'm sorry. All right, let me see a pair of scissors. I'm dying to see what's in here. I'm glad it came while I was still um, on. Yep, because usually everything comes on a Friday or Saturday. That's you know, 
that's just not good for me. Okay, is everybody ready? Say ready. Say open, open, open. Tracy already knows. And I'm sure a lot of you guys already know, but I don't know who all does this. All right. It's called Scenic Root. How cute. Okay. And we have the sew sampler. Okay, I'm going to go in order this time. I learned the hard way. All right. Um, motive fabrics would be this right here. Simply Delightful is exactly the right name for the vibe of the fabric line. With a bright range of hues and eye-catching prints. No, that's not it. The collection is the Quilter's Playground. Happy Dots, Stripes, Orange Peels, Daisies, and more adorn this colorful group by Sherry and Chelsea, and you simply won't be able to resist. Okay. I don't know how much this is, but this is the um, Jelly Roll. I love Jelly Rolls. Okay. It says to you from me and give some scissors there. So those are some really pretty colors I like from the fat quarter shop. Okay, I'll do it again so you guys can get a better better look at it. Okay. Oh. Oh. Red and white checkerboard. How cute is that? Up. some flowers and some daisies and um, some X's. I should probably open this, but I don't know how to close it. Okay, so that has no price on it. Okay, this right here is a quilt strap carrier. If you're binding on the go or simply headed out for a picnic, don't forget the quilt strap carrier to safely secure your quilts while on the move. Valued at $9.98. Okay. They just strap it on. And then this is the Select Self Erase Marker Quilter Select. Ooh, nice one. Um, the Quilter Select Self-Erasing Marker marks a new era for fabric marking. With bright purple ink that shows up easily on most fabrics, this precision tip marker writes easily and disappears after one to seven days. You can use the included eraser for immediate removal, but you won't be able to easily erase this notion from your sewing drawer. Here it is. Valued at 848. Pretty nice. I like quilter select. Okay. And then, oh my gosh, how cute is this? A pen magnet for your sewing machine. Huh. A cat. This is perfect tool to keep your pins in check. This cute cat shaped magnet attaches with a suction cup to your sewing machine so you can quickly stick on or snag a pin without slowing your sewing. That's something to meow about. Value at six twenty four. Isn't that cute? Yeah. I think so. <laughs> and then we have um, let me see. Okay. Easy three. Huh? Most of the, how many strips are in the jelly roll? Um. Um, it doesn't say, oh, no, it doesn't say, I would have to count it for you, hold on, one, two, three, four, 
There are 20. So it's a, a, a half of a jelly roll. But it's for this pattern right here. Easy street pattern. Okay. It's called, um, I mean, this pattern will have you feeling like you're cruising down Easy Street. The Easy Street quilt pattern is made to feature jelly roll strips with an easy yet attractive design. With an included bonus piece backing, you'll roll right through the quilt with a smile. Try it with Simply Delightful Junior Jelly Roll this month's box. Okay. And that. It doesn't say any kind of a price on that, but here's here it is. And um, looks pretty simple. When finished at 48 and a half by 48 and a half. Okay. And uh, backing, what back? I don't, I didn't get any backing. <laughs> I didn't get any backing. You just mm -hmm. have to buy that um, fat core stuff. Well, it, said it did say included, didn't it? With an included bonus piece backing. But it's not here, so. Oh, well. Yeah, maybe it's okay. not. Yeah. Who knows? And then, um, cut right tool. Cut right binding tool. Oh, I don't have one of those. Take the frustration out of finishing your binding with the cut right bind up tool. This fantastic notion is a fast and easy way to achieve perfect miter seams in every single quilt binding. It works with all binding strips with no making required. Cut down on your binding time with this tool and spend more enjoying time on your quilt. I've always wanted one of these. So you see, you know, an angle, whatever. And um, there's one more thing here. Wait. Bliss quilt along fig tree, fabric swatches. I don't know what this is either. Okay, so one this right here. What is this? Let's set it aside. Bliss quilt along. Okay, so this is extra. It would be like um yeah, it looks like a bunch of flying geese and stars. It's just an extra um pattern that you can do. It's time to reveal this incredible quilt. The Bliss Quilt was designed by Joanna Figueroa as a celebration of shapes and colors that create happiness. Each block brings something new to the table, as does the fun quilt setting. Pick up your own Bliss Quilt kit and make some joy with every piece and sink. Value four ninety eight. So total value of this is. Okay, let's see. Oh, this right here is $21.98. And the um, blue, this right here, $9.98. So that would be uh, 31 And then our marker is $8.48. So that would be about $40. There, there are about. Um, the kitty is six twenty four, so that's six fifty around there. Um, the pattern, Easy Street pattern, is nine ninety eight, so that's another fifty six. And your um, binding tool is nine ninety eight, so that's another ten sixty six. And your quilt along. 
five dollars is seventy one dollars. Wow, more than doubled what I paid for it. So that's very nice. That's what came in the box this time. Cynic Root. I like I like the title. Uh, buy one jelly roll, get one half off. I have a. Uh, Thing for that. And to answer Tracy's collection, I mean, Tracy's question, you're right, Tracy, I love it. Okay, I'm using the magnet on top of my so steady table to hold my thread clip scissors. Oh, there you go. Shirley, thanks, Kathy. How many strips? Are okay, you're welcome. Um, that's a cute pattern. Email them. What was the light blue color fabric? It's the, um, it's a handle, a quilt strap carrier. So it's like to put on a, um, you know, if you made a carrier or you, or you have a bunch of whatever. It's just simply to, so you can carry it. It's pretty big. So it's a heavy duty quilt strap. Nope, it's not the backing. Um, I'm sorry, June, it's, it's a carrier strap. It's not backing. There's no backing in this box. Did you get backing in your box, uh, Tracy? There is no backing at all in here. The only fabric I got was the jelly. I like the um, miter corner thing there. Okay. And this um, uh, marker, too, is going to be, I love this pen magnet. It's so cute. Oh. And then it all fits back in nice and neat. This is what it looks like when you open it up. Sandy Cruz. And you have everything in there when you open it. Very nice. Very, very nice. Um, Shirley, how much does the box cost and is shipping included? Um, it was on, it was 35, but then it, came, it was on sale for, I think it's 35 now or 38 or something like that. It's a really good deal. And yes, shipping is included. It's so sampler from uh, back quarter shop. Tracy, just the jelly roll. Okay, yeah, that's what, okay. Uh, okay, Mona, have a good nap. Pam, back, see, he seems to be sleeping okay, okay. Bye, Mona. Take care. Bye, Mona. Okay, thought it might be, but no luck. Yeah, I know. Me too. No, it's a strap, but it's okay. So this is my second one. I'm impressed. I really, really like it. So put it up here with my first one. There was one, was it that quarter shop? Gosh, I don't remember. One of them had um, a special spring one and I and I got it. So it'll be here. Enjoy the little things was the other one. Oh yeah, yeah. I haven't touched it yet, but they really give you a lot of cool stuff. It's worth it to to um, get the so sampler. I should have gotten it long ago, and I did. And Open Gate Quilts is another one that gives you really cool stuff. Yeah. That one should be coming here pretty soon. So, 
<laughs> that was fun. Yeah, just I only ordered the spring one. Um, it's just strictly for spring. And it said, you know, like lots of notions and all that. And I think it was 42. That's it. It was not that much. So. And I like the. I'm sorry. I'm answer, answering Diane's question. She says, I don't talk much. Are you doing okay? <laughs> She's been busy. Busy, busy. I'm a quiet person. <laughs> well, you know what? Somebody has to teach me how to make a bag, and then I can use the strap. <laughs> That's what I want to do. I want to learn how to make a bag <clears throat> so I can do the strap. But if you have a question for Gladys, she'll answer you. Tracy, I like the pen magnet. I'm going to see if I can get a couple more to hold my freezers and, so, I mean, tweezers, freezers, <laughs> tweezers and stiletto. There you go. I know, isn't that the little kitty? That's why you said I'd like it because of the kitty. I know you, Tracy. You think like me, the fur babies. Uh-huh. Somebody's over here yawning. <laughs> yeah. But I won't mention any names like Gladys. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see how many hours I got last night. Check my Fitbit. Five hours and 52 minutes. <laughs> that's it? Sleeping? Yeah, that's what it said. Huh. That's a good idea, Tracy, says June. Yep. And that's okay with me, then I won't be taking over, talking over you. <laughs> well, you know, I don't know if she's going to be coming on all the time, Diane. Well, I could. She could. Okay, there you go. It's a lot easier to talk than it is to be in chat, right? And <laughs> they're typing yeah, everything. Yeah. But it's good to type too, because you want to keep up with your skills so to speak but it is a lot easier to be on than in chat yeah, I think <laughs> planned for next week so I'm free <laughs> you're free next week yeah um, Tracy the suction cup holds the top of my table so well which points the magnet upward like a little table well how cute is that you have the so steady table, right? I just think it's adorable. And I've always, always, always wanted the binding tool. So I'm glad I finally got one. Did daddy shut the door on you? Oh, poor baby. <laughs> Chase walks away all sulking because daddy closed. There you go. See? Yes, it's so steady. Okay. All right. Yeah, like, like the one you bought me, right? Those so steady tables are awesome. Awesomely awesome. Okay, now... I don't want to forget what I was going to do. <clears throat> yep, I got some more of the fabric over here. There's fabric all over the place. Okay. What is this? Oh, my stars. We didn't do this, did we? I don't remember. Did we make a, a block of all my stars? I 
It looks cute. It's a free pattern from Pat Sloan. It's five pages. I don't remember making it, but that doesn't mean I don't. You guys know me. That doesn't mean anything. Okay, now I'm going to take this, this, take my chain links over to behind here. I have a lot of uh, patterns I need to put in the book. And there's another one. Why do I have two? Two of the All oh My Stars. Hmm. Okay, so let's get this in the back. Back to this. All right, my disaster of a mess I got going here with my uh, elephant. I did a rough cut on it. Now I got to go back and cut, cut. No rough cutting. You got to do it the right way. Okay. All right. And I'll keep an eye on chat while I'm doing this. This foundation paper piecing. Um, I can't wait to dig into it, but Sandra won't let me until I learn how to foundation paper piece. Okay. Um, Diane, now we can we make the binding tool quilt like tips? Oh, yeah. Nope, Kathy. <laughs> Tracy, it makes it easy to grab my scissors when I pull the fabric towards the back of the machine and snip the thread. Yes. I pull mine towards the front. Easier for me, you know. Everybody does it their own way and they, whatever way is easiest for them. Mine's towards the front. Oh, my stars is to be a quilt later. Oh, okay. All right. Thank you, Sandra. Thank you very much. I'm getting as close to this as I can, but I'm not hitting it because I don't want to hit anything and destroy the... I'm just getting as, as close as I can to it. Okay? Without hitting the dots or whatever you want to call it. So... It looks kind of like that. One A, B, and C. Oh, yay. This part doesn't look like it's too hard. These are really big pieces, but foundation paper piecing, I could be wrong, right? Because in my little brain, I think things are easy and they don't turn out to be easy. They turn out to be hard. And this uh, paper is rather thick. So. Okay. Um. The binding tool, it's green. You want to see it, don't you, Sandra? June, Kathy, do you have everything for 
on your birthday quilt. No, I need a jelly roll. And then I can finish it. I need a light, plain, light colored, plain jelly roll. And then I can finish it. I ran out of fabric. Thought I was going to have plenty, but it didn't turn out that way. Mm, Shirley, Kathy, are you getting the oh, Yes, I am, Shirley. Have you got, do you get it? I've only gotten one. I'm waiting on the second one. I don't remember when they when they come in the mail. Um, Tracy, I must be getting tired. I just sewed the two square together face to back. Asked Jack for a date and then turned right around and re-sewed it the same way. I must have missed it. Okay, I'll show it to you, Sandra. No, no worries. I've done that so many times, Tracy. Oh, my goodness. I, I can't even begin to. It's not that you're tired. It's just that you think that, that it's the right way. At least for me, it is. All right. Um, I think it's on the bottom here. Let me see. I should write box number one, box number two. Yeah. Finding tool. There you go, Sandra. That's it. I think it's um. Got some lines on it and uh, cut right bind up. It says WW Quilter Square something square up length square. There is a square right here. Square. So I don't know if that makes sense. Fast and easy, no measuring required. Works on all binding strip with fluorescent green color makes lines clear and easily seen on all fabrics. You're welcome, Sandra. My uh, container that's right there. Okay. Uh, uh, Tracy Oh No says Beverly and Kathy, how many are you getting? Just two. Only two. But I'm getting the block of the months from um, uh, three of them from um, Teresa's quote. Well, she, her quote. So, um, what's it called? Your best friend's quote shop. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'll, I'll have to go on. Um, sorry about what? I forgot your job. Not jello, it's pudding. Gents, I only had one. What's it what's the other one? Does it say vanilla? No, that's jello, that's lemon. That's gents. But I could try it as a, as a pudding. Okay. I'll do it as a pudding. Well, I mean, I don't know if it is, but, you know, like they have the clear ones. Well, the other one says jello too, so. Well, the other one says jello. 
The chocolate says jello. Uh, yeah, it says jello, but it's a pudding. Has anybody made a um, lemon pudding before? I never have, but look on the side and see if it says pudding instruction. Yeah, yeah. Two cold milk. Yeah. So okay. All right. I'll try. So you can go on Saturday or whatever. Boy, oh boy, getting close to these dots is not easy, I'm telling you guys. Plus, I'm doing the um, finishing up my uh, chicken salad quilt that Tracy's so very sweetly bought me and um, the Farm Girl Vintage which is my own project and the one that Summer Moon that Teresa McBrayer bought everything I needed for that so I've got a lot going on And then Tracy and I need to make this uh, cup of cheer. Yep, yep. Cup of cheer, Christmas quilt thing. Not sure if it's a quilt or exactly what it is, but we need to make it. And then... But I do need the jelly rolls to finish my birthday quilt so I can send it off to Teresa. Who will then send it off to Sandra. And so on and so on. So. Yeah, there's a lot going on. And then I have my... Um, my Easter quilt. That's almost, I just need to uh, foundation, I mean foundation. Free motion it. I started it. I just need to finish it. Um, and then I think put a binding on it if I remember right. So that one's almost done. Um, a lot of work. Lots and lots. And with those boxes, you get, um, you always get a pattern and you get a, um, a, uh, the fabric and then you get, uh, some kind of, uh, or more than one notion. Okay. Like I got more than one notion this time. So like this Easter one or, or spring one, I guess you'd call it. It's just a special one. And it's called spring. And they said tons of notions and things like that. So we'll see. I think it was um, $42. And that was from, oh, not Silky, oh, where's it from, um, where's it from? Come on, you guys know, where's it from? $42. Nobody's talking, what happened? The chat just went 
Kapı. The thing about the subscription boxes that I like is that if you're not happy or whatever, you can cancel at any time. If you start getting the same stuff over and over again, you can, you know. You can cancel, but and there's people out there like Becca. She gets like eight different boxes, it seems like. Susan, she gets a ton of boxes. Um, I find open gate open gate quilts to be expensive, but they have a lot of, of uh cool things in their box from the first one I got anyway. So it, it pays off in the end. Tracy or Diane fell asleep again. Uh, Pamela, yes, the back quarter shop is the, um, the one I just opened from the fat quarter shop. And Tracy, I'm here. I'm just trying to concentrate so I don't sew the squares backwards again. Okay. Good, good. Do you get any subscription boxes, Gladys? No, I used to get the sew sampler box, but I ran out of room. <laughs> so I canceled it. Yep. A lot of people. Have you did you do any of the uh, patterns they sent with it? I've got that's. I bought all the fabric for it, and I haven't cut cut it out yet. Becca does it on her on her um, channel. She'll go and do it when it comes in. So I don't know if you watch Becca. So Becca? Yeah. Her. One of these days, you guys, I promise I'll take it. I'll take one of the ones that come in and I'll do it on this channel. So that any of you guys that sneakily have this uh, so steady box, you can do it with me. Sound like a plan? It's like a plan, you guys. It does to me. Gosh, I didn't realize I did such a lousy job at this. I did. <clears throat> Make them all nice and neat for the trunk. That's what it looks like, anyways. Um, okay, Beverly says sounds like a plan. Do you get it, Beverly? I forgot. Uh, Tracy, it is it the open gates box that contains everything you need to complete the whole project? Ah, uh, yeah, I think so. Um, yeah. Lori, the empty spot on Laura Lynn's quilt is tricky, but I get it. Water time. Do you want me to go look, Tracy, and let you know? That's a really good idea. I think I'll go look and look at my one that I got and see what's in there again from last month. Let me get <laughs> my my arms are getting good exercise getting these up and down up and down right okay
Okay. This is the only one I've ever gotten, and that was last month. So that would be. I totally forgot what's in here. Okay. Um, project one is the checkers quilt. Okay, that's this one. Oh yeah, remember it. Um, yeah, no, it's this checkers quilt. So here's your pattern. Okay, and um, your backing and your what you need is in here. The actual that they sent me. Okay. And then I paid extra for the batting because I wanted the whole thing. So that was that one. And then project two was um, the design board. I haven't touched it yet, but the design board includes foam board, batting, binding, fabric glue, and pattern. Now, I know the project one was mini charm pack and fabric for top and binding featuring rendezvous by Moda. Okay. Project three was Notion, the um, the steam guide. Dual uses, perfect for marking scenes on your sewing machine and for miter's corners on your design board. Okay. Remove, oh, sorry. Remove the paper on the back. Okay, then I got the Aurofil thread. This is number 2310. There's not a lot on here, but there's there's enough. Probably to finish all of the, um, the projects. Then I got the um, puzzle pattern, open gate, called puzzle pattern. And this um, to go with the charm pack for it. So yeah, it gives you everything but the backing. Looking at it again, so that's why I bought the backing extra. Okay. I kind of have everything just sitting in here for right now. So the binding, for the binding and the backing, I have enough now, but it's navy blue, so I can do that on my um, checkers. Okay. And that's what I got. Hey, Tracy, there you go. And it's kind of a heavy box. Shockingly. The other two not that heavy, but that one is heavy. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Oh. Okay, Diane, you go take care of yourself, okay? Come back. We get a chance. Good day to all. I've been fighting sleep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, no, I don't get it, Beverly says. Okay. Terry, Lori, I didn't leave the space empty. I used a board, piece of border in there. If I had left it empty, I was going to put a wire in that border where it is empty to make it stronger. 
and or use foam interfacing, said Terry. And so, yeah, it's going to have a handy quilter show tonight. I guess they sell a source, but also a tour to see the long arms. Yeah, well, it's okay. It's okay with me. I know they have good deals on, on their things, um, their fabric and all that, but you can get hooked on it really easily. You know, and before you know it, spend hundreds of dollars without realizing it. I know just by watching them how easy. And you guys all know that to be true, right? Lori Clark says, I'm just trying to square up the sashing for the corner, then add the border. It'll be empty. Okay. Those of you, um, I might just have my nice square hang down and it'll be empty. I did do nine squares. And I hope Laura Lynn likes it. I'm pretty sure she will. right with you in just a second on the chat. Hold on. Um, Valerie, so yeah, it's gambling, like gambling for fabric. It's not for me. Yep. Terry, I thought if anyone wants to see the long arm explain, it's a good opportunity, no buying necessary. Uh, Beverly, when I shop at So Yeah, I write down everything that I purchase. I sent you some fabric from So Yeah. Oh, you did? Thank you. Tracy, well, the only thing I disagree with is that I would know I'm spending hundreds of dollars and I couldn't stop. Yes, yes. Valerie, yes, Terry. So, yeah, it can be very informative and they have great tutorials. Yeah. Yes, they do. I'm not knocking so, yeah. I just know me and I know that I would end up spending like crazy over here. And that's money that I don't have. You know? But they'll be on it in, in half an hour. For those of you that want to go over there. I thought that Sandra gave a pretty good explanation of the long arm. She did hers on our channel that day. I was all into it. Like you would believe. I wish I could see these dots without my glasses on. It would be a lot easier. No. Because my glasses want me to look, you know, one way. See, people like, like, they don't, most people don't do that, Beverly. 
they they um, just shop, and next thing you know, they get this invoice for hundreds of dollars, and they didn't realize that they spent that much money. And that would be me, for sure. Only trouble is, I don't have hundreds of dollars. Tracy says, after all, how could you not buy fabric from those gorgeous guys? <laughs> exactly, huh? Good point, good point, Tracy. Okay, now let's catch eight. Um, Vicky, Tracy, no damn money. That's how LOL. And Valerie, I want to buy a fabric that I like by just clicking a button or taking it to the cash register. I always know how much I'm spending. Yeah, and sometimes it's hard to get in there with the So Yeah Brothers when they have something, you know. That you may want. It's kind of hard to. Because you have a whole bunch of people. Bidding on the same thing. I see it come up there. Real quick. I'm not knocking the brothers. I think that. You know I enjoy watching them. Okay. June, I thought you were going to start finishing up some of your projects that are just about, I am. Beverly, mine is always hundreds of dollars, but I have to make sure that I don't char get charged for something that I didn't order. Yeah, that happens a lot too, I've heard Beverly. Terry, well, you know, I'm addicted to machinery, so I would love to see how all of them run. LOL. But I have to leave. I have a meeting at 7.30. Okay, Terry, thank you so much for coming, okay? You have a great evening. Enjoy your meeting. And you have to be very, really fast. Yes, you do, Beverly. Vicki, June, Kathy got so many projects that she's not finishing it. Sad. I finished some of them. I'm working on it. I do a lot of work off camera, not on camera, because on camera is the ones that I do with you all. Like my Easter quilt has nothing to do with you guys at all. I'm free motion quilting and stitching in the ditch with that one because it's a big one that I've done myself. It's my pattern and it's all my and I have a wonky quilt that I did a while ago. It's pretty big too. So a lot of them get finished offline, off chat.
sometimes if I feel like it, I'll come in here on a Friday and work on my day off. But you guys don't know I'm in here because it's my day off. See what I'm saying? I do do things. <clears throat> Jim, uh, I know that's what I'm getting at. Uh, take care, Terry. Yes. Take care, Terry. Goodbye. What two question marks? I don't know. I'm lost, Vicky. Why is that sad? I think it is great. She will always have something to draw her attention to. I get tired of working on the same thing for long periods of time. Well, thank you, Tracy. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. And when I do finish, I show you guys what I've done. I don't have near as much of the summer moon done as um, Sandra has, but I do have some of them done. Um, I have some of the Farm Girl Vintage done. Because I want to go on to the next um, block, or the next Farm Girl Vintage. But we have to finish this one first. <clears throat> And I've been working on my um, best friend's quilt shop. I've been doing their block of the month. I like a variety. Get bored with the same thing. Whatever, I'm out of here. Okay, goodbye, Vicky. I hope you feel better. Okay, have a good evening. Valerie, I hope you show us your Easter quilt when you are done, Kathy. I don't care. When I finish projects, I do it for fun. It's not work. Exactly. I will show it to you, Valerie. I promise. That's really cute. You know me and my bright colors. It's very, very cute. And I will be more than happy to show you guys. First, I'm stitching in the ditch, and then I'm going to go and um, free motion it, so. If, if quilting ever becomes work, then, you know, then it's not fun anymore. Or if you have to get something done at a certain time, or... Unless you're doing it with a guild or something like that. But they usually have a box. But, you know, or you have to get it done at a certain time or whatever. That's okay. But if, it, if you're making a quilt, you just want to have fun with it. You don't want to... Do anything, you know. Or that's me. I want to have fun. Mm. I hope they, that I hope that didn't sound rude, Vicky. I didn't mean it to be a busy body. No, it didn't, Tracy. You're fine. Uh, yes, Tracy, I agree. The variety is good. Yes. Thanks, Valerie. And June. Bye, everyone. Time for me to go. Okay, June. Have a great weekend, okay? Thank you for coming. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good one. How many of you guys, honestly, okay, honest, honest, stick with the same thing until you're done from start to finish and you don't start something else? How about you, Gladys? I'm trying to figure out this border. <laughs> I got it cut it too short in my. Uh oh. Do you, when you start quilting a quilt, 
do you do it from start to finish and not do anything else until you're done? Or do you start other projects too? That's what, that's my question to you all. And that's all I'm going to work on this weekend. I'll work on some of the um, farm grow vintage and the um, the farm grow vintage and the uh, summer moon. Oh yeah, and I want to try to do another one of those butterflies on my own. But if I need Sandra, I know she's just a phone call away. Okay. Um, I'm cutting the um, elephant. This. Oh, it's buried. I'm cutting this. The FPP patterns for those. Trying to keep them in order. Um, goodbye, well, goodbye, Jim. Take care. Beverly, not me. I always have lots of things going on. Tracy, Sandra may be the exception. Exactly. And Pamela, I have lots of projects started. I just can't do anything. Thing to completion. And Tracy, Sandra is like lightning fast as putting quilts together. Yes, she is. Valerie, I have multiple projects. I am moody, so I do easy when I don't want to think. I do hard when I'm psyched for it. There you go. That sounds kind of like me. Terry, I don't like unfinished projects. I will have one or two things going at once. Yeah, you, you're like Sandra. And that's okay. Everybody's different. Everybody has different... Um, Ways of doing things, different personalities, different everything, right? I'm not starting anything new. I'm just finishing what I got. And what I like about the block of the month is, is you can do it whenever you want. Not that big of a deal. But like the elephant quilt here, a long time ago, I got all the, everything I needed for it, all the fabric and everything, so. I'm kind of anxious to someday get started on it. Because there was a lot of fabric that came with it. Uh, hi, Lillian. Welcome. She likes to finish what she started. I guess it's because I sew from start to finish by hand. That could be. That could very well be, Lillian. But, you know. Valerie, Kathy, I'm excited to see your elephant, but want you to take your time. No pressure, only encouragement from me. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much, Valerie. Yeah, I have, um, how many different fabrics do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's like, not, oh, ten. Wait, hold on, let me see. 
I can't tell the years. Blue, yellow, oh yeah, tan. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have ten different colors with um, purple and pink is my main that I need that I want to do. So that would be my main color. Tracy, wow, a hand sword. That is awesome. At Lillian Rosales. Yep. It's like they used to do it back in the, you know, 1800s in Little House on Prairie Day. They sewed all their quilts by hand. Of course, they had a bunch of ladies do it together like a group, you know. But, or sometimes they didn't. Sometimes they had them and their daughters would sit there and they'd sit by the fire and sew by hand. That would be a lot of fun, I think. Living in those innocent days. All your food was pure. You know, things were, I wish. Boy, there's a lot of pieces to A. I think there's 97 pieces altogether. 97 or 95, I don't remember. <clears throat> uh, Valerie, I have tons of fabric to make Riley Blake's Jane Austen's quilt. I am not ready for diamonds yet, but one fabric before the line is gone. Good for you. Yes, Beverly, Cassie, are all your colors for the elephant solid? Yes, they are. I uh, have Valerie, and just like Teresa Louise, I will modify the pattern. Yeah, I wanted the solids because I thought it would be um, easier. I don't know. I'm going to try to see if I can show you guys. Let me see. If I pick up my phone and take it over here. I think it's the computer though you can have to do it with. Okay. And there's any way I can show you. No, I have to be on there with you. Well, can't see. I didn't try, right? That's where all my fabric is over there. I can get it though and show you all. So, yeah. Okay. I just thought I was. Um. Sandra, use Kathy, use Kathy's 87 pieces, then joining. Oh, okay. No, Beverly, Kathy, that'll be awesome. Thank you. Yeah, I can't wait to get him done. I know where I'm going to hang him, too. Already got a place picked out and everything. Only thing now is I have to cut him, right? That's small minor details. What cut him? See, everybody's over it now. They've moved on to something else. So, except Sandra and her friend, they're going to make a mini um, elephant. So that'd be cool. Miniature, definitely cool.
little bit closer. Um, Kathy, did you choose the fabrics or did you buy a bundle that was coordinated already? I chose the fabrics here. I chose them all. Valerie, Kathy, those butterflies will be easy after finishing the elephants. <laughs> you think? I heard the elephants kind of. Sandra, Kathy, double check all the fabric needed and 97 pieces. I'm crazy, LOL. Yeah. I remember, I know I got all the fabrics. I might have extra. Because Yep, yeah, I got a ton over here of fabric. Okay. But I'm going to do like he's walking in the grass and the sand and all that. I'm going to do that too on it. So. That he's in the, um, Africa walking along. You know, like they have all their stuff. Terry Sandra, 97 pieces or 97 sections? 97 pieces. Because, like, right now I'm on 14 here and I'm still in section A. Dave. So there's a lot of pieces per section. Dave, is the door open? No. Okay, 14, 15, looks like 17 pieces to, to um, A. <clears throat> okay, hold on. All right, um, Sandra, I thought I had enough, but ran short. And if you use hunk of fabric, you need a lot. Yep. Sections, Valerie. Uh, I think Tucker said the trunk was the most difficult part to do. Sandra, with several parts to some of them. Yes, the trunk is the tricky one. Terry, wait, can you show one piece you are cutting? Yeah. Here's... Um, Here's 15. They have more than one, some of them, on the, um, you know, you got that one, and then you got this one. So it kind of depends, and it's all foundation paper pieces. Thank you. 
because there's a lot, a lot on all of these. Come on, medicine. My medicine, please. The what? My medicine. Madison. Yes. Yep. Oh, it's, it's also that one picture dude named Madison. Did dude named Madison Baumgartner. <laughs> Both of them, please, Dave. Both of them, please, Dave. Hey, Pat. Okay, almost got it. All right. Um, the easiest is the outside edges. That is the trunk, said Sandra. And Terry, oh, okay, I thought you were cutting them up. <laughs> LOL, my bad. Sandra, I hope she wasn't cutting the little sections. Uh, no. Terry, I will have to look up your fabric requirements. I know I can do it, but I have to reason to all that work. Actually, some of the guys were getting it done real quick, Terry. I'm slow. Thank you, Dave. I'm very slow at things that I do. I thought the more I would do this quilt, the faster I would become, but guess what? I was wrong. Okay, 16. Not sure it went down all the way, but it will. Okay. All right, Sandra posted it for you, the link to this elephant. Okay. It comes in sections. Um, let me show you, Terry. Okay, this is Sandra's pattern, but I'm going to borrow it. All right. You open it up, and it comes and tells you what you need, what sections, and what you need to do. Like um, section A has, or section A, here's your, here's your pictures. Okay. Uh, Section A is right here. That's wrong. And it does have 17. So you cut out the 17. And then you put them in order. That's what I did. And then on the back, it tells you if you want to do it their way, the colors that you know that you need to do it. What I would like to do and what I got fabric for is to have like the sand down here, the grass, the sun, the sky. I got fabric for all that, so kind of like to do that. And then you have to take it and make it, you have to enlarge your um, 
your uh, pattern here. It comes with the patterns on the inside, which I don't have. I'm sorry. So, and then you have to take them down and get them enlarged and have them. That's, that's behind. That's what's behind that. They list the fabric here last time I was there. Still there. Okay. Good. Good, 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 good. good. Well, oh, cut in section A was not that bad. Which is good. I hear a dog. I wish I could say it was mine. <laughs> That's my neighbor's dog barking outside. Oh, your neighbor's dog? Yeah. Yeah, I had a beagle. He barked all the time. He was a howl. Okay, group A is done. All 17 of them. Maureen's leaving. I have to go lie down flat. My back is killing. Okay, Maureen. Have a great night, okay? Yeah, the pattern is printed on both sides of the paper. And um, It might be, uh, I don't know, let me see. It could be right here on the top. Of, these are small, they don't want to come off. Right here on the top of the um, box. Let me look. And I'll, I'll leave. If it's there, Terry, I'll show you, okay? Look. Uh, came off. Down sunk. Okay, I'm going turn around and go look. <laughs> Because now it's a lot easier with the um, stuff not on it. Oh, another purple fell out. We've got lots of purple. Okay, let's see. Yeah, okay. I believe... Yes. Yes. Oh, 
Oh, okay. Second phase. Looking good. Well, somebody made a mistake. I like the one to Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. So I added more eggs. You added more? Make sure you have enough to do it. Oh. Looks good, Jen. Looks really good. Looking like the Titanic. Yeah. Very nice. Okay, so here's my pattern. I have not opened it yet. Really? But I will. You keep saying that. Like, you keep saying well, that this is a have to... paint by number. And two years ago, I still have I know. paint by number. Inside of the pattern we have, the, um, the directions, okay? Well, kind of. This is it. Plus what I showed you a minute ago. But each of the pages. Okay. Each of the pages are printed. Of course, I forgot the one. Where is it? Okay. Hmm. Let's see. This is not the right one, but if you, okay, this is how it looks. This is um, group. I'm not sure, but this is how it looks like this before you cut it down like I did, okay? And each of the, um, it, there should be a printed thing right here. I have it somewhere, but not in this one particular group. Because there's one on each side of the um, of the pattern. So when you do it, you're gonna want to um, get it printed on one side each. So you have you may have thirty six of the um, patterns, but you want to get each side individually printed, right? So you end up with like 95, 97, something like that. So it says right here, print on an 11 by 17 ledger side paper at 100%. Okay. So that's what I've got. And I got several of them that is going to go be going to different people. As soon as Dave goes to the goes to the post office, they will get it. Several people getting several things, I should say. Okay, now I gotta go through and do the A's. Okay, um, Maureen, take care. Yes, Terry. So you get the pattern on regular eight by five by eleven size copy paper, and then you, yes, exactly, Terry, exactly. Seven hours of sewing. At least I'm getting something done. I'm still here. I watch on my phone. Okay, Maureen. Kathy needs to play with the coloring sheet. Yes, I do. And I will. I have the colors, and I will go and, and color them in the colors I want him to be. And okay, Maureen and Terry, Maureen, I know that pain goes straight, not your back. Okay, Maureen, relax. Gladys is so quiet. I know she's concentrating. She lives in Texas. Maureen. We had a beagle once. They are a smart breed. Their bark is different than other dogs. Yep. And believe me, Alex, we lived in an apartment and everybody around loved Alex. So I was very, very happy for that because it could have gone the other way. 
they could have not liked him and reported every time he barked or whatever, but they all love Alex. So it, it, all, it all worked out. Well, I got it all done. <laughs> Did you really? Can we yeah. see it? It's kind of big. It's 54 by 66. <laughs> Wow. Well, just, you know, a little bit of it or whatever you want to show us. Oh, excuse me. Okay. Oh, my gosh. That's beautiful. Oh, that is so pretty, Gladys. I love it. Beautiful, beautiful. I just have to take the paper off on the back. <laughs> and that was all foundation paper piece? Uh, yes, except for some of the borders. Wow. Okay, here comes the, the comments. Uh, da, 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 da. Beverly says, beautiful, Gladys. Uh, Sandra Terry, it comes on the 11 by 14. And Terry, thanks, Sandra. Uh, Terry, just doing that pattern, copying and cutting is a lot of work. It is, but it's worth it in the long run because it's beautiful. Uh, Sandra says, beautiful. Gladys, my goodness, so beautiful, says Tracy. Terry says, it's beautiful. It is beautiful. Well, all the pieces were pre colors. All the pieces were pre-cut before I sewed them onto the paper, so. Still a lot of work, regardless. Yeah. Any way you look at it, that was a lot of work. My sister did the same one. <laughs> and she finished hers be and before I got mine done. Wow, she's already done with hers? Yeah, she had her, hers hanging up. And, on her wall. Are you going to hang yours up? I know, probably for winter. <laughs> okay, um, Valerie says, that is stunning, Gladys. What pattern is that? And Lorraine says, very pretty, Gladys. Hi, Lorraine. It is, it's beautiful. Carol Doak pattern. Um, what kind? Carol Doak. You want to write it in the chat real quick? So they got it, please. Hey, we're 17. All right, who stole my 17? Okay. Okay, A is done. Either I'm losing it or I know it came with a big clip. I'll get another one over here. Okay. Um, was that a kit Terry wants to know? Yes. Uh oh, I'm in trouble. I don't have any more large pens. Or, um, what? Oh, here we go. Ooh, saved by the pen. Okay, I'm keeping them in order by number. You know, like paint by number and all that. So I don't lose any of them. And hope the clips, one of the clips big enough to hold them all. Yep. Group number one. 
All ready to go. Okay. Um, Valerie, it's not a contest, Gladys. You do you. And Tracy, Gladys, you didn't know it was going to be a full-time job joining the stream, did you? LOL. Uh, blue, okay, here it is. It's called Blue Diamond Mystery Quilt by Carol Dope. Gladys put it in the chat. Thank you so much, Gladys. Okay, now we're going to move on to block B. And I could have picked four different ways to put that together. I picked number four. Did it look like it would be the easiest for you? <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> that would be me. Okay. Which one is the easiest? Mm -hmm. Okay. So Some of these pieces here are big. Um, thank you, Gladys, says Tracy. Okay, now this one I got to pay attention because it's 18, 19, 20, and so on. I'm filling up my little trash can with these scraps. But that's okay. I was thinking what I could do is color, well, I mean, color the elephant, but I could also color the scraps on here you know, the pieces that I'm going to use so I know what color I want to put where. What do you think, guys? Or just leave it black and white. <clears throat> Sounds like a plan to me. Um, Carol Doak is great for two. And that was a beautiful one. Tracy, I got to go take care of the fur babies. Good night, all of you are not here when I get back. Oh, I think we'll be here, Tracy. And check on your poor kitty's eyes, too. Please. Pretty please. Hi, Tracy. Yes, she'll be back. She said she was going. Well, uh, it, good night, all. If you're not here when I get back, yeah. so we'll see. Wait. If she is or not. I would love to know what happened and why I couldn't get my um, my chat up here today. It seems really bizarre to me. As I'm cutting along, I'm trying to figure out what pieces these are for. Sandra's going to um, do a mini one of these also. Like the large one wasn't enough for her. She's going to shrink it down and do a mini one. I have a feeling after I get done with this one, I'll be okay with the elephants. I would like to do the wolf and... Um, the wolf and the giraffe, I think it is. Or again, green, miss it. Beautiful. What does the backing look like? I don't have any backing for us yet. Oh, okay. Okay. Have you had uh, any that. idea what? Beautiful, very, very pretty. Uh, uh, uh. 
I wasn't sure if you did and I missed it or or not. Starting to make a mess over here. <laughs> So today's the 23rd, right? I believe. Wow, this month's gone by quick. Very fast. Okay. Maureen, oh my God, Gladys, that is gorgeous. I love all the blue, she said. It is absolutely beautiful, isn't it? You have both your dogs and cat, your cat dog in there with you? Uh, just my cat comes in occasionally. My dog is in a uh, kennel crate. Oh. So you've been living in Texas very long, Gladys? I'm sure. I'll ask her when she comes back. Yeah, it turned out awfully pretty, didn't it? I was like, what's this humongous piece for? I have not a clue. But you kind of got the... Um, the map, so to speak, to show you what it's for. I don't know. Does Gladys live anywhere near Diane? That's what I was going to ask her. I don't know. We'll find out when she gets back. Poor Diane, not only is her knee killing her, she's got a toothache now, too, on top of it. And poor Sandra is very sick with the flu. Or food poisoning. One or the other. <clears throat> 
Oh, those were some long pieces. Let me check on chat. Then I just drop some of it. I don't know where it went. Okay, now I have to go have a great weekend. Stay safe and see you around the net. Okay, Terry, you have a good weekend too, okay? Thanks so much for coming. You stay safe and all that. I know it's getting late where you are. I'm so used to the fourth, you know, early times. Okay, now, one more side here. I'm getting better at it. Um, playing hooky from class and not, says Sandra. Uh, Maureen, Sandra's voice sounds deeper than usual. Food poisoning wouldn't affect her voice. Bye, Terry. Have a good night. So you think it's the flu also? Yeah, could be. You got it going out and about. It happens. I was supposed to ask you a question, Gladys. Let me see what it was. Do you live anywhere near Diane? Oh, uh, no, she's down further south than I am. Further south. Have you lived in Texas your whole life? No, I'm originally from South Dakota. Huh? Got tired of the snow, so you moved to Texas? Yeah. Now you're tired of the sunshine? You want to go back to South Dakota? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's why I moved up here to Washington from California. I got tired of the sunshine. It's a, a hot sun. It, it, it burns you. Um, I used to get sun blisters on my head and arms from it. And that was with... Um, lotion, the suntan. So I couldn't even go outside during the day. Who wants to live like that, right? Up here, it all went away and I'm feeling really good. Well, I'm done sewing for today. <laughs> yeah, I know. I, I was finished too. It got me. So I'm doing this. Any other projects you want to work on? Not at the moment. <laughs> huh? Not at the moment. moment. Not at the moment. Um, Sandra says, I think my voice is deeper because of throwing up. That could be. And she also says, South Dakota is colder winters for sure. Yeah. Yep. Can they get in the negatives? Oh, yeah. 
No, that's too You get that wind chill with the snow, and it's really cold. No. That's too cold for me. But a lot of people like it. I'm sure you had many a white Christmas. As they say. Yeah. You didn't have to dream of a white Christmas. You had one <laughs> every year, right? <laughs> I've had one since I've been up here, but we've only been up here since October of 2022. So, and I moved up here to be closer to my sister and her family. Well, my oldest sister lives in Atoka, Oklahoma. She lives on a farm. Oh, she have all kinds of animals? Well, her husband and her sell bird of puppies. Puppies? Huh? Puppies? Did you say puppies? Yes, border collie puppies. I want one. We don't have females left. <laughs> That's what I want. I want a female. How much does she charge? Well, they dropped the price. Uh, they have two males left in there. It's seven fifty a pup. You know, after having Alex, I definitely only want females now. So, but the Border Collies, they're, they're super smart dogs. Yeah. Well, if she ever has another female, let me know. I even have a name <laughs> picked out for my puppy. Maggie. I think Maggie is a cute name. And I don't think, regardless of the kind of puppy I get, I don't think they're going to have a hard time learning their name. But yeah, please let me know. Okay. Um. Sandra says, Kathy, don't move there. I'm not, I'm not. Don't be excited. Don't <laughs> move to South Dakota. Uh-uh-uh. I'm not leaving Washington. I promise. You haven't visited us yet, Sandra. You have to come see us. I can't leave. What are you thinking? No, I think my moving days are over. I, I though I am going to request from my doctor if I can get a um, three bedroom here, but stay in the same. Um, so that Dave Dave doesn't have a room because he can't sleep in bed with me because I'm afraid he's going to kick me and hurt my stump. Right? Yeah. So he has to sleep on the couch. So I want him to get a room of his own. I know that sounds mean, but well, if you ever watched the, did you ever watch the I Love Lucy shows where she and her husband had separate beds? Yes, I love. Yep, yep. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. But in the 50s, you didn't really, I mean, Lucy was the only one, she was the first one to bring on pregnancies and all that. Leave it to Beaver was the first to show a toilet. But you just don't have all that back in the 50s, right? But there's really no room in the room to put in two twins. I have a queen size in there right now, and if we did two twins, it wouldn't work. There wouldn't be enough room. Not sure how big the room is, but Jen said, get a three-bedroom mom. You take the big room, and then you can do your sewing 
stuff in there and we won't bother you to make any noise. I go, no, that sounds like a good idea. I'm for that one. <clears throat> Okay, Sandra. Nobody said anything since Sandra? Okay. Let me throw away my stuff. I don't know why these scraps want to stick to the paper. And at night, after being on, on, you know, online all day, I don't really feel like um, doing much except watching TV. And then even then, I fall asleep while watching television. Sandra, I have twins that I can separate easily. Do you? Is it a king? And then, then they become twin size beds. That the uh, I've heard of those. I want one of those adjustable beds, like like um, Diane has. You know, you can go in any position, and and yeah, my sister has one of those. Yeah, tell her I want one. <laughs> Those are comfortable. I, I did it at a, a warehouse and I was playing with, you know, put my leg up and all that. Yeah, I want one of those. I have, Right now I have a pillow top. I, I seen it last October and she says, lay on the bed. I'm like, why am I laying on your bed? <laughs> I forgot she had an adjustable bed. She was... Oh, she was making you do all kinds of stuff, playing with the buttons? <laughs> <laughs> well, she was she was doing the buttons and I was laying in the bed. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Did it make you want to go get one? They're really nice. But they're expensive. Nope, I just have a pillow top queen and it's pretty old. It's probably 20 years old now. And they say you should get a new bed every 10 years. Yeah, mattress. Mattress. And here I am, doubled it at 20, but yeah. I wouldn't I, complain. I had a full size mattress on my bed and I upgraded it to a full extra long. Did you? Oh. Good for you. No, I yeah, just come Sandra out here. Sandra's here again. Aw. Andrew, you're so sweet. Keep coming back. I'm laying in with all my teddy bears. My 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 Sandra keeps coming back. Yeah, it's I'm, called pop in and out, Sandra. Bears. Wow, look at all those teddy bears. You're not kidding. Huh? Well, I had to take them off of the bed for the company. So this is where they all ended up. One's covered because the Lonnie's afraid of that big bear. I like the, uh, is it pink and blue? This one, it's tie-dye, yeah. Yeah, that one. I like that one. How cute is that? Oh, that is really cute. Big, yeah. but cute. The, uh, well, he's small compared to the other one. <laughs> yeah, I, I saw the one that scared uh, Lonnie. It's pretty big. But the bear rug didn't bother her. That's what was funny. The bear rug she could handle. Well, you show her that long, that big humongous bear and, it, and it's intimidating to her. Well, she goes in the bedroom where the toys are and she just turns right back around and comes out. I like that bear. But Coda, he'll go climb on all of them. <laughs> Daredevil him. Yeah. But yeah, my twin beds are Tempur Pedic adjustable beds. Yeah, that's Except what they're they, called. Tempur Pedic. Well, there's several adjustable beds, but they go through the batteries. Oh, it's not a plug in? But you can they you used to be able to get corded remotes. 
But they told me, oh, you'll love the, you know, the wireless ones. It's like, oh, crap, I want the plug-in ones now. <laughs> if if you sit anything, anything on the remote, it turns uh-huh. the light on and runs the battery down. I went through four sets of batteries in the first six months. What? Yeah. Because That's a lot of batteries, yes. If you drop your remote in your bed and your blanket lays on it, there goes your battery. Wow. And this is this is the new Sandra with the bright pink nose. That'll be the day when you have pink. It's like pink nose, yeah. Pink in general. <laughs> but I do tie dye a lot. Did you do that there or did you buy it that way? My kids try to fool me on Christmas gifts. They can make a box and then they say, guess this. And so I shake the box and I, you know, move it around. I says, it's a stuffed animal. And they go, how the hell do you know that? (laughs) (laughs) I They'll put, the box. Yeah, it's like without opening the box. All right. And uh, then you got, the, you got the TV on, Sandra? Oh, I forgot about that. It's okay. You just might want to mute it. Yeah, I just did. Okay. It's Dr. Nawaz Arden. And then they'll do what to, to try to fool you? And then they'll put, like, one year I got that half of a pig, half a plastic pig in a box. The pig was cut, half a pig, and it was wrapped. So that's what we got for Christmas one year, was half a pig cut and wrapped. Wow. And then another year for Christmas, I got new tires for my four-wheeler. There you go. That's the one to get. And then, yeah, so they wrapped up this little tiny box that had a funny little noise. And I says, it's a gift card for something because, okay, I got the stuffed animal, right? But they Mm -hmm. go, you got to say the color and how big, what the size is. I go, oh, bull crap. Yeah, like you're going (laughs) to know. Yeah. And then it's like, name what the gift card is. And then one time they got me a shirt and in the box with the shirts they put frames of my great grandkids so i was i says well it's probably picture frames and a shirt and it's like how in the heck does she figure it out how do you know (laughs) it's just just one of those knacks i have wow it's hard for them they all have a goal they try to fool me right it's like one box had 17 Pez dispensers. And then they told me I had to guess how many Pez dispensers was in the box. <laughs> they're, they're kidding, right? No, they wasn't kidding. What, if you don't get it, you don't get the 17 Pez dispensers? No, I get the gift still, but they want me to be precise. No. It's like... I can't pick the colors that you buy. I can't do what sizes. They had this thing crammed in a box that I would have thought it would be maybe this size of this one. Mm -hmm. They had it crammed in a box that small. When when I opened that box, that tape, it just whoosh right out of the box. (laughs) Wow. It opened itself up like it's supposed to be, right? Yeah. Well, I don't know. Does that damage a stuffed animal to do that? No. Okay. Because, like, if I was to move, I would put it in the smallest box and vacuum seal it. No, I put all my stuffed animals in a huge box. It's like, I, I didn't that, that, crush any of them. I said they're not going to suffocate because they're not real. 
Well, no, not suffocate, but make them out of joint how they're supposed to be. Yeah. Yeah. But no, they bounce right back. Now, Big John, he won't he won't fold much smaller than that. That's his name, Big John. The one that Coda's afraid of? That As- uh, Alani's afraid of. Alani's Coda right. loves all the stuffed animals. Yeah. Alani. Like- A lo- little Alani that we have yet to meet. Yeah, I know. It's... <sighs> Stay over there, Bear. Hint, hint. <laughs> yeah. But she hasn't been back here. Since that day she was here for 12 hours, 10 hours? Yeah. Yep, I haven't seen her since that. And I sure don't want her to come here when I got the flu. No, 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 no. Keep her away. Oh, I got 30 cut. Yeah, there's a lot of cutting. Like Cindy and I, we spent what a couple days cutting. When you are going to go smaller, right? Yes. How how big are you going to do it? It's it fits on regular printer paper. It doesn't have you. You take your big pattern in, and you have it reduced sixty percent or forty percent, whichever it was. To eight and a half by eleven, and it will fit on the eight and a half by nine or ten and a half. Ten I think that's what the paper is. It fits perfectly on that paper. So that's the size you're going to do next. And it should make it about twenty-two by twenty-four or something like that. Where's the Where's the big one that you did already? In my suitcase packed to go to the Oregon coast. I don't want to forget him or Ugh. forget her. Forget her. She went to Spokane already, and uh, Coda goes, Big elephant, Grandma. <laughs> yep. Did they want to? I think Not everybody. They always want to touch everything. I think everybody left the chat. No one's oh, chatting. They're, they're still there. Hey, it's guys. Like, anybody want to say anything? Anything like, about Sandra's pretty bear? <laughs> it's like... It's like Where'd y'all yeah. go? My head was so cold. I, one of my fingers was going numb on the end. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, so I got it all warm and my feelings back, but I said, I don't want to sleep with gloves on tonight. Did you last night? No. 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 Yeah, I don't want to. I've never slept with gloves. Oh, if my hands are cold enough, I will. (laughs) Or no, you know, I take that back. When I was with Randy before we got married. We were up at Big Bear, and we were in the snow skiing for that day. And that night, we just stayed in his van because there was a bed and everything in there, and I was cold, and I, so I wore it. Okay. Patty Beverly, says, I'm here. Beverly says, come. still here. <laughs> yep. What you well, guys, good to know, I, lady. I know yo, Patty. Are you still working on your hang in there, hanging in there? She had one done and she's working on the other. I haven't went to mom and pops lately. Just check to see if anybody else posted. Uh, maybe I should do that. I'm sure somebody has. By now. <laughs> It's like some are still working on it. Mm-hmm. Like me. Yeah. Oh, and Lover's Knot is Monday. Yep. Lover's Knot is Monday. Sandra should be all better for that one. I'll be teaching. And I'm going to be the worst student of the class. No, you're not. 
You're but, not. But, 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 yeah, I can be the worst student. Well, you could be, but you won't be. But, but. Don't, don't threaten me, huh? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Your but, 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 but. Yeah, the but, 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 but. Pamela says, I'm still here listening to Sandra. And she says, pretty bear. Thank you, Pamela. I like it. Different. Uh, nobody knew. No, no new things being posted. Oh, wow. So she's only got what, like six or seven? That's it? One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven with Terry's in mind. We're, we share the same link. Has she answered any of them and said anything? Nope. Okay, Peggy Peggy says she posted hers. Yes. No Terry comment. and I was number seven, eight. And Melissa's and... Colleen. Yes. So that'd be nine. Nine so far. Some of us just aren't that fast. Patty says, I need to dig out the Google eyes. I did the pillowcase to speed things up a bit. Looks better than the Lorelei ladies. Lorelei. Okay. Looks like Lorelei. Yeah, it's Lorelei. I think it's called Lorelei. Lorelai, Laura Lee. Well, the yeah. Gilmore girls are named Lorelai. That's how they spell it. So I'm going to go by that. And Terry did the pillowcase way. I did the binding teeny tiny way. You told me to do the pillowcase. If I do the pillowcase, will the guy be hanging from it? Yeah, your, your guy's going to be hanging from it no matter what. The pillowcase is just for you. It's a process. You sew right sides together and then turn it right side out. You get it done faster. That's the pillowcase. Okay. Oh, Peggy Lynn, I hear my phone ringing somewhere. I'm working on my double Irish chain now. Had to order more of the center fabric, yes, for me. making my blocks a bit larger than the pattern set. Double Irish chain? No. Nope. Well, I got, I ended up getting the flu. Not single Irish chain? Yeah. Yep. And throw up and had to clean up. Yep. Yep. So I'm just laying in bed. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Bye. Make sure you're drinking lots of fluids, Sandra. Uh, yeah. And Even Peggy Lynn says, water. I wrap my background around for the binding. Okay. I'm working on my double Irish chain now. Had to order more of my center fabric since I'm making my blocks a bit larger than the pattern set. Oh, is it still available, Peggy? That's the good thing.
And these pieces are huge. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Some of those is like someone said, well, just reprint it on your printer. Would you goof up one? I says, yeah. I two pieces of paper at a time and then hope it copies it at the same size. <laughs> and that's not going to be good to have two pieces of paper. No, because when you put tape on there, it bungs up in the needle of the sewing machine. Right. So what's Gladys got on her schedule tonight? I don't know. Um, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's like mine it's like normally i eat dinner by six but not tonight i'm not eating dinner they usually have so by usually have by supper at 6 30 but past that time now uh oh might be just be popcorn for supper that's not go. good <laughs> but, but it's I've, like... done that. I've had ice cream i've had popcorn i've had you know whatever sounds good right this piece. Look at this piece, Sandra. Yeah. Yeah. And, and it's just, they just, even if it's all one color, they have you sew on two, three pieces. And then the next worst place is the dang toes. Uh, yeah. Those look like they're going to be complicated. Like that one piece you held up a long time ago is his eyeballs. Oh. The one I was showing, just to give an example. Those were the eyeballs. Yeah. It's like there's two of them that um, they have you do like one of the colors off of your thing. And it's like, who wants purple eyes? <laughs> so I went back and put black grunge in there. I don't know. Maybe I'll buy some eyes. You know, at Michael's, you go to the Halloween department, they got those gigantic eyes. That's well, they where have I got to be, them for Jen's frog. They have to be like an, an egg, a small egg, ovals. Yeah, they are. <laughs> they were, they weren't expensive. Yeah, Peggy wants to know, why does my phone add extra words? Because it's words <laughs> that we've typed. Well, I'm trying to keep. Too. Don't feel bad. Yeah, I'm trying to hold my camera still focused on just the bear. Well, you're good. Yeah, I I don't want to get anybody sick. Yeah, you're not wobbly like the other people I know. But to have my face on there, I'd have to have my hand up in the air here. And that don't take long to have your arms go, I'm done. Did Vicky come on on Monday or she missed all week? All week. Missed. Yeah. Okay, I thought so. I wasn't sure. Because I know I was there Monday. I was on Tuesday as a drop in surprise. Yep, she wasn't there then. And yesterday was Diane and you and I. Yes. And Teresa Louise. Yeah, and Teresa Louise came in at the Please end. Let's not forget our... We were there for a few hours. Yeah, but it was still towards the end. But it's, it's right. like, did D Diane left and Teresa came in, I think. Yes, exactly. That's what happened. Yeah. Right when Diane left, Teresa came in. And that's the way it was with Vicky one day. She come in as Diane was leaving. But that was last week, I think. Last week? Yeah. Well, we can only but, have the Gladys said she would like to come on some more. Yeah. Uh, so on I, teaching okay. days. I just dropped my. Yeah. On teaching days. I don't want the screens to get itty bitty tiny. I don't right. know how big Gladys's screens are, but mine aren't very big. Hers is the same. How, how big is your screen, Gladys? I'm using my laptop, so it's 15 inches. But see, my laptop, the picture is maybe 
four by five, three and a half by five on my laptop. On my note, my tablet here, it takes up the whole screen because Zoom doesn't have chat. Where chat takes, you know, a third of the screen or more. Well, right now I have Zoom only because you guys know what happened when I first started trying to get on. Um, and it's taking up the whole screen of mine. And I kind of yeah. like it because if you were, say you were teaching right now, I could see perfectly what you were doing. And then if you touch your, uh, your screen with your mouse, mm -hmm. you can put it as switch to active speaker. And if you're talking, that's all you'll see is all of you. Oh. Yeah, you'll have to touch that button. It's like, okay. <laughs> Oh, I did not know. Yeah. Okay, group two, and I'm done for this for tonight. And then when Gladys talks, she would come up full screen. But on mine... I switched my computer to um, grid <laughs> view. Yeah. yeah. What does normally, grid that's do? normally what I have it on grid. But when I need to see Kathy's block... I put it on speaker. Yeah, you need full. Yeah, I need all I can see sometimes. But it's like, if anybody talks, then it pops them down small and then it pops back big because I got to get Kathy to talk again. Somebody and told me to do the elephant and then go back to the butterfly. Yeah. What do you think? Oh, it's like, you, you said you wanted to try a butterfly on your own, so try a butterfly on your own. Yeah, because they, I do want to do that, and, but they said do the elephant and then go back to the butterfly. Yeah, you can go back, but it's like you're still not getting 100% of the just of keeping the fabric in the right position. Yep. That's very true. But it's practice makes perfect, right? Yeah. And Peggy says, yes, or on my TV, Sandra, anything over four people makes them really small. And then if you have a small screen, it makes them small. And if you're on YouTube, it takes up all the chat space. Need a smart TV. That way everybody's well, six Right by now, eight. everybody's kind of big. It looks really good. Yeah. On mine. But that's on Zoom only. If you go over to Facebook or YouTube, here it comes. It makes them smaller and puts the chat on the side. See, on mine, um, Gladys is, is the head honcho over here. She's on the left-hand side where, where the um, main person's supposed to be, which is cool. I don't know how she managed that one, but I'm okay well, with On mine, Gladys is on the bottom. I'm on the left, and you're on the right. Yeah, I'm on the right here, so, and you're on the bottom. And then I can touch mine. Sometimes I can touch it and pin you to the screen to where you don't leave. But that don't work all the time. Okay, that's it. I'm not doing any more tonight as far as cutting out my elephant. Two of them are done. And it looks really nice. See how much neater it looks cut. Yeah. Then looking then looking like this. Not cut. <laughs> well, it doesn't matter. They're gonna take a big up a big space. Oh I know. I know. But they just look so much neater like this. And I then think. I can hit minus and take me off altogether. Off what? Zoom? Off, off my screen. No, we don't want to do that. No, it. You still get to see me. It just moves me off to the side, so I can see you full size. Where's the elephant that you can color? It was like your second page you showed on the big sheet. 
second page. It okay, has- so it's part of the um, the uh, I want to say design, but that's not it. Part of the um, uh, instructions. Yeah, instructions. It has little squares up on, on top that you're supposed to take the fabric you're going to put in that. You take on your color chart on the back of the one thing and mm-hmm. you put the colors in the correct character up there. And then you color. So like you want the green grass and the sand and the sky and the sun. Mm-hmm. I bought all the stuff for it. Yeah. So you have to color where you want the grass, but in full pieces. Right. Because I don't know how you'd ever do a half piece. And then you got to remember between like the trunk or the leg or something, there's a little piece that's actually background Mm -hmm. or it's not background. You got to make sure you have the correct piece there also. So it, oh, Peggy says, so far I'm loving the fabric that I chose. Uh, my TV stand or anything over four people will make it smaller. Okay, you do that. Not on the TV stand, right? No chat on the TV. Patty, Kathy, the pineapple FPP papers are color coded. That would be a great beginner FFP. Um, FPP. I think FFP. I have that. Yeah, you have that. At least you said you did once. A lot of people just start with the economy square. I think papers. I do. But do you need the pineapple ruler? No, no. When it, when you FPP, you only need that add a quarter, that put that card, anything to cut after you fold the piece over. Okay, and um, Peggy says, can you show us your top, Gladys? She better just post a picture on the One more time, Gladys. I have to spread it out in my bed and take the picture. (laughs) But it's so beautiful. And it really is. Yeah, it's kind of like an artwork quilt. Mm -hmm. Or quilt work quilt. Okay. There's the center star. Wow. Or Every time I see it, it gets prettier. That is absolutely gorgeous. And the pattern is not available that I found any place. It's in a kit. Oh, it's no place. No? It, it's a, it's, it's, uh, they took it off or something. I went and looked. Well, when was it, when was it that it came out? Well, one thing said it was 2012. Another one said something else. Hmm. No, 2012 then, was a long time ago. And then they... when I did this one, so... Yeah. The cruise. And then when you put in the blue diamond mystery quilt, it brings up all sorts of things. But not that. It's Anything correct. that looks like that. I don't know. I didn't. The closest look. I could find was NorthwestQuiltedCat.com. That's Carol Do- Do- Doak. Northwest Quilted Cat. It's called a cat. And then there's a Facebook page. Um, Patty says, dang, that is gorgeous. Love the colorway. And Peggy, that is stunning, Gladys. Love the colors. You guys, she, 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 this is why she wanted to come on live because she wanted to show us it live. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> just a lot for of the sure, quote sure. alongs disappear as soon as it's over. Okay, will you turn the heater off, please? And unplug it. I like the kits simply because, thank you, simply because. Everything comes with it. Well, you know, to a certain point. So, okay, you may not like the fabric, but the fabric's there for you to choose. No, it's the 54 by 60 is the size I don't want. 
I want it bigger. Well, but that's a perfect throw quilt. If I'm going to make a quilt, I want to use it. <laughs> I want well, it to yeah. go down. Down and here on my couch. Toes. How many people, you know, you're laying on your couch. You're not going to lay straight out on your couch. You're going to kind of curl up a little bit to give you, you know, that extra room, correct? Nope, I do full out. And I you want my toes up. covered and up here covered to my neck. But you're not that tall. Yeah, but it's got to cover down over my toes. Add a little bit to it. Well, that's just it. I add a lot to it. <laughs> okay, borders. Borders will do it, right? Um, Peggy said she just heard more thunder. Oh, no. Oh, no, not thunder. Yeah. <laughs> yep, she heard more but, thunder. Wow. But most quilts, when you get the patterns... They're just throws. Right. They don't make very many that are beyond that. That's why this one here on my bed is the disappearing nine patch. Because it's 120 wide and 104 or 108 from head to toe. And then. So the 108 backing would be perfect if you did it the other way. Not going no. across, but going down. It would see work. that's why I quit at 104. It won't fit at 120. Because mm -hmm. I had to get four yards. Right. They don't sell half yards. Why? There's because, people that one half. Because those wide backings are bundled in 15 yard increments, and 108 by 108 is three yards. So they have enough for five quilts on each bolt. So if someone comes in and gets four yards like I did, they're stuck with two yards of material. Well, maybe somebody might come in and only wants two. It, you know, it does happen. Yeah, not very often. My quilt store gets stuck with a lot of them, two yard chunks. So they finally got smart and decided to do it that way. There are some quilt shops that will not sell you anything but three yard quilt tops. Hmm. They they get the stuff in, mm -hmm. they go right to it, trim it, and put it as three yard bundles. Well, I've seen it online. Joanne's will do that. Uh, minimum two yards. So, yeah, you know, and they won't do half three half yards. Cuts. No, no. It has to be minimum whatever yard. Yeah. Well, it's, it's like most of the places I went are three yards cuts. There are people that want. It's like my quilt that's hanging on the wall <laughs> is. I need. Just over two yards. Just over. But I have to order three. Well, you can always find something to do with the rest of it, right? That's why I got to pick a fabric I want to use someplace else. But I do see your frustration. Um, I get it. That Yeah. I know, don't I want more fabric. I don't. Well, you always can find something to do with it. Look at you. You're getting fabric all over the place. Sandra. Yeah, because like Gladys could get a 108 wide backing if the place will sell two yards because she has more than enough for the long arm to quilt it. But if she puts a border on it, then she has to buy a wider chunk. I got, did you, do you have a long arm, Gladys? No. Yeah, I didn't think so. I have no You said one. you sent it out, right? I can't afford one. <laughs> yeah. Man, and in the long run, if you're not comfortable, I just, I just do uh, donation quilts, black quilts for kids a lot. But I made this 120 by 104 on my long arm, my mini long arm, because I have only a five foot table, which only does 48 inches because six inches on each end of your table is 
unusable sewing space. So, so I do six by six by whatever by whatever is unusable. You can't use it. You can't use six inches on each side. So wow. let's say I have a five foot wide quilt, which that's what Gladys has. I can't quilt the two edges. I have to plan all my quilts, like the border on my quilt in the other room. I have the 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 one border is separate from the sashing because I quilt the border by itself and I quilt the 48 inch part of the other quilt plus whatever length long it is, it's seven foot two. I quilt all that and then I quilt the two small border pieces. Then I put them back together as quilt as you go. And that's how I made this quilt. Hmm. And the junction is right here. It's like this purple junction right here goes all the way down the quilt. Goes all the way down it. And then the border that was up here, there is no purple there because I just, the way I fixed it. But um, that's how I do it. Patty, oh, I just dropped my snips and they stabbed my floor sticking straight up. <gasps> yeah. Beverly, glad it wasn't your foot, Patty. No kidding. Right. Okay. I just found a triple Irish chain book here. I know I ordered the Irish chain. I know I did. Eleanor Burns? Yeah. It's, well, quote, is it only? Yeah, quote in the day. I know I have her Irish chain. Um, this one's just strictly triple because the Irish, the other one has the devil and the triple. I mean, and the single. It's, it's two, two of them in one. And I know for a fact uh, this is her maybe, maybe. Yeah, that's her log cabin. Um, but in the meantime, I will keep the triple Irish chain to help me out. And then I also found um, this, which is uh, I, I like how far Zoom is off. 10 inch paper piecing squares, they're blank. 10 inch paper piecing squares, what's it look like on the other side? They're blank. Oh, no, they're not blank. Underneath your well, front cover is what it says it'll do. Yeah, there's little little stars on there. Um, It says lightweight and easy to use, to manage, use as a foundation for piecing fabrics. Sew fabric directly onto the paper easily tear away when finished. Oh, they're blank papers to draw out your own pattern or print your own pattern? It says there's uh, 50 pieces here, so that's all it says. Okay. You want to yeah, how to use. So I guess you would have to draw your, your project on there. I'm not drawing no foundation paper piecing. Because you it's, don't like foundation paper piecing, huh? per se, too. You like to do it when it's already done for you. Admit it. Well, you need a road map to follow. You try to do your own, and it's not as easy as you think it is. I know. But if you have it right in front of you, what, why would it be, you know, would that be difficult to do? No. Well, that paper is designed for, like, you can put it on your light table and trace your other pattern out. It's just paper in case you lose some, something. Yes, I love, love that light box. 
it's really, really convenient and I love using it. It's very, I mean, it can be really bright, but it sure does bring everything in focus, you know? Yeah. Um, how many of you guys are doing both us and Susan? Admit it. Come on. It's like, I want to know how many of you are watching Susan. Because I'm not. Obviously, I'm here. Can't be in two places at once. I'm good, y'all, but I'm not that good. <laughs> uh, let's see. Where's my red? Red, 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 red. I have two reds and I can't find one of them. Here it is. Nobody's answering me. Come on, you guys. I know. It's all good. I don't care if you're watching Susan. It's fine. Yesterday was Ramadan begins at sundown. What is that? What's Ramadan? Anybody know? Is it something to do with the Easter holidays? I don't know. I don't know either. Hello. Um, I've never heard of it, but it's right here in my book. It's like she changed it to five thirty now our time. Oh, she did. Yep, it doesn't say <laughs> eight eight now. It says five thirty our time now. Oh, okay. She did that last time too. Now that I think about it, okay, Sandra, Diane. This is yesterday. Yeah. And Teresa Louise. It was so nice having her on there. I really so, like her. So you haven't missed it yet. I'm not going to go over there right now. Okay. What did we do yesterday? We worked on um, UFOs. Yeah, but which ones? Yeah. Oh, no. We did the thing for Laura Lynn. Oh, that's oh. right. Hanging in there. Hang in there. We worked on our hanging in there. Hanging in there. Hang, hang in there. Or hanging. It's one of the two. Hanging in there. For Lorland. Can't believe I'm a day back behind here. Shame on me. Okay, then we watch the season finale uh, 14 of ER. Boy, was that a shocker. Yeah. Yeah, it was really, it was not what I was expecting. Um, Bonanza. And everybody loves rain. Jen sure does love this show. I mean, she's, I was hoping she would, but not like this. She really loves it. Okay, and I started my live at 10. And ended it at 6. Was it 6? I think so. Or 6.30. No, I think it was 6.30 because Jen goes this time to, okay, 6.30. And did my life. Okay. Okay. Got it. What? What? Yes, I am enjoying Friends more than I thought I would. Yes, I am. I admit it. Have you guys watched Friends? I did a long time ago. Did you like it? It was okay. Like but back it. then they didn't have anything on TV either. I think it's, it's called cute. hanging. It just says runaway quilt block is what it's actually called. Oh, the one for Laura Lynn? Yeah. And then hanging in there is Laura Lynn's, I think, website. 
Oh, but it's it called Runaway cute. Quilt Block. Runaway Quilt Block. I think it's cute. It's, you know, it's one of those yeah. things that... Um, and this one filled in the blank. This one filled in the blank. You mean the one that's supposed to be hanging there? They're filling it in? Yeah, a lot of people are filling it in. Wow. Okay, today I went on with Gladys. What's that say? And Zipper. Yeah, it's just you and you and Gladys today, right? Yep. I don't want to miss anybody. I'm the in and out girl. <laughs> That's okay. Are you how are you feeling? Okay. It's like this so one here. Down or... As long as she's not moving. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was going to say. As long as you're <laughs> laying there. It's like, I'm <laughs> nice and warm. What blocks did I work on? The, uh... <coughs> the Irish chain uh, nine patch. Where are they? You stuck them in. Oh, in my, in my food freezer back. That's right. Okay. <laughs> Thought, oh no, where did they go? Irish chain nine. Patty G wants to know if you're Kathy, if you're making the hanging in there, wall hanging. Yeah, I am. I've I've got the blocks. See, I've got the <coughs> blocks right here. Nine of them. And I cut out the sashing that I need. So I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to make the little guy like Sandra did, because Sandra is going to help me. And she'll say right now, oh, I am. <laughs> all, you, all you have to do for that is the backing, the batting, and that block, and then you put, see, I cut my arms out of the batting, so it's not extra little pieces I had to tuck in. Yeah, but you were at it for a while. Um, well, it's like part of the day took hand sewing the binding. It's like Maureen says she's I'm filling in the blank with just white fabric. I don't want the batting exposed. And yo, Patty says, Maureen, I did that also. And Patty says, awesome colors, Kathy. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. They're all different. Um. They came from a charm pack. So, and then Vicky Robles is on now. Hi, Vicky. How you doing? <laughs> Hope all's well with you. She says, Hello, everyone. I have been watching you all <coughs> on my TV. I wanted to update you about Laura Lynn. She's mm -hmm. going to try to do her live on Saturday. Hooray. Oh, yay, that's good. And yo, Patty says, I used the scraps from mine for the legs and arms. And then, of hello. Hi, Vicky. <laughs> I see you, Sandra. Yeah. And then, well, it's supposed to be on my bear, but my hand keeps going back the other way. Right. And then Beverly says, hello, Vicky. And Maureen's saying, hello, Vicky. Well, maybe I'm not sure. Um, then, if Laura Lynn depends on how far, how long she goes. I mean, if she goes only to twelve or something like that, twelve or one, then I can come for a while. I'm hoping this is just a 24-hour flu bug. I hope it was okay with everybody. That is, yeah. It's like, it's if I'm available, I pop on. But I don't plan on going anywhere. No, I'm your time, Yeah, because see what I got by leaving my house? Yeah. I, I do. That didn't pay to go out. Oh, yeah. It really didn't. Because nope, it, it didn't. She's sick. And yeah, you know, that's not what you don't want to say. That's horrible, right? 
That's correct. But hopefully you'll feel better soon. Yeah. I'm going to try a little bit of chicken broth. How about chicken noodle soup? I don't have any. And nobody's got their locator on to where I can even find out where they're at. They're still like that all day long? Yes. This is unusual for them. Think about it. Well, I said... If I go do something I don't want my kids to know I'm doing, I'm going to hide it. Everybody, though, to be doing that? Vicki says, hello, Sandra, and the newest attendee, another overachiever. That's Gladys Paul. You know, and what she, cruise was you on, Gladys, when you did that? Forever. I want to go on the Alaska cruise. <laughs> She's counting. I was on a. I think what um, Stitch in Heaven. Stitch in Heaven? Yeah, from Texas. They did cruises. So my sister okay. you know, went, went on two cruises. You went on two? Nice. Yes. 2018 wow. and 2016. See, our local quilt shop, the one closest to me that has cruises, they went over to that across the water, over into Venice and all around. It was like a, a what was it? Buy a $6,000 cruise after you got your airfare to New York. <laughs> Wow. And then they went over there and half of them got quarantined and couldn't finish the cruise because oh. they tested positive for COVID. Oh, man. Really? Yeah. And so half of the family, it's like her and her husband and two other people. No, one other people. No, the two guides and the one couple, they had to stay back in Venice where the two guides, their sister was on the cruise and she knew about the area. She didn't test pot. So she continued the, the tour with them, getting them from here to there. A lot of walking on that cruise to Venice. Well, the, uh, 2015 was down in the Caribbean, so yeah, but I, I've always wanted to do the Alaska cruise. I told yeah. my husband he could go, but he'd have to sleep on the deck in the lawn chair. Because <laughs> you can actually go on the Alaska cruise. You can put a pump tent up on the deck or a lawn chair. And you can travel for way less money. Don't they have lounge chairs out there already? No, you have to bring your own. If that's what you're going to do, sleep on the deck. Because those chairs are designed for the big paying customers. Jen, will you put this over there, please? Oops. February, March. I want you guys to start thinking of something we can do next month, okay? Put your thinking caps on. I don't Box. have one today. I know, Sandra's excused for today. <laughs> yeah, the upcoming blocks that we can do for March. I lost my cap. I mean, off. April. <laughs> <laughs> you lost your cap too? Okay, Vicky's cutting some fabric for you and Diane. A little bit at a time for Patty and Diane. Okay, Maureen, I think our immunity is all screwed up since <clears throat> the pandemic. Oh, Vicky Could loves be. my new voice. Oh, funny, funny. <laughs> uh, yuppers and Patty, huh? or Patty, yeah, I agree, Maureen. Our bodies need exposure to build up. Yeah, but you don't want to get it. You don't want to get real sick. I got the shots in the hospital, but they're gone now. They only last a year. Well, they said this care facility 
was free of the virus. So that's why I went down with Connie. Mm -hmm. And then I come home like this. Yeah, where's the justice in that one, right? Yeah. But yes, I have quite the voice. Okay. Maybe they really thought that, were you wearing a mask? Yes. Jesus. And I didn't touch anything of hers. It's like her daughter touched the doorknobs, everything. I just went outside. I opened the door with my elbow. And then when I went outside, I forgot to put the rock in the door so I could get back in. So I just sat outside and visited with you guys with my head in the clouds. <laughs> but you know, Sandra, that could have been where you got it, airborne. But I was the only one, you know. It, well, people. that could be, but there could have been somebody around the corner that you didn't see or, you know. The, the the older people that was there that walked by me, there was two of them. And the other ones was caught out in the parking lot. So nobody. But I don't uh, think you can get it that fast. Well, I didn't get it immediately. It took 24 hours to get it. Um, I think it's 72. Viruses well, like that, I think it's three days. Uh, Lori and, says, hi, ladies and Horsey Sandra. Yeah. It's like Lori Clark. Yeah. Oh. Huh. It's like when I was up chucking last night and my throat just started burning from it. It's like, no. Oh. Yeah. All that acid from our stomachs. Well, Sandra's laughing, Jen. Yeah. He doesn't think it's funny, Sandra. Well, I do have a weird voice. Because you're sick. <laughs> Yeah. Do you have any um, like throat lozenges or anything like that that you can use to soothe your throat so it doesn't hurt so bad? It it doesn't hurt. That's the worst part. It doesn't hurt. Or heat up some honey and syrup and lemon. There's no honey in my house. Just me. How about syrup? Yeah. <laughs> well, that goes right along with being an angel, right? <laughs> How about yes, some, it does. Um, syrup and lemon. Do you have that? Nope, I have no lemon. No. It's a like peach. Jen said you're a peach. Okay. I wish I had a peach. That sounds actually good to eat. Um, Vicky says, I am still waiting for the electrodes to get here. I hate these migraines. Oh. And uh, Maureen. Yeah. Uh, Ricky says hi, Lori. Then Maureen says, "Sorry, you have a migraine, Vicky." Yeah, she was doing so good. And and my ice the, pack, boom. my ice pack's no longer cold. Well, you'll you'll bounce back. Uh, Vicky will bounce back too. This has just been a week for, well, my regulars to not be here. Yeah. Sandra, your voice is a little more muted due to cold. Um, she has not a cold, the flu. I got both in flu. Yep. <laughs> Lori Bucket. says hi, Vicky. Mm -hmm. Yep, both in. She's got. Yep. Thank you, Beverly says Vicky. Um, it's, I know it's too much information, but it's what we call the both ends flu. But my grandsons well, and that had it for five days. If I have it for five days, I'm going to be screaming. <laughs> yeah, but you seem to be doing pretty good right now compared to this morning. Yeah, just keep my blankets up around me. <laughs> I'm fully dressed in bed. And it could have been food poisoning, could it not? Well, because the only thing we did yesterday, we ate, yeah. or Tuesday, we ate out at Arby's. We had French dips. And then we come home and we got French toast with hash browns and country gravy. We ate part of it that night and part the next day. And then Connie left. And I'm not kidding. One o'clock this morning is when it hit. But I ate my teriyaki chicken and rice for dinner. Mm -hmm. And it felt like I was bloating. 
So I quit eating the teriyaki chicken and rice. And it don't taste good coming back the second time. No. It's yeah. like. Yeah. Well, then you knew it could have been the teriyaki chicken and rice. It could have been anything. It could have mm -hmm. been breakfast. It could have been just the flu. Because my nose started just running from burning of the, because my throat burned as, as you're throwing up. It burns. Yes. When was the last time you threw up? Yeah, my nose burned. Three Hours this morning. Ago. Yeah. When was the last time you had diarrhea? 7.30. I'm keep. I haven't fed anything to me either. Okay, we're we're on a ten hour right now. You haven't had anything except for my stomach is doing these weird rumbles and growls because you're hungry. No, it's like something's in there twisting. It's like I don't want to feed it because I'm afraid that you know you don't feed the hungry bear. No, just make sure, you know, you get a lot to drink, um, yeah. juice, water, whatever you like. And I'll see if I have any more of the throat lozenges and vitamin C drops There's, that my grandson just, always don't steals. Drink milk. Don't drink milk. Oh, I'll never drink milk. Nope. I know. I looked, at, for you. I looked at a nice, the, my fudge sickle and I says, oh, I can't do that because that'll sour instantly. Oh, but that would feel so good on your throat. Yes, it would. So I have a pineapple popsicle. Try that. Yeah. I know it'll make you cold, but I can lay in by bed. And eat. Yeah. I, I don't have anybody to worry about getting crumbs. <laughs> As it melts all over her quilt, right, guys? Yeah. Who's, who's going to have to clean that? She is, right? Me, yeah. me myself, and I. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Um, Vicky says, I miss all of you. We miss you too, Vicky. It's been, you, you have not been on it all this week. Can you believe it? We miss she's you waiting too. for those electrodes to come in. I know. Oh, heaven forbid that she should be hurting. Let's not rush it or anything, right? Yeah. God. I don't know. I just frustrated with the medical. Well, it's supply and demand, Kathy. I know. There's people that had to change their medication because it's not coming in. So why don't we make sure that there's enough for whoever needs it to get it? Because the pharmacies can't supply that much because they got thousands and thousands of dollars worth of prescription medicines in their cupboard. It's like my eye drops just about every three times. I have to wait for it to be shipped in because they only get 12 bottles. And if anybody else comes wait. in, huh? I only had to wait twice for my, um, my hydrocodone, but it yeah. came the next day. Well, they did one hydrocodone. One person, they got 15 pills and that was it. They go, that's not I, enough to get four days. Well, depends on who's taken. And that was the last of me five. But they went to, um, Dave has gone to other Bartels that had it. But we had to pay a cash for it. But it's not bad. 42 of them was only $11. Yeah. But it's like, yeah. it's just one yeah, of those not, too bad yeah it's one of those See, things you're right plain old water it's not soda pop it's in a soda pop bottle but i spill things so it's in a pop bottle i okay. recycle reuse reduce i trust you maureen maureen says i don't think you have the flu flu is very nasty my daughter just had it last month she is in her 40s and she could not get out of the bed i had the c and it lasted only two days vicky Yo, Patty, I broke down and wrote my sister to ask her if she got the pen push, and she wrote back, thank you. I love it. That's all. Ticks me yeah. off. She couldn't thank me when it arrived. Beverly, Vicky, that's not nice. You're right. But not nice. I do have a COVID at-home test I can go take. Oh, I didn't think it's about like that. It's like I'm checking to see if I'm pregnant. 
Have you had the COVID? Have you had it yet? No, I haven't had COVID yet. No, she's not pregnant. She doesn't do anything with her guy with benefits, okay? I'm too old. That cycle quit. I didn't like it. We took it once here, that test. Like, it's and better supposedly take- we were all positive, but we weren't sick. We were sick. Yeah. As they say, if at-home tests always take two. Always take two? Yeah. Take one at one time and then one a couple hours later. And if Why? they both... Because that way, if they both come out positive or they both come out negative, then it fits the bill. Hmm. But Why don't they don't do free any- ones at the clinics anymore. Do we have any more? I don't think we do. Yeah, that's where we got it from the clinic. Uh, you can order so many boxes. It used to be you could order so many boxes for free. And that's what we have. Two doses of it. Yeah, but with it not being as, you know, pronounced as it was, I guess it would be harder to get. Yeah. I would think. But they, but the, the ones at the clinic, you have to pay for now. What do you, how much do you have to pay? I don't know. Because I'm not going up there. Why would I, I go it. up to infection heaven? I don't get sick. Can you go to the hospital? No, uh, no. Our hospital and clinic are the same building. No, but I go to the clinic, you know, where my doctor is, and there's always yeah. a lot of people. But our clinic and hospital, they have the sick people in there, too. And their, their doors aren't closed. I get to have Jen's drop biscuits tonight oh i love oh. those they are so good drop? yeah that's what you call them when you drop them on the oh no they're drop biscuits when you put them on the because you don't shave them into the round you just drop them from the spoon biscuit they are good but are they biscuit, biscuit? yeah they're biscuit uh-huh okay. biscuit yeah that's the only one I know of. Is there one I don't know of? Well, you can get a generic of Bisquick. It's called just baking, Jiffy Baking Mix. You can get a generic that's about a dollar a box less. Yeah. That's, but... what, that's what I buy. Bisquick's the best. I have no problem with my dumplings with the generic Jiffy. Sometimes we, um, for the pancakes and stuff, we get uh, generic, but the last time Jen made waffles and pancakes all, and we had eggs all in the same, oh, that was good too, but that was a while ago. That's a lot of carbohydrates. I'm not a I carbohydrate don't look at person. That. I eat. Yeah. Oh, I'm okay. not a carbohydrate. Um, Lorraine says, Right now, the albuterol for my nebulizer is on back order. Not sure when they will get it. Do you have enough right now, or are you totally out? For albuterol? Yeah. A-L-B-U-T-E-R-O-L. I think that's... uh, Yeah, I said it the first time. I didn't say it. Yes, my eye drops, I had to wait four days for them to come in. Uh, and then Sandra, did you get the flu shot? No. No. Maureen wants to know. No, neither did neither did we. I've never the last time I got the flu shot, I got the full blown flu. And yeah. I said, no, I'm not ever getting that again. I've tried the flu shot three times and I was sicker than a dog all three times. Yep. That's Some people happened. are meant not to have it. But I don't like eggs to begin with. And they say if you have a reaction to eggs, well, they're thinking maybe I w- do have a reaction to eggs is why I don't eat it. Well, don't you not eat it because you don't like it? I like okay. egg white, not egg yolk. Hmm. That yellow part of that egg could be left behind. 
Yummy, yummy. Especially in hard boiled eggs. Mm -hmm. Heck, yeah. We got to do that, you guys. We got to make hard boiled eggs for Easter, okay? When I hard boiled We've been the slacking. Egg, I immediately cut, you know, shell them, cut it in half, take that yolk out, throw it in the Ziploc bag, and put it in the garbage. And then I wash that other remaining part of the yolk off my egg white. Man, you don't like yeah. it that much. I don't like it that much. Wow. It used to be I could put the egg yolks in a baggie and my husband would eat them. Oh, we'd pay for it later. No, I love I love eggs. But if we do the hard boiled, get the Easter decorations. Although Easter is not for that. Easter is for Jesus is coming back, but you know what? <laughs> Hard-boiled eggs sound good. Um, oh, everybody, everybody makes hard-boiled eggs but me. Uh, Maureen says, well, I haven't had any in years. Maureen says, what the hell is happening to our beautiful America? And then Lorraine, Lorraine, I do have some in, an inhaler. The nebulizer helps. Huh? Is that what I got, Alberto? What? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's what I got. Albuterol. I just got some refilled. So, yeah, yeah that's what I got. The same. Um, she has some and an inhaler. The nebulizer helps better. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's okay. It helps me to breathe sometimes when I cough. So they just refilled it for me. That's why I thought it sounded familiar. Okay, I got it. Yeah, that's what a lot of people have. I have not ever had an inhaler till that. I had an inhaler when I had walking pneumonia and I had to stay at home. Mm -hmm. I had to pay $145 a bottle. What? Yeah. My insurance you're not, wouldn't you're not cover having, it. Oh, wow. They wouldn't cover it. it. It's like, and then the next person that was on uh, Medicaid, Medic whatever the one is, Medicaid, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. they got three bottles and didn't have to pay for it. And it's like, what is wrong with this picture, people? That would be me. Um Patty says, Vicky, I'm so sorry. Uh, you know, why is it that some insurances will, oh, you, you want it, you got to pay out of pocket when you're paying into that insurance? Let's see, I don't have prescription drug coverage because they won't pay for that. They won't pay for this one I drop. So why should I pay for that insurance for the drugs? This one I drop. Did you check into it to find out? Yeah. Oh, that's how you know? This one here, it's Tim Tim something. I call them by their nicknames. This one's Tim. Tim Roll. Yeah. Tim He's Roll. $28 for three bottles. And this one here, which was that generic, the... If I could put this used to cost me four hundred dollars a bottle. What? And it's half the size of this one. This one has a full 0. 0.5. This one has 0. 0.25. Four hundred dollars? Yeah. When and you can get three of the other eye drops for how much? Twenty-eight. But I have to have, I have to have two different ones. This one's nighttime, the expensive one. And this one's daytime, the cheaper one. Well, they finally brought out generic of this one. And it now cost me $28 for three bottles. Finally, they come out with the generic. And how long do they last you? One lasts me 50 days. The other one lasts me 25. Well, that's not bad then for, well, one lasts. So you have three. But so yeah, that's, my, that's a good deal. My pharmacy here in town doesn't carry that one. 
So I always have to drive to Spokane to get it. Or I can have them mail it to me. Okay, Vicky's got to go. Okay, bye, Vicky. Bye, Vicky. Try to get on Saturday. Well, we'll see if um. No, no Saturday. How how long they mom and pop last? Why? And then I have to have the oh. dry eye. Okay, okay. Calm down. Can I go on Friday? Dollars a bottle. Also, because I get dry eye from the eye drops. Yes, that won't take long. Well. Okay. All right. Anyway, Maureen, I don't know what, why, but I don't want to offend anyone. You're not offending anybody, Maureen. You're fine. No. No. It's, no. It's, you guys, I won't be back till Monday. I just okay. was informed. Jen has a hockey game she's got to see on Saturday. Okay. You know, I do take up a lot of time over here. In okay. <laughs> we can all meet on Jen's youtube and we'll just fill it with quilting chat there you go we'll go on jen's while she's playing and we'll just start talking about cooking and quilting, quilting and quilting and <laughs> she says hey i won't stop you <laughs> um beverly says there is a recall on three different eye drops do you know which ones that would be my question. Do you know which ones? Well, some of the dry eye, those ones there, they mm -hmm. are so thick that I go, what the heck? You're sitting there waiting for that drop to come out of the end of the bottle. You're staring at it. And it's like, come on, drop, drop, drop. I'm going to blink if you don't drop. Well, how many times a day do you do, you do the eye drops? I have one in the morning, one in the afternoon for dry eye, and one at night at bedtime. And if I wake up in the middle of the night, my eyes are dry, then I could put the dry eye one in. What's that scratching noise I keep hearing? I don't know. It's like, it's like a scratch, like papers. I don't hear anything. <laughs> Might be on your own. That noise. You didn't hear. Can you hear it, Gladys? Yeah, it's coming from Sandra. Yeah, it's like papers or something like a scratch. I'm not touching anything. Are you moving the camera? Not really. No. <laughs> um, I held it. Maureen, what is Jen's YouTube? I'm going to type it in, okay? I can because it's not her real name. Yeah. It's like, it's a hockey player. Jen, a hockey player. <laughs> it's only that, right, Jen? Okay. That's, this is her YouTube channel right there. She's on Sunday mornings at 10, our time, Pacific Standard to, Time. You need to put her link link up there. Well, I don't know how to do that. Does anybody know how to do that? I'm Sandra. heading there, hopefully. Sandra's going to do it. Then y'all go flying over there and, and bombard them with subscriptions, okay? It doesn't mean you have to watch her because you don't. But help with the support and the subscriptions. That's all she's asking for. Okay. Tiffany's on live right now, too. Tiffany? Yep. Beverly says, no, I don't. I just saw it on the news causing eye removal, blindness, and death. Oh my God. Maureen, I use I just use an occasional refresh. I hope that is not one of them being recalled. Uh, me too. That would be horrible. I mean, where would y'all be without your eyes, right? And of all days that I normally have 250,000 gin, I'm not finding one gin. You know, that's the way it goes, right? Her, I, I put her last name up there in the chat. It's like, I don't have my glasses on. You guys will be staring at the ceiling. Because, again, I'm not colored. I should be yellow over here, but I'm not. I do not know what's going on. 
It's like I'm just a normal person. Okay, I'm just a normal person. You guys are all blue, but I'm normal. Mm -hmm. uh, you, you, that's just it. You're, that's the way you are. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but I, I'm supposed to be the leader of the pack, right? Okay, she's looking for your, your uh, channel, Jen. I don't know how to do one. Got her either. I know how to say hello and everything and greet, but that's all I know how to do. Wait a minute. There's her Twitter one. No, not Twitter. It's like, I got to open up her thing. And I have to start one playing. Get off the commercial. You okay, Dave? You look like a grandpa. Who? Oh. Dave. Oh. He he's, he's walking like he's shuffling his feet and walking like to the side like that, you know, like an old man. Here, my walker's around here somewhere. It's you like, can use what it. <laughs> he's all shaking trying to walk. <laughs> he like, just came over shake like this. <laughs> Wow, her her link is altogether different than our links. Jen's. Yeah, it came up some weird thing. Watch question mark. It's like what the heck? Yeah. Are you sure that? Are you sure it's Jen? Yeah, I'm on. She's actually. Uh, if I can copy and paste this. Yeah, I can go click on it and see. Yeah, because I get the the Jen Kutcher 2681, but it doesn't bring the YouTube in front of it. it, it Kucherov. Yeah. No matter how I say it in this lovely tone of my voice, it's not going to yeah. come out right. Oh, it's okay. Two old guys up. It's a Russian guy. That is her hockey. Okay, so when you bring it up, I can click on it over here. What, what, what do I hear? And rain. It says rain right here. Well, do, do you want to go outside rain. and play? I need a hero. I'm holding out for a hero until the end of the night. It's coming down pretty good. That means it's headed towards Sandra's. No, stop it. <laughs> see, that's the only thing I'm coming up with. Let's see if it brings it up. Okay, post it and we'll go and check on it and see if that's it. Nope, it brought up my page. Yeah. YouTube.com. Right. Sandra, you, you, you know how to do this kind of stuff. It's There's not bringing there. hers up. That's the weird part. Report Jen, block Jen. No, that's weird. She can't get your... Uh... Yeah, it's... She's going to go like, look at it. It's like she's got it hidden. Do you have it private? Okay, it's got, it says Jen Kucherov 2681, and that's all she can bring up. Yeah, it won't bring up YouTube channel, all that stuff. Okay, Sandra, wait, not so quick, Jen. You know the HTTP? Just a minute. We're going to type it in manually. I gotta get back to Kathy. Oh wait, page. I think I think Gladys got it. Hold on. Okay. Hold on. Hold, yep, this is her. Because my tablet okay. doesn't always let me do everything that I want it to right. do. Right. Thank, Thank you. Gladys. Thank you, Gladys. Yeah. All right, you all go over there and bombard Jen. Okay. Go get her. And now Beth's on live. Beth comes on at late when the baby goes to sleep. Well, she's on right now. Yeah. But if you've got Susan, is Susan on? I don't know. I don't have her in my yeah. thing. 
Jen says, yeah. Okay, Jen, you have 333 subscribers. Okay. Because I go through and remove so many things. And Smoke on the Water by Deep Purple. I uh -huh. would have never listened to that ever in my entire life. I would not listen to that. Did you go and listen to it? <laughs> yes, and I didn't last very long. Oh, it's a great song. It's a classic. Yeah, yeah it is. It's a classic. So, well, that's, that's fine. If you guys don't listen to it, that's fine. But it's just one of those things. So now I'm going to copy that link. Put it in the clipboard. So you have it. But it only saves in the clipboard as at Jen 2681. But if, if it, everybody's got numbers now, Jen, mine ends in 76. I don't remember what the other ones are, but um, it's something that YouTube did. Maybe to be able to find you quicker. Who knows? See, if I now I'm going to my clipboard. And that's all it brings up. It doesn't put the HTTPS semicolon backslash backslash. Got it. YouTube. Thank yeah. you, Maureen. Maureen's it got it. It doesn't save all of that. Okay. Can, can you go to it and save it somewhere in your, you know? That's what, that's what I tried doing, the clipboard like Teresa did yesterday. Okay. What about save? It's like, I tried. <laughs> Maureen, Maureen's got it. Yeah, but it's okay, like to actually put it up on something. Wow, Jen, way to go. 138,279 views. Joined December 21st, 2014. All right, let me see if I can um, save it somewhere or not. Uh, I'll go over to YouTube on the other half here. No, let's move along. Videos, playlists, channels, channels. She's got a lot of channels here, but she's not subscribed. Um, community and nothing. Playlists. I don't know where you would go, but on on a phone, you're kind of limited. So, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know how to save it either. I wish I did. But, but Cassandra wants to be able to just jump on and go. Um, Maureen did it. Did you subscribe to her, Maureen? Ooh, you got 335. <laughs> Thank you, ladies. Thank you very much. She's going to pass me up in a minute. Yes, thank you. Let's start on the borders of my summer moon. Okay, she's got 31 watching. She's hooked on the summer moon. Well, there's a lot to it. I know. That's little Joe. <laughs> I know. I've, I haven't even gotten into the hard part of the summer moon yet. I've just got the first few. Yeah months done so i have not done any borders on any blocks but sandra has yeah. so for those of you know and gladys is smart she's not even gonna do it <laughs> can't blame you there really because if, if you're talking about okay your large okay three three blocks right Yep. The large is eight, the medium is six and a half, and the small is five. Yeah, I watched Pat Sloan and did when she did hers. <laughs> uh, I'm with you. Um, okay, I don't know how much I subscribed, and it took a screenshot and sent it to my photos. I got it from Gladys. There you go. Take a screenshot of it, Sandra. Look at me talk. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to take a screenshot. Let me see. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. Oh, no. Put it in your library. Can you do that? Uh, 
Oh, Connie, guess who got the flu? You. No, Connie got the flu too. Did she? Oh, no. Yep. No, 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 no. Yep, 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 yep. Connie, Connie. Well, okay, so it's something that both of you guys did together because you were together for, for a few days. So try to narrow it down. We went out of town together. <laughs> yeah, went out of town. She got your place. Um, you guys stopped and ate, ate the same foods. Yep. You have to you have to go to um yeah, you have to gotta narrow it down. Is she as sick as you? Yeah. If you click on like where Gladys put it up on her, okay, click on the um, on her Jen's thing, and then you'll look at home shorts plus subscriptions and the library. Yeah. And on the plus, you can create a short, upload a video, go live, or go live together. Well, but but live. when I put it on the clipboard, it only brought up her Jen and those four numbers but i don't see any clipboard and then on my apple it won't save it and i've tried i have a youtube folder over in my notebook you have me saved over there that's i i don't remember who saved over there i have no problem going in getting yours it just says Chromebook does not like it. So I got to get me a laptop again. Yep. You know, you run out of options. You've been trying everything to get away from not having to get a laptop. No, but I wasn't going to wait 20 in line the other day at Walmart. The more time you're spending in Walmart, the more you're going to get whatever. Just order one online. I ordered Jen's two. I ordered mine and I ordered Dave's and no problem. Yeah. I think I've ordered computers um, before online and I've never had any problem with any of them. Yeah. They all come in one piece. They all come, you know, brand spanking new. So just order it online, Sandra. And it'll get there yeah. in a couple of days and you avoid the crowd. But I want to see if I, if there's a better one I need. Well, how much are you willing to spend is a question. So let's say you want to spend five hundred, then go looking at those five hundred dollar computers. Yeah, it's like there used to be one on here somewhere. Not the thousand dollar one. Um, one this one was a thousand, got marked down. So. This is a very nice computer. <laughs> for a thousand. Yeah. Marked down to like, what was it, 349 or something like that. And see, that's the one I wanted. <laughs> it's like there was one marked down from 800 to 3 something, and that's the one I wanted. It may still be there. <laughs> you know, that doesn't mean that somebody went and bought it because most of the world. Okay. Has laptops, so see, I have no problem posting the links to the block we're doing. No, no yeah, it's, it's weird. Right. Yeah, look, look. it's just some of the YouTube, like on Jen's on the tablet, it doesn't open up that next page that I need. On the tablet here, the Apple, it does. Okay. Hmm. Well, I mean, you can do you can do tablets or you can do computers. It's certainly your your prerogative, whatever you want to do. Right? Yep. It's, but I'll tell you one thing you got to do. Get better, young lady. I will try. I'm not. You got, I'm young. You got to be on it I'm, I'm for lady. Monday. You're the young lady. Yeah. Remember, guys, next Thursday I won't be on. 
on yep. opening day, March 30th, I will be watching baseball with an hour off in the middle to watch uh, General Hospital. Yeah. You know, and then go back to baseball. But I'll be watching it all day. So, um, just wanted to remind y'all. So that would be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And if Jen, Jen's going to be doing Fridays now, she'd be like 10 to 1, probably. Yeah. 10 to 12.30-ish, something like that. Maybe I can go on after she's done. I don't know. No, but. you're on enough. <laughs> no. <laughs> but I'm going to be... Hold it. Hold it. I'm going to be shorty, shorter hours now, Jen. Yeah. Co Connie got oh, hers at 6 a.m. She didn't have to wake up and be sick. We um still have to do that 12 hours, huh? Can we make it 500? Yeah, but that might take a long time. That's what you thought about three months ago. It's before you even know it. Now you're way past that. We have um, 441. Way past 300. Yeah. But even so. Let it be something you look like. XRX said no 24 hour until we hit 1,000. Well, good for him. I want to do a 12 hour. So hopefully we'll hit 500 soon. You know, because everybody's on board to do the 12 hour. You are right, Gladys? Yeah. Yeah. And I know Sandra is. I haven't had supper yet. Yeah. Neither have I. Yeah. It's well, like, I have eat, no. You can eat anytime you want, Gladys. Yeah. And and you don't have to wait till Cassie's off either. Yeah. If you want to say bye, ladies, you can leave anytime you want. I appreciate you being here. Don't get, don't listen to Sam. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate you being here. But you can eat on, on live. Really getting in the dark here. So, <laughs> yeah. You're going to get ready to leave? Yep. There'll be other okay. days. Do you want to come on Monday? Sure. Then I'll have my phone. Oh, set. we have Laura Austin Monday. Okay. I'll send you the link. Bye, Gladys. Laura Austin's coming on Monday. Hi, Jen. Yes. <laughs> we have okay. Laura Austin Monday. You Monday, me money. Monday, me money. Yeah, just send me money. And Gladys and possibly Diane. I thought it was the more to, I, I don't more know, to the guys. We get in the window. Okay, we'll guarantee that we have um, Laura, yeah. you, me, and and Gladys, yeah, because we like, never know from day to day for Diane and Vicky. Yeah. So, sounds good to me. What are we doing? Oh, my block. That's what we're doing. We're doing lovers' yeah. night. And if Diane comes on, I'll just watch from the background over okay. here. And just say I've been taking an extra six days. <laughs> what are you talking about? You're not going to watch from the background. What? No. Say, what? No. It depends on how I feel on Monday. You'll be fine by then. Yeah. Even if it's three days, 72 hours, that'll still be, you'll still be fine. I hope so. When the grandkids had it for five days and then they had to go to work feeling miserable. I'll check on you on Sunday, but I'm sure you'll be fine. Okay. You no, know, it only lasts X amount. Yeah, we're all meeting at Jen's, remember? Yeah, well, that's right. Sunday, meeting at Jen's, 10 o'clock, our time. Okay, what? Um. Okay, lovers not. Is okay, what we'll bye. Be working on. I'm getting off now. Okay, goodbye, bye. Gladys. Bye, Thank Gladys. you so much, okay? I'll send you the link. Thank you for okay. staying with me all day. Have a good weekend. Okay, so you guys, Sandra posted the link to Lovers Not a long time ago. It's in the um, group. And I can't, it's like, it's not saved okay. on my trigger finger. I think it's right here, too. Quilters Cache, is that where it's at? Yes. Okay, it's right here, too, in the chat, if you guys want to um, 
Maureen hit the bell to be notified for Janice. Okay, great, great. Uh, bye, Gladys. Sandra, take all the time you need. You earned some time, down time. Yes, you have, as have yes. I. Hey, I know, I'm going to take my downtime. Uh, you in charge, how's that? When you get better, I'm just kidding. It's like, that, I'm just that, kidding with you, Sandra. But okay. it just makes our teaching classes what yours was going to be April 3rd, now it's Monday. So mine was yeah. going to be April 10th, now it's April 3rd. 3rd. Yeah. Yep. We're just it's moving fine. our things up. Yeah. It's fine, we can do it. But I don't want to post my block until... No, no, not yet. After not Monday's yet. class. I'm thinking maybe along Thursday or Friday of next week. Yeah, but we got to get through your Monday class so they can have time to find what they're going to do and if they're going to do it. I know what I want to do. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. exactly. And um, I think it's Pamela cool. already made it. It doesn't look too hard. Lover's Knot is really easy. Yeah. It really doesn't look that hard. Yep. So, um, good night, Gladys. Nice to meet you, says Maureen. Yeah, she was really, really nice to have on here. She was really quiet, but if you asked her a question, she would answer. So, I really enjoyed having her. Yep. Which is good. And then Diane made it funny. Diane says, Oh, you know, when you're on, good that you're so quiet. I won't talk over you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cute, Diane. Real cute. I was going to change my name to the pop in and out girl. Oh, there but, you I go. but I couldn't figure out how to do it on my iPad. Ain't that, ain't that pretty? Yes, that is. Is that all you get to number. eat for dinner? It's a plate? Yeah, that, that's it. Isn't that pretty? Yeah. <laughs> no, she's just gonna put my biscuits on it. Anyway, I gotta go, Sandra. There's something to get everything ready. So yeah. Here's here's her biscuits. Here's one of them. Your okay. Does that look good? Well, for my stomach, no. Oh, I showed the wrong <laughs> person. All right, you take care. I'll check on you on Sunday. Okay. Okay. Bye, all. Oh wait, Glory Bye. says side borders on backing and designs. Pick, I go I go with for this. Good for you, Lori. Good job. Bye, Sandra. Yep. Bye, Sandra. Have a great night. Bye, okay. Dan, Dave and everybody. Dave, Sandra said bye. Bye.